For years I've been seeing you in my dreams. And lately, more and more. I know it's you, but I can no longer recognize your face. I don't know if I'd recognize you if I saw you. I hope your condition hasn't worsened much since you last wrote. I can hardly imagine what a nightmare you're going through. Remember, you're not alone. I'm sure our father would be happy to help, if only you asked him. I assure you that for now, I haven't said a word to him about your search or your health. Just as you requested. He doesn't know your intention. And with God as my witness, he'll not find out from me. I know you think the only thing that can help you is a miracle. But such itinerant miracle workers preachers and folk mystics often take advantage of those in grave condition who are desperate or seeking help. I hope the man you're pursuing can actually ease your mind. But if not, remember that in the end, we will find a way to help you. Just because we can't see it now, does not mean it doesn't exist. Send word as soon as you get there. I want to know you're safe. With as much love as I have. Rikia. Could you spare a moment for me? I'd like to send a telegram. Of course. Pardon me, sir, but are you feeling all right? Yes, thank you. You're not looking your best. Thank you. What's your message? Take this down, please. Arrived. Very beautiful views. People honest at first glance. Sincerely, your barely living cripple. I didn't mean to cause offense. Well, then strike that, please. Take this down, please. Arrived. I think I have found him. I hope he will receive me. I will write as soon as I am able. End payment? On receipt. Anything to add at the end? Please add, my love to you, my sister. Touching. From whom? My name is Viktor Shulski. S-Z-U-L-S-K-I. And Viktor with a W, not a V. Interesting name. Where's this headed? Warsaw. Russia. And this is supposedly Georgia. Russia here and Russia there. Russia everywhere, on every map. Maps change. I know, I know. Let's get on with it. Pardon? I was talking to myself. Which way to the village? The coachman is picking up the mail. Maybe he'll give you a ride. Thank you. Looney.
Hello. Are you going to the village by any chance? Hello there. Where else? There's nowhere to go here, sir. The station, the village, and the cemetery. That's all. A horse can't go any higher. The village is what interests me. Well, if you've got reason to be there, climb in. So is it just locals living in the village? Who else would want to live in a shithole like this? I actually meant, is there anyone visiting, a guest? Ah, you came for some healing. Well, he's no guest here. He's been here months, my friend. The people are tormented, so he's sure got folks to heal. Where might I find him? I bet he's still in the tavern. He prays this time of day. Oh, he prays a heck of a lot. You getting in, or what? Can you wait for me a minute? I want to take a look around. Well, I'm not going to leave you now, am I? Thank you. Set? I'd be grateful. Always nice to have someone to shoot the breeze with. Nothing to see around here. Ah, this is everything. Hard to get lost in this place. Head to the tavern over there, past the little square, up the steps. They'll tell you where the preacher's at. Or this time of day, he'll be there himself. Thank you. Gentlemen, is this the tavern here? Hey, Putnik. You coming from far? Indeed, I'm tired. Nice boots. Are they warm? Actually, I have particularly warm boots. Thanks. And sooner or later, these might kick their arses. Don't tempt me, Luca. Don't tempt me. Give me a sec. I've got to sort out formalities with this tourist. It's your Znami. We are the Tsar's soldiers. Those don't look like soldiers' faces. Closer to thieves. I don't think he'll talk to us voluntarily.
repairs their Ruskius right. They won't report us. They'll be too embarrassed to admit some cripple got the better of them. Good boy. Forgive me, sir. Is your name Grigory Efimovich Rasputin? I forgive you. I'm sorry. It's just I've been looking for you for a very long time, and... And you expected a thinking symbol an illiterate who swindles sick people and claims he can speak to God himself. I already said I forgive you. Yes, I've heard. Especially in Petersburg. I've also heard about the healings, even hopeless cases, inexplicable ones. And what do you believe in? If you help me, I'll believe all of it. And please believe me when I say I've tried everything short of a miracle. And I know the meaning of that word. I'm a thaumaturge. Where are you coming from? I first learned of you in Paris. A charismatic miracle worker from Russia. I even heard about you from my doctors. By the time I got to Petersburg, you were already gone. I've crossed almost three continents, through Siberia, India, and half of Europe. But if you're asking me about my origins, I'm from Poland. From which Poland? The Russian one, the German one, or the part that belongs to Austria? From Warsaw. Do you have a name? Viktor Szulski. On my path, I've already come across people who've lied to me about their problems, and then gone around calling me a charlatan. After them, others arrived with pitchforks and torches. And I had to endure insults and spit in my face or flee for my life. And now you say you're a wizard from an imaginary country that no one has seen on a map in over a hundred years. Forgive my amusement. I haven't had my first coffee yet. I forgive you, and I'm still asking for help. Prove your thaumaturge, and I'll hear what you have to say. What would you like me to do, sir? I've met a few of your kind, so I know what you're capable of. Find something in this tavern that belongs to me, and tell me something only I could know. First, I need to have something personal that belongs to you to learn your trace. It's a sort of pattern I would use to recognize the other objects. Smell this. Have you figured anything out yet? I'll return to you in a moment. I can hardly wait. Thank you. 
Let's take a look around. You will be mine, secret. Who would have thought there were such layers of passion within him? What have you learned, wizard? Well, you're a zealous man. It permeates every level of your personality, your faith, your abilities. Not such an impressive discovery. I haven't finished yet. In Petersburg, you left behind a very devoted and very young lady-in-waiting. At least one, my friend. Have a seat. Tell me again, why were you looking for me? <sighs> a few years ago, I attempted to catch a wild saluter, and that ended with me losing contact with my first saluter. That means I can't develop my abilities. I know that my Uber is there. Sometimes he shows himself, but I can't feel the link anymore. Generally speaking, I'm losing it more and more each day. If it disappears, my mind... I'll lose my sense of reality. I'll fall into madness. I don't know if I can help you. I've got money, if that's what matters. Give it to the needy. Your riches mean nothing to me. I meant I don't know if I'm able to help you. My gift is something I've received from God. Some I've helped, others I can't say. And I've never treated a thaumaturge. Maybe just do the same with me as with the others. We can try. Focus on my voice. You are safe. As long as you can hear my voice, you are safe. Let me gaze into your mind. Let me see through your eyes. Let me... Where... where am I? Rasputin! There's no one in here. I need to get out of here. What is this sound? Shackles? You're blind. You've never grasped the science of spotting the perfectly obvious. Can you still not see? What do I supposedly not see? Flaw clouds your vision. It always has. Pride. Your damned pride and sense of superiority. I must have gotten that from you, father. You lose, idiot. You always do. You're even losing against yourself. You can't see, but can you at least hear? You're weak, stupid, and blind.
Do you hear me? Do you? Do you? I can see, Father. Clearly. Will you be lying there much longer? I wanted to sweep. Where's Rasputin? <laughs> In the cemetery, chasing away evil spirits and giving people comfort. You all right? <sighs> yes, yes. Absolutely. I wanted to sweep. I'm just heading out. <sighs> it's so good to see you again. <sighs> and something else. I saw him clear as day. It wasn't a vision. It was a salutar, unbound by a pact. A wild one. And if so, that means there's someone in the village with a flaw that's attracting it. You talking to me? I was praying. I wanted to sweep. Without lifting a finger, just Vesna will bring it, Vesna will help. But if Vesna needs help with something, there's nobody to be found. Hmm. That's not yours, don't touch! All these newcomers causing more problems.
Excuse me. I need to get to the local cemetery. Could you give me a lift? I've only just come back from the post office this morning. I'm not getting the horse going again. Back to the cemetery. It's not like anyone there is going to run away. And look, my horse is more dead than alive. I'll be right back. Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is... Over my dead body. I reject this verdict. Well, I expected as much. And he wanted to come see you himself. He was first to judge. I said what I said, and I won't change my mind. Go away, you're attracting gawkers. Not gawkers, a witness. And let him listen. He'll see it fairly. Sir, this liar and thief here stole a memento of my mother. And this witch says I'm supposed to hand my goose over to him, too? Because you strangled mine. And what do I care about some trinkets your mother left you? Because we already know you strangled the goose, but you still haven't proved that Bogdan stole your pendant. Where is the justice here? Why don't you relax and listen to the words of a wise woman? Well, all in all, it's... I'm sorry, Bogdan. Come inside, and tell me what you're doing here. The villagers seem to have a certain respect for you, ma'am, so I wanted to ask your help with something. I'm not getting any younger, boy. Talk before I drop dead. A lot of people benefit from your wisdom. They're superstitious and timid, as far as I've been able to figure out. Easy to control, right? Hot calling kettle. That, my boy, that you can ask that charlatan with fancy dress and beard. Who takes advantage of who here? Bah! The people here are believers, of course. But the spirit in the village is real, too. Is this spirit you're talking about, not a person? I heard it howling. That's nothing human. One evil spirit here persecutes people, and you can hear it now and then, sometimes. Tragedies attract it, and impure thoughts. We here call it a book of Arch. But other places probably call it other things. An evil spirit's an evil spirit. 
It torments people and turns their weaknesses against them. And what if I told you I could get rid of it? I'd say I'll believe it when I see it. And I'd ask, how else can I help you? Well then, I hope you'll still be alive when I get back, madam. Sensing. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. I'm telling you, go away, or I'll call for help! 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 Somebody help me! What are you doing here, you tramp? I'm not looking for trouble. I just wanted to talk. We'll talk, all right. You could say that, sure.
I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please leave. Please, please. I'm not going anywhere. Maybe you'll change your mind and drop me off at the cemetery after all. Well, on the other hand, this place isn't much more exciting than the cemetery, and I meant to take the horse out for a ride, so get on. Does that mean I helped, Thamadurj? I see him. My Upper. He's back. I can feel our bond growing stronger as each moment passes. I'm happy for you. But do restrain your joy. We're in the cemetery. I don't have enough words uh, to thank you for what you've done for me. I haven't felt this way in... years. I'm glad I could help. When I heard you were at the cemetery, I was sure I'd see you resurrecting the dead. Not yet. Today I'm just praying for rest for Vasily's soul. The whole village is suffering after his loss. He was the elder here. He cursed this place. Since he died, darkness and misfortune have hung over the village. You see? To them, every harm comes down to witchcraft. 
They believe that after Vasily's passing, the village was possessed by some monster that howls at night or some other yuffiets. What changed in the village after the Elder died? It's all dreadful, sir. Everything's gone topsy-turvy. When folks get to arguing now, they're so hot-headed. Before you know it, they're at one another's throats. Ladies have no patience for kids, nor lads for ladies, nor neighbors for neighbors. Any word might seem offensive and like an insult waiting to happen. Then you've got to fight. Tragedies such as Vasily's death leave their mark on everyone. It takes time to come to terms with something like this. That doesn't mean this place is possessed by dark forces. How did the Zelda die? There was a fire, sir. Flames shooting sky high, and him burning, swearing, speaking curses. And the curse stuck. Those ruins seem a profaned place now. A wicked spirit has taken over the blighted land. Don't encourage her. Once she gets going, it can't be stopped. This could also be the work of a Salita. What do you mean? As you were healing me, I had a dream, a vision. But on the borderline of sleep and wakefulness, I thought I saw a salutor. That's what might be influencing the villagers in wailing at night. They're good people, but none too bright, Victor. I'm afraid they might be talking about a train. The wise woman was saying the evil spirit is a book of hatch. Does the creature hunting you rattle chains, slither around, and have a mouth full of giant fangs? Apokovac! Where did this elder live? I'll show you. Let's allow Vasily's soul to rest for today. Amen. Can you feel it? It's the smell of mystery. What do you expect to find in this place? The fire was almost a year ago. Uh, time doesn't matter much here. I'm looking for clues and personal traces that will lead me to whoever is carrying the floor that lured the Saluta here. I see. I thought I could be helpful to you, but... I don't really understand what you're telling me.
People always leave behind individual bits of their personality, even on everyday objects and such. I can decipher the thoughts and actions imprinted on these objects, and then match them to their owner. This lets me gather immense knowledge about a person, especially if I need to find someone. What else can you do? Above all, flaws are deeply hidden marks left on human souls. They form under the influence of tragic events. What does that have to do with salutors? Is that Latin? Yes, from the word newcomer. People have always taken salutors to be spirits, demons, or imps. Like from those fairy tales, the wise woman and the other old crones tell the locals. Sometimes, those sorts of fairy tales and legends describe how humans perceive a salutor. They don't take a physical form. Salutors are attracted to the flaws hidden within people. Thaumaturges discover these flaws inside someone, bring them to the surface, and adopt them to lure the salutor. Those are the moments when I've usually failed. I haven't been able to hold on to a salutor. I didn't know how to bind one to myself. What about you? Do you have a flaw? I bear the flaw of pride. I wouldn't have guessed. And now? Thanks to your help, I can once again discover people's flaws and the salutors hiding behind them. And I think I'm now able to catch my second salutor. Why did you want to come here with me? I have never gotten to know a thaumaturge so closely. I'd like to learn as much as possible about your abilities. If I do manage to catch another salutor, that would be a very rare occurrence, in fact. An ordinary thaumaturge wouldn't even try it more than once. Only a few have multiple salutors. Why? Some have lost their lives trying, others their senses. I was close to madness. I lost my sense of reality. I didn't know what was true. But I know I can do it. I'm almost a hundred percent sure. Isn't this exactly the sort of thinking that caused your problems that led you to me? That doesn't matter anymore. Then what's changed? This time, I've got you with me. I need to look around this place a little more. I won't stop you. True fear. A horrible death. This house was always full of fear, and its owner was still alive when the house caught fire. Someone wanted to kill him. The fire only covered up the crime. I know who owns this doll. Maybe I should give them back to her. She ought to know more about what happened here. Victor! I hope you've got what you want now, Thaumaturge, because I think it's time to get out of here. 
Why the hurry, father? We're the Tsar's men. How about the donation for the Tsar's army? There are no Russian outposts here. I think this is the guy with the nice boots. You're the guy who trashed our comrades? No, it must have been someone who looked like me. Tochna on. Doesn't matter. At worst, we'll get the boots off your corpse. There's somewhere else you have to get my boot out of. You're right, sir. Me? Yes, but can these salutors also help you in a fight? Can you manipulate people and cast these demons into their minds? Generally speaking, yes. Are you sure you're right, sir? Call me Grigori. Let's head back. I have to visit someone in the village who can tell me more about what happened here.
Now I know that woman's trace. Vesna and her husband both left traces of themselves at the Vasili's burned out farmstead. Luca sincerely loves his wife. You think he loves her strongly enough to kill for her? You're right. It'd be better to ask Vesna about that. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please open the door. I'd like to have a chat about your husband. You'd better not be here when he gets back. He's not as talkative and polite as I am. I know you're scared, but please, just open the door a crack and let me ask one quick question. What do you want? I think I've got something of yours. I found it by your father's burned-out farmhouse. You've imprinted your fear onto it. I know because I'm a thaumaturge. I want to help. What do you want to know? Where can I find your husband? In the clearing, by the forest. He's chopping wood with the others. Thank you. Get that thing out of here. Again. This time, it's a matter of life and death. How is your search going? Almost finished. I know who's attracting the Bukavac. Can you reveal that secret? It's Luca. It has to be Luca. Do you still want to catch that Salvador? Yes, absolutely. Despite the risk? I hope I can persuade you to come with me. That's an enormous favor you're asking me. I hope you'll be able to return it. I give my word. Did you hear? We're going to see Luca Bogosian. I'm not here to fight. Luca! You shouldn't have threatened my wife. Why did you do this? I don't know what you're talking about. You're the one who brought the Salitor here. The spirit that you all say arrived in the village after Vasily's death. The Salitor is what's making fear consume you all and making you hot-headed. And it's because of your flaw, which has been within you since the murder took place. A murder might just be about to take place. Cut off his head. What? Tear off his head before he opens his mouth again! Unless... you're the one that killed him. And I'd do it again if I could. Get out of here! Here you are, Okamara. 
essence flows in life, and you are mine. Crazy again, you blind fool. A little faith, Thaumaturge. Focus on what's true. My voice is true. I am the truth, you see. Look. How do you feel? Are you all right? Well, I don't think I'm hallucinating, but that means I'm currently facing a crowd of furious lumberjacks with axes, so I'd say I've been better. What? What? I'm telling the truth. I'd do it again. None of you understand anything. It's because of this magician. It's his fault. The magician didn't kill Vasily. He didn't bring the evil here. You're a witch! To the stake with her! To the stake! And you, why are you just standing there? Are you just letting them do this? Fine. I'll handle it myself. 
I did it before, and I can do it now. What, what have you done? Go. You don't need to see this. Nothing has to be decided at the moment. Certainly not things that can't be undone. Well, exactly. Beat it, you scoundrels. There's enough blood in this village already. Sharing a village with murderers? You were the first to spill blood! It's not the same. If that's the case, you're banished from the village. Get out of here! We'll burn away the impurity you left in our village. Pfft. Excuse me, sir. Do you happen to know when the train arrives? The postmaster said it's usually no more than an hour late, so it should be here any moment. I got a tougher question for you. Uh, pardon? Will this train get me close to Albuquerque? I'm afraid that's an ocean away, and even to the ocean you've got a ways to go. Thank you. Ever since I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque, I can't get my bearings. Things I've seen, sir. Places I've been. I just can't get to Albuquerque. I wanted to send two telegrams, one to Warsaw and one to Paris. Mr. Shulsky, I was meant to send for you when the driver came to get the mail. My condolences about your father. Do you still want to send something? come to say goodbye to me more like to share my fear your condition yesterday after the fight with that Bukovac it troubled me I don't think my treatments are having a long-lasting effect and you don't look the best do you feel all right I've just heard that my father is dead my condolences. After your treatment, when I was hallucinating, I saw him. I heard his voice for the first time in years. I'm sure it was him. A strange feeling. Maybe he came to say goodbye. Maybe it was his last chance to speak to you. A prophecy. I hope not. What do you intend to do now? I have to bury my father in Warsaw. Hmm. What about you? Thanks to you. I don't think I have anything else to do here. I had a little time to think about what I saw in your mind. Tell me, Victor. Have you ever seen a human skull cracked open on the cobblestones? Your question sounded like a threat. Because it is for all of us. I have. 
the skull of Franz Ferdinand himself, with his brain spilling out onto the sidewalk. I also saw the white steps in Odessa running with blood, a battlefield blanketed in lethal fog, with faceless beings emerging from it. This hasn't happened yet, but I saw it as clearly as I see you now. Thanks to you, I know that I can stop it. I know that I am part of history, and I can change it. Even at the cost of scorn, contempt, or my life. You promised me a favor, so Warsaw sounds perfect. Warszawa! Warszaw! Warsaw! Last stop, Warsaw. Time to wake up. It's clouding over. The weather is like my mood. Aside from the circumstances of the funeral bringing you back, you hadn't thought of ever returning here? I hate this city. It always makes me think of the stench of vodka, sweat, and urine. Corruption, poverty, and trust me, no justice but street justice. I'm sure something must have changed since you left. But probably not for the better. What about the people? Those close to you? You'll never miss them? The only person I consider close is my sister. But Varsovians? Let's see. Workers are striking. They want to take advantage of the Tsar's visit to Orsa. The protests are being violently suppressed. Last week, around a dozen people were killed. Polish Socialist Party militants attacked a train. They stole money, bonds, and explosive materials. They're also suspected of robbing a transport of Dutch bombing. The Socialists in Warsaw must look pretty sharp there. Further along, we've got murders, muggings, and poverty. The newspapers feed on sensation. Remember that in darkness, even a small spark can be seen clearly. Even I can feel hope from all the people riding with us. Can't you? Even without my powers, I can tell that hope is bringing people here from all three petitions. Miners, steel workers, governors, maids, speculators. Thieves. I've gotten to read a few of our fellow passengers' possessions, and I know that hope can have many faces. Will you share that knowledge with me? There's a terrified woman riding with us. She's either running away or in hiding. I think that gentleman is smuggling something, because excitement is all mixed up with guilt inside him. And this dandy, he's going whoring. If there's something I've learned in life, Victor, it's never to neglect the whores. Orso, end of the line! Welcome to Warsawa! I think the time's come to ask where you plan to stay. 
I'll let you know when I come up with something.
Why such a crowd? The circus has come to town. These are troubled times. Brothers turn against brothers. Russia has had enough bloodshed. The violence must stop. When socialists attempt to divide Russia and her subject nations, to dent the sword that smote the enemy at Grunwald, this demands my decisive action. Thus, by my grace, I hereby appoint as Governor General of Warsaw, Georgi Antonovich Skawon. A butcher. Warsaw! The time for leniency and indulgence is over. From the moment this office is bestowed on me, all forces hostile to the subjects of Greater Russia will have any further right to exist. None, whether it be brutal socialist subversives, communists, Jews, or other satanic provocators. The shoe knows how to unite a crowd. Pardon me. Are you Polish? Yes, I feel Polish. My name's Victor. Wanda. This is Russia here. Like it or not, Warszawa! Premia Terora! Sakoizos! Idina Hoy! My first decision as Governor General of Warsaw. Aristovat. Great heroes and their sense of timing. Of course, now they're the first ones in the fight. Samo Bladanie, Puriaki. We want that rebel. The Lautmann. Damn. What happened? Be a gentleman. Please kneel and tie my shoe. I didn't dare suggest it myself. a tiny favor. The Russians can't find out about this. The military is just looking for an excuse to suppress the crowd, and these workers are dreaming of thrashing a Russian gendarme. Either one of you confesses to disturbing the peace, or of Sieg Zabirai. We'll take you all in. You can't handle all of us. Can you get us out of here? I think I'm open to any kind of suggestion. With a book like that, I find out what would convince one of these bastards to let us go. Or I'd take on that self-appointed leader of the proletariat. Interesting strategy. For instance, I could disclose to a soldier that you came here with ammunition under your skirt. Maybe we should see who they believe. A respected lady of Warsaw, or a common magician who just a hundred years ago would have been burned at the stake. Well, since you asked so nicely... Who are you, really? A damsel in distress. Those don't usually hide ammunition in their stockings. Can I explain it to you another time? I'm going to take a look around. Do you think it's a good idea to stir people up and send them to face bullets and bayonets? What do you want then? My whole life on my knees? Kissing Ruski's ass? 
I was trying to keep from dragging ordinary people into the fight. They won't expect us to strike first. How many are coming with us? Let's see for ourselves. Name? Shulski. Victor. One of those Shulskis? Yes. My condolences. Now, profile. Thank you. What you pissing in the bucket for, asshole? Where else am I supposed to? Brown in the bucket, whiz on the wall. You better remember that, too. That bucket's gonna last you guys till tomorrow. Can I use the phone?
What are you staring at, Ganef? I don't know what that means. Quit squealing. First time in the big city? Have some respect if you don't know who you're running your mouth at. He's one of them that went after the Ruskies with his bare fists. I showed a couple of Russian soldiers when I think about the petitions. I have moments like that sometimes. And I gave it to some Ruskies in the kisser, too. There's this red-bearded fella sitting there. I glassed him in the face, then kicked him in the bean, and wham, on the floor. And I pinched his billfold, too. Did anybody ask you? Shut your damn trap. Well, are you from somebody? What about you guys? Sonny, I've still been running the protection racket with Crook at the Ruzhitsky Bazaar. My dad used to work for him. But that was back in the day. Apart from that, I stay straight. I only hassle the Ruskies when I get a little loaded. And I'm with the Shivs. Bullshit! You ain't with the Shivs. Don't you go talking crap about the Shivs, because I know them. You better give a fuller explanation, because I lose respect real quick. I'm sensitive about folks like that. Who are you from? I don't really get what you're asking. Good thing you're asking and not just running your mouth, like some people. The question is, do you got a backer in town? You set up with somebody? Do you work for somebody? My name's Viktor Shulsky, and I work on my own behalf. All right. Respect. First of all, I am a Thaumaturge. Now them, I got respect for. I know one really decent Jew from Povishla, who's a wizard too. How about you? You got a foreskin or what? Is my foreskin any of your fucking business? Well, no. I, I was just... Schmuck. But you don't look like much of a Warsaw lad. I'm just here for my father's funeral. I hope you don't miss the funeral toast. Welcome to Warsaw. I wouldn't call you a master strategist. You got away from the station, so theoretically, we achieved our goal. You're not losing your sense of humor. I guess this isn't your first time in a place like this, is it? You'd better tell me if you managed to get rid of your ammunition. If I hadn't, I'd already be locked up at the Citadel. I admit your behavior did successfully distract the Ruskies. <sighs> You're welcome. All right, then. What's such a gorgeous, hairy mug doing in a crummy place like this? We've got a little time to kill. Maybe now you can tell me more about yourself. You seem to know your way around this setting. You've been here often? I'll take that as a compliment. And sure, sometimes, if the cause demands it. What cause? Let's say I know certain folks who'd find poles like you useful. Dealers in stolen Dutch pomade? Donut connoisseurs. They met at Burke Rotblitz's cafe. I don't want to jinx it, but do you spend time there, too? If I'm not there, no one will want to talk to you. And don't worry, I don't usually hang out long in places like this. Shulsky! I see you won't be hanging out here long, either. Cholsky, this yours? That's right. Then take it and get out of here. Can I ask why the sudden change of plans? Anyone I should thank? 
If he wants to, he'll tell you himself. Thank you.
I'm sure you don't remember me. My name's Hayat, Mordechai Hayat. I wanted to offer my condolences. Thank you. Please, forgive my prying. I know Mr. Shulsky took nitroglycerin for his heart, but how did he pass away? Was that his cause of death? His heart? Why are you so interested in my father's cause of death? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone. I'm sure you want to bid farewell to your father. I think I ought to arrest you, Taumaturg. I haven't done anything, officer. What's the problem? I barely recognize you either. You still haven't figured out who I am? Don't be surprised. The last time we saw one another was 20 kilos ago. <laughs> Uncle Veronian? I will not keep you. That guy's probably all alone back there among those vultures circling Stasio. I'm sure she'll be glad to see you. Go on. We'll talk later. Sister? Victor. I'm so glad you came. I wasn't sure if my telegram had reached you. I'm glad too. How are you holding up? All this caught me off guard, but... For now, I don't have time to think things through calmly. Look at it yourself. What happened? I took a short trip to a Warsaw jail. What? Are you joking? During the funeral? Are you alright? Everything's fine, don't worry. Have you written to Mother? Yes, but... What can you expect? You know what Nadia is like. It was never her style to show up for family events like this. It's getting late. And we've still got the reading of Papa's will ahead of us at home. And I'll leave you two alone. I suppose you've got your own matters to clear up. Fine, let's get this over with. So, it was me who got it right in the end. Back then, on the train platform, was the last time we saw one another. Fifteen years ago. After brief suffering, fell asleep in the Lord. Brief. I hope not. Did you write this yourself? A tyrant, bigot, and liar, mistakenly absorbed, died after suffering all too briefly. That's better, and definitely closer to the truth. The day you died, you visited me in my dreams. I was a child when you hounded me out of here, and I remember you as you were back then. But in my dream you looked older. <laughs> you gave me hell as usual. You didn't believe I'd succeed. You were wrong. I've come back with two saditors. I'm sorry there are so many things I didn't get to say to your face. All those years, I said them over and over to myself, in my head. How you were never able to admit a mistake. You never sought blame in yourself. Someone else was always guilty. Never you. Mother, because she wanted something for herself in life. Ligia, because she wasn't born a boy. Me, because I was born a thaumaturge, but I didn't want to live following your principles. And now... Farewell, father. 
Am I intruding? What do you want? <laughs> well, what do people come to funerals for? I came to pay my respects to the dead. Stanislav and I were acquainted. You might say I knew everything about your father. Mr. Viktor Shulsky, isn't it? Your absence from Warsaw has happily come to an end, I hope. I haven't had time to think about it. I understand. I hope you'll find some reason to stay here a little longer. Again, my condolences. I didn't catch your name. My name's Konechkin. Ivan Konechkin. Goodbye. Such interesting friends you had. <sighs> I, I guess I'm more tired than I thought. Grandpa and you call him a thalmater. I barely remember him. Great grandmother Josefina, a thaumaturge. We can go. The hardest thing was getting the lid of the urn. The scattering I could handle. You can play the clown, but I know how much this has cost you. I'm glad you went. Love at a funeral? Eros postmortem? Is it suitable for a young lady in mourning to fraternize with bachelors? Constancia Shabowska, the Warsaw Courier. Could I ask for a brief comment? I know. Thank you. And you, sir? We're twins, my dear lady. The Shulskis reunited. You don't look like a horrid cripple. Why did you leave Warsaw so quickly? Don't tell her anything. She'll write whatever she wants anyway. And we'd better get going. I can sort it out, but it might cause you some trouble. It's not worth getting your hands dirty over. Get out of here! Or I might decide you're attacking an Imperial official, and you'll wake up tomorrow in the Citadel. Are you threatening me, Judge? I'm actually spurring you from him. Would you rather try your luck with a Taumaturge? Come on, children. I'm sure my Pietia is already waiting for us at home. I'd love to see my cousin. Are you coming with us? 
thanks. Get in. I'm sure the lawyer is already waiting for us. Your guests have arrived. The lawyer's upstairs too, waiting. But try for jittery. Wonder if the tea I made him was too strong. Thank you, Grazina, dear. Let the guests wait. First, I want to take care of the will. I'll just wet my whistle and join you all upstairs. Make sure Uncle makes it upstairs sober. And I'll suggest you don't dawdle either. Master Victor, good God! Half your face covered, but I could tell right away it was you. You looked just like your father in his youth. Completely his spitting image. Should I make you some cocoa, Master? It would warm you up a little. Make an extra creamy one for Ligia. Oh, I won't skimp on her. Now, your sister's putting a brave face on all this, but she's really having a hard time. It's lovely to see you again. But that's enough jabber for now. I've got the guests and the cocoa, and I've got to whip up some food for you all later. We'll talk soon. I don't want to put my foot in my mouth again. I already failed to recognize someone once today, but you look familiar. Well, I should think so. I was the victim of one of your starling hunts. Voronins must not be very memorable, cousin. Pietia, <laughs> forgive me, and for shooting you as well. Ha, huh. how are you doing? Just some heart problems, not a subject for today. I'm sorry about Uncle Stanislav. Forgive me for not coming to the funeral. I can't bear cemeteries. We'll have to meet up again. Goodbye. Glad you're here. I thought I'd have to drink alone. So many goodies laid out for the guests. Having trouble picking something for yourself, Judge? But this was Stasios. It was special. Amber liqueur with quinces. I think you mean quince liqueur with amber, right? If it's not here, I'm sure it's in the basement. But I won't grope around down there in the dark now. I've got my hands full. Now, I don't want to trouble you either. Victor, could you track down a little bottle for your uncle? I suppose I'm obligated to accept this mission. <laughs> Good lad. A nephew like you is a treasure.
did it go? Mission accomplished? I think this is the one Uncle wanted. Yes. This is our little funeral battle. We would meet in Stasha's study after every funeral we went to and raise a toast to the dead. And recently, we've been seeing one another more and more at such events. More and more. But this time, even he has left me. So, to an easy death. As Stasio and I used to say. Hmm. How did he die? Hasn't Ligia told you? I haven't even had the chance to ask. He didn't suffer, but such images in the memory are better saved for later. I'd prefer to remember him as he was alive. What then? Am I drinking alone? I suppose there's no reason to bear grudges or be angry, is there? Eustachio? To an easy death. Familiar faces keep vanishing from my life. Stasio and my Helena before him. I miss my little darling. I miss them both. Well... Obligation fulfilled. Shall we get to the reading of the will? At the funeral, there was this sad Jewish fellow, Mordechai Hayat. Do you know him, uncle? He worked for Stanislav, but that was a long time ago. I don't know him more than that. So, shall we collect our inheritance? You'll all have to wait for me a moment yet. All right, but hurry up.
I am ready, Mr. Shulsky. I only need all of you to be present. Can we start reading your father's will? Yes, let his will be done. Begin. Let's begin if everyone is ready. Would you all please take a seat? Ladies and gentlemen, by the power of my office vested in me by the grace of His Imperial Majesty, the Emperor of All Russia, I hereby testify. Mr. Shulsky's last will and testament were prepared several years ago in the presence of Zaslav Fedorov, Esquire, that is, myself. My last will and testament recorded in the year of our Lord, 1888. In the name of the Holy Trinity, Amen. Therefore, my first irrevocable wish is to appoint as executrix of this will my daughter, Ligia Schulska. Immediately after my death, an inventory shall be conducted in full accordance with the law. After completing the inventory, all my personal movables will be sold at public auction. And let the funds raised thereby be donated on the anniversary of my death to the beggars near the cemetery. The administration of the remainder of my fortune I leave, without restriction, to the person of my daughter, Ligia. <sighs> I'm not even getting a teaspoon. All movables and immovables relating to the family enterprise I entrust to the care and administration of my daughter. I do not prescribe a method of administering them. I merely offer her one piece of advice. I wish that the business should be conducted with modesty, prudence and honesty, as I have conducted it my whole life. A joker to the very end. <laughs> to my brother-in-law and oldest friend, Alexander Voronin, I wish to leave the following. My collection of muskets and two revolvers dating to the uprising in memory of our first meeting. Stasio, I will have plenty to do in my retirement. Enjoy your retirement. Now, Mr. Fedorov, what did my father leave my mother? Hmm? Victor, be serious. Nothing. There is a special item reflecting the absolute lack of any bequest to my former spouse, Nadia Fyodorovna Voronina. I would also like to come to the aid of my only son, Viktor Shulsky, by entrusting him with the use of my personal black grimoire, in the hope that he will be able to make good use of it. This is my last will and testament. Carry it out solemnly, though you may have found it burdensome. However, this last request poses a certain problem. Yes, it certainly does. And what is that, may I ask? I am not in possession of this grimoire. The late Mr. Shulsky used it up until his death. Yet no one left it with me after his passing. Meaning it's disappeared? Did father have his grimoire on him at the time of his death? It was only because of the grimoire that we could identify him at all. What actually happened? How did he die? A building collapsed on top of him. I don't know any other way of putting it. The grimoire. Could someone have taken it? Perhaps. In all that confusion? But why would anyone want Papa's grimoire? An ordinary person won't use it. Would the tarmator just happen to be passing by? Father had all his knowledge in there, but I don't know if it would be useful to someone other than him. 
I don't even know why he left it to me. I'm sure Stasio had a reason. A building? It collapsed on top of him? How? How did this happen? It was a day like any other. Papa had gone for his habitual walk. Every Tuesday and Thursday, he'd take a stroll to get some space, as he put it. When he didn't come back for a long time, I got the bad feeling something had happened. Then... We rode there together. An entire wall of a tenement had collapsed. There were three victims, including Stasio, who had the bad luck to simply be walking by. To see him there in that condition, it's beyond description. Where did it happen? Where was this building? The southern part of Śródmieście, not far from the police station. Anyway, you can miss it. So that's where it is. I've seen this place. I'd rather not imagine what condition you found father in there. Of all the possibilities, this was the death that fate prepared for him. He died as he lived, miserably. He couldn't have met a more fitting end after what he did to me. What he did to the Nijic family. You've got to know that Papa felt guilty. Even if he didn't say so outright. I'm not going to defend him, but I can't criticize him either. Even I don't know what really happened back then with Avoritsa. An accident is what happened, and father treated two kids like the worst disgraces in the world. As if it had been premeditated. When a person dies so suddenly, their unfinished business remains. We'll never learn what Stasio carried in his heart. What do you intend to do? Father evidently knew a certain Ivan Konechkin. Have you heard anything about him? Konechkin? No, doesn't ring a bell. All sorts of people came to Papa's store. That doesn't mean every one of them might know something about the grimoire. That's true. You've got your work cut out for you. And Mordechai Chayat, could that be a lead? I don't think so. He worked with father, but he left more than a year ago. I don't know why. He was an assistant at our, well, my store. Do you know where I might find him? Sadly, no. Do you have any other ideas? I think we have to look for the answer in the place where it happened. With your side, you can make out more in those ruins than I, or uncle, or detective could. This is a good lead, but is it the only one? And where are father's things at the moment? You're standing at the very center of his kingdom. Not everything has been sorted through yet, but you go right ahead. And the store? I should check the two. I've started stock taking there to distract myself, and I don't want you to go in there before I've finished. As you wish. Now at least I can see how little I know. Maybe these scraps of information will lead me somewhere. Well, now that we know what's got to be figured out, forgive me, my darlings. I'm going to give my old bones a rest. I'll see you out. Goodbye, Uncle. And, uh, Ligia. I'm sorry it happened this way. That I wasn't close by. The most important thing is you're here now.
How do you find our old stomping ground? Yes, I'm not too fond of this place either. This is where I had my last conversation with my father, just before I left. If you can call it a conversation. Can you see my dreams? Nightmares, actually. Ever since I decided to come back, I keep reliving the same memory. The Lone Shark Incident. I've been seeing his death more and more lately. I wonder if his shop is still there. Perhaps we should go there and check. Hello? I talk here? Do you hear me now? Victor? Victor, are you there? Grigori? Yes. Victor, uh, where are you? On the other end of the line, at home, where the telephone rang. <laughs> Incredible. How did you know I have a telephone at home? Something's interrupting you, Victor. I am telecommunicating with you to say I found lodgings here in Warsaw. If you need me, I'm by the cemetery. Uh, what number is it? <laughs> yes, yes. 7 Povaskoska Street. Uh, number 7 by cemetery. Povaskoska. I'm glad. It's good to hear your voice. <laughs> it's good to hear you as well. Uh, goodbye. I want to end now. What do I... Uh, like this? Wonderful device. Remarkable. Hello? Oh, and now? Have you found anything yet about the Grimoire? Is there any way I can help? The trousers are... an original style. Until now, I'd only seen women in trousers in the East. First of all, they're practical. It's the 20th century. It's high time we started dressing comfortably. 
You've always been brave, never afraid of anything or anybody. Like when Mother almost had a fit because you dumped my best tie in hot cocoa. I didn't care that she was angry. I wanted to get you back for not wanting to play with me. Because you were being too annoying. You meant to say brave. By the way, Grajana still makes cocoa every evening. You can conjure up the flavor of childhood if you want. Is there anything else you want to talk about? What's next for you? You're in charge here now. Have you got some kind of grand scheme? A grand scheme? Well, for now, I'm just trying to keep my head above water. Certain customers are unconvinced that a woman can handle running a business. What's worse, a woman without powers. You know what I mean. A thaumaturge at my side would shut them all up. After all, it's your heritage too. I don't know anything about running a company, but if I can help in any way, you can count on me. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I trust the smoke doesn't bother you. You used to detest the smell of tobacco. You'd hold your breath going into Father's study. That's true, but when I'd stay here, alone with Papa, and somehow over the years I got used to it. I don't know when I started copying him, even. Daddy's girl. You were always closer to him. That's not true. I was just less rebellious than you, his thaumaturge son. Now come on, what else is on your mind? In Father's study, I found a trace of a woman that I couldn't identify. Probably Svetlana Rumyantseva. Who is she? And what does Father have to do with her? Svetlana is a Russian aristocrat who travels with the Romanov's court. I can only tell you she was a customer of Father's. A customer? If you don't want to say, then don't. Where can I find her? When she's in town, she stays at the Imperial Hotel. She might know something that will help me find the grimoire. Not so fast. To get in, you're going to need me and my connections. Svetlana is famous for her soirées where she hosts the Crème de la Crème of Warsaw. What's a soirée? How long did you say you lived with Mother in Paris? Just a party, if you like. Do you know what that is? Very funny. We could go together. How about... You track down some evening clothes, and I'll sort out the invitation. And I won't take no for an answer. Sadly, you never give me a chance. Unfortunately, everything in my wardrobe is antediluvian. I need a tailor. There's a shop at 11 Pruzna Street that's fairly decent and quick. We also have barbers in Warsaw in case you want to do something about whatever you have growing on your head and face. Master Victor, let me guess. Have you come for some hot cocoa? Yes, a cup of cocoa would do me good. Help yourself. The pot is in the salon, along with some of your favorite cookies. It's been an age since we've seen one another. I'm glad you're back. Mistress Ligia is really struggling with everything. And so, the great Stanislav Shulsky is dead, crashed by a building. Can't say I'd wish a death like that on anybody. An awful death. Sheer cruelty. Mr. Shusky didn't deserve it. Now all we can do is think back on what a wonderful man he was. That won't take long. So, this death, what do you make of it, Grishenko? I'll tell you in confidence, Master Shusky. Now, 
I'm a simple woman, but something about your father's death doesn't sit right with me. How do you mean, Grazenka? Don't you suspect some impure powers had a hand in it? Do you mean it could have something to do with thaumaturgy? That I don't know. Look at us jabbering while there are potatoes not peeled. Forgive me, master. Ligia won't open up to me, but how is she doing? She's having a rough time, the poor dear. Her heart is heavy, though she doesn't show it, but she's strong. She keeps her chin up and doesn't give in. And it's good she's got you to help now, master. Only she started smoking like a chimney. She takes after her father, no question about it. Another time, Grazenka. I'll get out of your way. Always ample work, but I can always snatch a moment for a chit-chat with you, master.
Excuse me. Damn it. I forgot to turn the key. Sorry, what? You tell me. What is it? I couldn't help noticing you're struggling for inspiration. You've got a keen eye. The book makes it easier? I have to guess what everyone has in their mind. Is there any way I can help? I want to know what people look for in fashion these days. Back in the day, all you needed was two pant legs and a space for your Johnson. I don't know what else there is to it. If you tell me that, I'll be grateful. I'll sue you anything you want in return. Let me sharpen my senses. I need some evening wear, quick. Good proportions. Thank you. Alterations won't take long. Your name and address, sir? Viktor Shulsky, 9 Green Square. I'll send a messenger when I'm done. And Mr. Shulsky, if you'll allow me a moment of candor, as it often seems no one dares to address you with it. Sorry, what? Go and find yourself a barber in Povonsky. You look like a troglodyte. Now, I'd like to go to my business. I won't bother you. All right. Come in. Please, set my hair to rights. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I don't usually talk to clients. Do you like it? I can't help noticing that you're the most tight-lipped barber I've been to. 
And even you admit that you rarely talk to clients. Why is that? When I prepared them for their final journey, it's hard to ask for their opinion. So you style the deceased too? Mostly. They still need to look good. After all, you only get a funeral once in your lifetime. So, what do you think? Do you like it? I'm not sure. Maybe too much pomade? You know it's all the rage now. But that's all right. We'll change it. I'm sorry. I don't usually talk to clients. Do you like it? Yes, you're talented. Years of practice. My clients are always satisfied. You will be mine, secret. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I see you went to a barber. That's something at least. 
Recently, I met a bearded guy who's not especially fussy about his appearance. And yes, people welcome him everywhere with open arms anyway. Mm, maybe he's a natural charmer. I've heard that can get you into the Imperial even without a tailcoat. Very funny. Are you getting dressed so we can go, or have you changed your plans? Yes, let's go and see if I do fit in. In that case, I'll go get changed too. Look at you. And here I worried I was the only one who looked good in trousers. Very chic choice. Thank you. You look fantastic. Thank you. You think Papa would be mad that we're going to a party right after his funeral? I hope so. Victor. He could have kept from losing the Black Grimoire. Are we ready? Yes, the carriage is waiting. Welcome to the Imperial Hotel. How may I help you? Ligia Szulska, here on the invitation of Svetlana Romianceva. Yes, we are expecting you, of course. The uh, soiree is taking place in apartment 237, second floor. I wish you a thrilling and successful evening. I'm impressed. How did you sort that out? Our name still means something. Let's do our best to keep it that way, all right? Who are you, my golden slithering friend? Victor? Victor. Victor! Can you hear me? Yes, uh, of course. These people are just waiting for us to put a foot wrong, understand? We're walking into the Vipers then, brother. Everything's all right. I just got a little lost in thought. I'll be good, I promise. I'm going to hang around here a little longer. I'll meet you upstairs. Uh, see you there. we come here for? These soirees are for old people. Good evening. May I? Please, we're not discussing anything consequential. <laughs> you keep on worrying about yourselves. I intend to make the most of this evening. See, I told you he was in love. Miss Skawan is out of your league, my friend. To say nothing of her father. Old Skawan and I are Practically on first name terms now. You'll see. I'm sure. So, one eye catching girl has already got an admirer. What does that leave us, Maxime? Hmm, not much. The dull, the silly, or, well, the old. On parlant de Ligia Shuska, <laughs> she just passed this way. Pigs will fly before someone fancies her. She'd actually prefer Sophia Scowon, according to what I've heard. Well, what do you think? My name is Viktor Shulsky. Well, there we have it. And I don't like what I just heard, especially about my sister. And, uh... What are you going to do about it? Pardon me, gentlemen. I promised that I would be well behaved tonight. Lunatic.
Well, well, someone new. Good evening. Good evening, Viktor Szulski. Irina Orlova of Those Orlovs. This is Natalia Obolenskaya, and this strangely quiet soul is our delightful Sofia Skawan. Irina is exaggerating. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Szulski. The Governor General's daughter herself. How do you do? What can you tell us? How are you enjoying yourselves? We can't complain. Seeing as we're debutantes, we're getting a lot of attention. Really? Maybe you'll tell us something about yourself. I suspect you want to hear more about the book. We've never met a thaumaturgist before. To tell the truth, I didn't believe they existed. A thaumaturg? Don't worry. But now you do. Well, it depends on what kind of trick you show us, Mr. Shulsky. I need to slip away for a moment. Oh, no, what a shame. Mr. Shulsky? I need to slip away for a moment. Oh, no, what a shame. Mr. Shulsky? I didn't expect to see you here, of all places. You don't know how very flattering that is. And what brings you to the Imperial? If I may, there's one question niggling at me. How did you get so many scars? Why do you ask? I've heard that Russian officers in training have drunken duels with sabers after hours. Mm, no. A very peculiar custom, if that's true. So where did those scars come from? I've led an interesting life. I could ask you the same question. I'm passing the time. Ah, oh, curious hobby. I'm simply interested in people. Do you know these circles well? They're not hard to figure out. A gang of none too bright layabouts chasing amusement after amusement after amusement. Do you feel part of that gang? I'm not one of them. And neither are you. Nor was your father. The cream of Warsaw society is here, so I thought it would be worth showing my face. With a name like yours, I'm sure you fit right in. After all, someone must have invited you. I'm not worthy. My sister brought me along out of pity, I think. And so, 
Miss Ligia is here too. Why do you ask? No reason. What are you hoping for this evening? Who knows? Maybe I'm keeping an eye out for the future Mrs. Shulska. <laughs> Best of luck. You'll need it, since Ligia ended up with the entire inheritance. How do you know all these things? People talk, I listen. That's all. Who are you, really? Just someone who wants to enjoy himself at a party. Who did you say you were to my father? A trusted acquaintance. I supported him with good advice. Though truth be told, he rarely needed it. Your father had a gift for making good decisions. Which of my father's decisions would those be? Ones that were good for your family. Perhaps we'll have the chance to return to this another time. Goodbye, Mr. Shulsky. Yes, I'm sure. Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. Maybe that's enough. What do you want? trick with entering someone's head. I know one person who can do that. You're not much of a thaumaturge if you can't. You come here to torment me? Unmask me? I don't see any fun in unmasking you. So what do you want? I think your idea of pretending to be a medium is fantastic. It sounds like I impress you. How many people know? Is that a threat? Your seating is quite impressive. Flattery will get you nowhere. Madame, you're being impolite. What about a little competition? We'll see who wins. I'll pass. Just a wild saliter here. I understand your being here has something to do with him in particular. Keep your nose out of this. Why? Because I'm warning you. What do you know about this saliter? Do you know its name? Don't you? A name doesn't tell us much anyway. All that matters is picking out the person in this crowd with the floor. I know perfectly well who carries the flaw. Another reason for you to stay out of it. That's not such a ladylike tone, madame. Maybe we should just let the best one catch that saluter. <laughs> you mean yourself? The person with the flaw attended the seance, right? So I'm on the right track. Have you finished? <laughs> so should we finish up? That would be best. And listen to me carefully, Mr. Whatever your name is. Shulsky. 
But you can call me Victor. Now, Mr. Shulsky, you will vanish like a bad dream, and I will get back to work. Gentlemen, meet my brother. Viktor Shulsky. The last Shulsky to wear trousers. You don't know that. Miss Ligia could yet produce an heir to the fortune. Maybe even with me, if she doesn't tell my wife. But let's talk like men. You intend to take over your father's company, correct? First, I suggest you mind your own business. Your marriage, for instance. Perhaps Louisa isn't the ninny you take her for. I beg your pardon? Hasn't it occurred to you that when you leave her at home, she might also take advantage of her solitude? What are you suggesting? You've got a cockold's horns. Was I being too subtle? I suppose it's true what they say about you. Yes? What's that? You've lost your mind. Thank you. I've worked long and hard at that. Good luck with your business, miss. I almost feel sorry for them. Have I crossed the line? Nonsense. Any progress with Svetlana? Sofia Skowan, the Governor General's daughter. Do you know her? No, and I don't suggest you make her acquaintance either. Skowan can't stand thaumaturgists. I've taken a long, deep look at Samira. She's no medium. Samira is a thaumaturge on the hunt. On the hunt? Madame has spotted a salutor that's attached to one of the guests. What kind of salutor? Remember those fairy tales Mother used to read us? Uh, and the legend of the golden snake? Yes, Velas. Yes, I'm glad you're here. Are you also hunting for him? I admit I like to have him. I haven't made up my mind. Be careful. I am. That's why I haven't made up my mind. Guess who I ran into again? All mysterious and carved up. Ivan Konietkin? What do you know about him? Mm, not much. He was an acquaintance of Papa's. Well, in theory, it's thanks to him that we're here. What? Ligia? I know that nothing comes for free, but he really didn't want anything. Yeah, he looks like a real altruist. You enjoying yourself in this viper's den? Oh, the vodka is quite tolerable. I'm observing my own brother taking out his anger on ordinary mortals. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going. And the general says to him, tell us something funny. Then Bautsky replies, General, why don't you shoot a cannon first? That's a good one. I'll have to tell it tomorrow at the Orwafs. Who might this be joining our conversation? You know, sir, your face looks familiar to me. My name is Viktor Shulsky. Ah, oh, yes, I can see something in your eyes. I was sorry to hear about your father. I'll see you next time, darling. Wonderful party. See you there. Yeah. 
I think I've offended the creme de la creme of Warsaw. This is hardly the creme de la creme. How do you find my soiree? How is it being part of the Tsar's court? It is a blessing and a curse. Forgive me if I do not elaborate. I admit I'm getting reacquainted with the social scene. You spent a long time traveling, didn't you? Fifteen years. Over that time, I got used to harsher surroundings. And believe me, drawing rooms can be just as dangerous as untamed steps. You've met Anastasia and Marina. What about the others? I've already met several distinguished guests. Madame Samira definitely stands out. She is exceptional, isn't she? Her presence is the crowning glory of the evening. Has anyone else caught your eye? Ivan Konechkin, for instance. Apparently, he knew my father. How remarkable. I wasn't aware. Konechkin is something of a secretive person. And have you yet had occasion to meet the debutants of this season? I'll be sure to seek them out. This evening, Sofia Skowen herself is to grace us with her presence. Well, well. I suggest you move quickly. The competition is fierce. The crux of the matter is that I'm here because of my father. You knew him. That doesn't sound like a question. Of course, I was his customer. I truly am sorry for you. Both of you. The death of someone close is always a dreadful blow. Please accept my condolences. Svetlana Piotrovna, I must insist. Can you tell me something more about my father? Mr. Shulsky, I assure you we have the most delectable vodka. Besides that, I warmly encourage you to join Madame Samira's seance. It will be an unforgettable experience. Hmm, I wonder, is that truly everything our soiree can offer you? I've got no choice but to suffer through tonight. No need to mince words. I felt something. Where is it? I was looking for you. Do you smoke, Mr. Shulsky? I've quit. In light of our approaching conversation, why don't we dispense with the pleasantries? Call me Svetlana. Victor. Ask. That large travel chest. You changed your mind about whether or not to pack. Right then, I wanted to escape badly, but that would have had its own consequences. In this game of false appearances, I'm the best. The burned note. Who sent it? I only sensed underhanded kindness. Da, the Ochrana. I don't know which one of them exactly, if that's what you're asking. I've worked hard at it. The Ochrana? 
It stands for Atelene po ochranienio abstestienno i bezpastnosti i pariatka. In other words, the secret police. I know what they are. I'd like to know what they want. Knowledge. The Tsar's eyes and ears must be on guard. They infiltrate not only the city, but most importantly, the court. And me and my Suarez, too, I'm sure. When did you receive this note? A few weeks ago, back before your father. I see. You two had an affair. <sighs> two grown-up, lonely people found momentary comfort in each other's arms. But Romans wasn't behind that relationship. It was just that we were both looking in the same direction. What do you mean by looking in the same direction? <sighs> I still don't know how this lovely note ended up in your hands. But in addition, I found a lovely strings of pearls. And on it, your feelings of guilt. Your power is terrifying. Do you know that? Tsarina Alexandra gave you those pearls. You two are close. I am her confidant. I could call her my friend. I see how much she devotes to her family and the nation. Yet something has changed. Your feelings of guilt. Do they have something to do with Sarina Alexandra? With the whole empire. Ruski Mir in Podavai. We, the establishment, perceive the need for change. We want reform. The Colossus is already teetering, but if it falls... La guillotine, mon chéri. But I want to live, Victor. Ideally, closer to the West. Where was my father in all this? Willingly or otherwise, he was part of the establishment that wanted change and could see revolution before it arrived. The Ochrana knew about you, hence the note. They must have noticed something. Isn't it time you told me why you really came to my soirée? Do you think the Ochrana killed my father? Your father was crushed by a building. I don't think that's how the Ohrana works. Perhaps you're right. What do you intend to do now? Nothing. The Suarez will continue. Society has come to expect it. Everything will stay the same. I myself shall manage. I hoped you might know something about the Black Grimoire. My father left it to me in his will, but the grimoire has gone missing. No. And the collapsed building? Have you been there? There's nothing there. My dear boy, I know nothing about Stanislav's book. I'm sorry, but I can't help you there. But I will not let you leave empty-handed. I strongly believe that there is one place you ought to visit. What you find there belongs to you. Thank you. No, thank you for listening.
Splendid ladies, distinguished gentlemen, the hour is at hand. With lights dimmed and the curtains drawn, the souls of the dead slowly gather among us. On their command, I will give the chosen among you a tarot card as your invitation to the table. For you, sir? Is fooling around and thinks you can scare me off. I'm done wasting time on this. Let us gather in secret ritual. Let's not keep the souls waiting too long. Let us also make every effort together not to spoil their visit. Shulski, may I have a word? How can I help? My friends and I are just playing truth order, and now it's my turn. Won't you dazzle me with your powers? Your father would not be thrilled about you playing games with the Thaumaturge. Maybe that's precisely the point. To keep violating his wishes? First, please tell me the rules of this game. Of course, I'm being silly. After all, you've been away a long time. It's simple. Each player, in turn, must admit a truth or accept a dare. Anyone who doesn't must drop out of the game and thereby loses. And I don't like to lose. I would guess that to you, a dare would be the lesser of two evils. How very perceptive. It involves finding out my comrades' secrets. Irina, Maxim, or Sergei. The trick is that you're cleverer at it than I am. I accept. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Let me see what I can find. Will any secret do? Any. I wait anxiously for your return. I'll take a look around. Getting impatient. What have you found out? A 
As far as Sergei... Yes? I'll be honest. He'd do anything for you. Anything, you say? Miss Irina would like to get to know Maxim better, but she keeps hesitating. What? She never told me. Some friend she is. And what does our dear Maxim think of that? Oh, I was wondering where you'd gone off to. You know Sergei, don't you? We're already acquainted. Mr. Shulsky and I have completed my extra difficult dirt together. At your service. Now, time for truth. Are you seeing anyone? Maybe we should not reveal all our secrets to one another right away. Mr. Shulsky, our time is up. Sofia and I must leave for the Seros. Madame is waiting. Thank you once more. See you. Therefore, Velis chased Sofia Skawan and her floor here. She seemed like such an innocent girl, didn't she? It's no coincidence she focused on me. After all, old Skawan hates Thaumaturgis. The little scam. If I want to discern that little scheme as well, I'll have to join that sepulchral table. Either her scheme or her jealous knight in shining armor will help me identify her flaw. I hope her father doesn't find out. Is this seat free? The energy is dissipating. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I am losing contact with these souls. Well, it was the souls that chose me after all. It's true. The gentleman has a card. Let us lay our hands on the table. Let us allow our minds to liberate themselves from our bodies toward the edges of the world as you know it. Are you thinking of someone exceptional whom you wish to summon? That's exactly the sort of person I had in mind. Oh, is it a long lost love? Rather a future delightful acquaintance. Leave her alone. Sergei, this has nothing to do with you. Dear guests, I implore you, the souls! Is that jealousy I hear? Stand here, right now! I accept the challenge, right now. Uh, focus on someone you want to make contact with. Would a duel make you happy, miss? Between this poor man and me? Are you all going to fight now? Choose a location! A duel over me would be truly beyond exciting. Yes, I think so too. Don't you dare! <sighs> You were supposed to stay away. I was supposed to leave here with Velis. All that work for nothing. Spare yourself the trouble. It was a fair fight. But I don't intend to hold you here. Truth be told, I even feel sorry for you. What does that mean? Rid yourself of the pride you've got within. Otherwise, it will lead you to the gallows. 
Enough of this. There's a Sadita waiting for me. Enjoy him, fool. Then you stop fighting me. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this evening the souls were particularly restless. The souls have now told me everything I needed to hear. And you, sir, what can you tell us?
Sergei, please wait a moment. Mr. Shulsky, there are only so many humiliations a gentleman can tolerate. I have reached my limit. Congratulations to you both. I can see I won't convince you. I have to explain myself. It was me who provoked the whole situation. Sergei didn't have anything to do with it. But what was all this for? What's going on here? The guests are complaining, and with good cause, I see. We're terminating this disaster. One moment. First, Mr. Shulsky will explain himself. For my own, freely chosen reasons. I was looking for something here, and I found it. I regret that it was at someone else's expense. Enough wistful chatter. Will the gentleman with a book be leaving peacefully, or should we show him out? No need. I can make it to the door. Madame, honored guests. Victor, don't scare me like that. Mr. Sursky, are you all right? I think it's time for us to go. I'll snug us a carriage. You'll have a hard time at this hour. I'll drop you off. See, you can always count on Mr. Konieczki. Victor. Thank you. That's very polite. Thank you for an interesting evening. Are you angry? I need to rest. I'm sorry it all turned out like this. Not tonight, please. Ligia. <laughs> Good night. Oh my, that sure is noisy. Hello. Hello? Hello. Victor? Speaking. Victor, Uncle Sasha here. How are you? Have you visited your old stomping ground yet? I've rediscovered some things like a comfortable bed. The city has changed a lot, as have we all. The most important thing to me right now is retrieving my father's grimoire. Your grimoire? I wish you luck, boy. Is there any specific reason why you're calling me? I wanted to... Uh, need. I need your help, boy. It's a very delicate matter. Are you able to find a moment for your uncle? Maybe now would be a good time to explain it, since you're calling. It's not something to discuss over the phone. They keep switching those lines. You never know who's listening. All right. So where should we meet? Remember where I took you kids for donuts? Uh, I do. <laughs> Let's meet there. Maybe we can reminisce about the old days. Better days. See you then, Victor. Thank you.
Hello. Indeed. Fanciable. Up close. I would even say a solid eight, wouldn't you? I don't know. We'll see when he turns around. Eight it is. Will you show us something more? May I ask what you ladies are doing? What everyone does. We're evaluating. A solid eight? You know, on a scale from one to ten, you look quite spiffy, sir. Why are you smoothing with some sucker who's already suited and booted for his own funeral? And you, lousy fop, got an itch in looking for some philandering at the marble orchard, are you? Six, five, zero. There's nothing here for you. Mr. Eight got some you-know-what, so he caught our eye. And vice versa, I can tell. Get ready for some shellacking, lads. We got a dandy looking for some extra ventilation. And, as luck would have it, not too far from the orchard either. Sir, you have the unique opportunity of becoming a ten.
Yes, sir? Please let me in. It's urgent. You can't just turn up like this. What will I tell sir and madam? Fear not. I'm here for Rasputin. I can sense he's in the drawing room. Intriguing. Is that him? In the flesh. Allow me to introduce you. My dear hostess, Aniela Narodzinska, and my dear friend, Viktor Shulsky. Your father had a beautiful funeral. Thank you. My dear, we finished for today. Now I'll find out what brings Viktor to us. What brings you here? But you were the one who found. Very funny. Why was she looking at me so oddly? What did you tell her about me? She's never seen a thaumaturge before. I only mentioned to her how we met. Can I help you at all? You look like you've made yourself at home. Are you going to be staying on here for long? No, I'm afraid not. They're kind people, but I've experienced another vision. Though not fully terrifying, it is troubling. Will you tell me about it? Later. What brings you to me? Have you known them long? No, but Aniela and Lucian are my two good souls. They took me, an impoverished preacher, in under their roof. And I'll never forget that. Are you helping them too? I am a bomb for Aniela's frazzled nerves. But enough of that. Tell me what you need. Actually, I don't feel great. Let's see what you've brought with you this time. Close your eyes and focus on my words. Concentrate on my voice. Relax and focus within yourself. Follow my voice inside yourself. He is remarkable. I... I can't <laughs> tame him. You can, and you will. Look, he's afraid of you. Calm your heartbeat. It will scare him off. Calm yourself. You look better. You slept a long time. Yes, it feels that way. What year is it? Still 1905. 
Yet time flows on inexorably. No, I won't bother you. We can talk next time. The Narazinski door is always open to you. Am I a magician or what? Death did not catch my father by surprise. It seems as if he had been expecting it, just not at that moment. He was practically annoyed about it. There was something he had wanted to finish. And this building. It couldn't have just fallen down like that right as he was going by. Maybe he was on his way to a tryst with Svetwana. Hey, Suski! What? Chicken butt! Tie him up! There you go. Tighter. We took his book. Well done. All right, let's wake the asshole up. Wakey, wakey. What? What's... Well, come on, Sleeping Beauty. I haven't got all day. Now, let me get a good look at you. You look rough, fancy boy. This isn't what I was expecting. Well, what did you expect? That after years of hanging out in Parisian salons, you'd come back handsome and spruced up. How do you know about Paris? 
Nothing stays secret from any agents, right? Shit. Just read out my birth certificate, why don't you? Abaurycy Niedzic. Long time no see, Shulski. Have you lost your mind? Let me go, then we can talk, equal to equal. No, Victor. This time, I'm on top. What does it feel like to have your life depend on me? Enough of this. It's not funny, and it's not scary. The fucking Shulskis, always looking down your noses. It's because of you my pop died the way he did, and it's because of you I ended up on the streets. Well, fuck, Victor. We pulled the trigger together. There'd be nothing to talk about if you hadn't nicked pop's pistol. So how come pop and I were the ones to pay the price, huh? I remember it a little differently. Oh, now that makes me curious. Does it just so happen that in your version, you're innocent? No, I'm not. And you're not either. But it's my father's fault most of all. What a convenient answer. He's not going to defend himself now, is he? I don't have any intention of changing your mind. We were dumb kids. I can't change the past. Yeah. Full of foreboding, he desired to push away his memories. Yeah, did? Where's that rat? What the fuck? Boss, it's the Cossacks again. Come here, coward! Looks like you've got a chance for redemption. Let's show these dickheads you don't mess with the shivs. I'll take a look around. You guys again. You shitheads better have a good excuse, because I was right in the middle of an incredibly important meeting. It was fate that decided. We flipped a coin, and it turns out that today... We're practicing our boxing on you! Some... Feathers? Okay. I know you. You're... I can't remember now. Fucked up, but today you'll regret it. Today I've got the Demon Master on my side. Show these cretins, Victor.
<laughs> you never let me down. This is the best way to start an evening, at Nyejit's bar. If we're to have fun, let's do it right. A round for everyone. <laughs> Old friendships never die, right? Here, Polish, pure, the mother of all libations. Enjoy it! Who knows what piss you've been drinking abroad. So, are we quits? I helped you out. Now, can we forget all that ancient history? Don't be so sly, Victor. We're not squared up yet. That burns nicely. My knuckles are itching. Let's go somewhere and pick a fight. Good riddance. Well, what do you say, Victor? Returning to the subject of the past. Fuck the past. We're in the here and now. Let's enjoy the moment. Cheers. You don't want to talk about it? I thought that was why you kidnapped me. I've changed my mind already. You better tell me what you're poking around my bar for. It seems to me there's work for me to do at your bar. No shit! I'll give you a hand. Not like that. Thaumaturgical work. It seems to me there's a salutar here. What the fuck? Who brought a demon into my joint? I'll give him... Although, hang on now. A demon is a good publicity. Hey, everybody! From this day forth, the London bar will be known as The Demon's Dead! Go and tell everybody that here is the only place you can do shots in the devil's company. Listen, you keep on thinking about how you can develop your business, and I'm going to take a look around and come right back. Go! I'm going to wet my whistle and see how you do your hocus pocus. If you need something, I'm here, and I'll give you a hand. That giant bird must enjoy it, and I'm sure it also stirs up the chaos. Victor, 
Time for penalty drinks. Feathers, a beak, those eyes. Who are you? I can't focus. Don't make me come over there! Do I know someone with mood swings, a tendency for bravado, and a weakness for blues? Have you nosed around my humble little hole in the wall? What's the word? Tell me something more about these Cossacks. They roam around different bars picking fights as soon as they get leave from the Citadel. Sometimes we pummel each other and things continue as usual. Well, well. How did you get your hands on all this? I worked my ass off for years. I found myself in shitty positions. Sometimes I had to make people disappear. Pop wouldn't have been proud of me. Maybe it's a good thing he didn't live to see it. But then I'd have to kill you. What's stopping you? You had me tied up in the chair. Well, I sure did. Maybe the thought even crossed my mind. But I decided to give you a chance. Witness the kindness within my heart. Tell me, what else is going on? I've had a look around and something's caught my attention. I think they might have something to do with the Salutar. Well then, shoot! A bucket of dirty water and a blood-soaked rag. Whose blood is this? As if I remember everybody who's bled on the floor here. Every day we've got to clean up after somebody. Is that everything or have you found anything else? Did anybody die from this bullet that got stuck in the post? Bullets fly every which way here. That's the atmosphere. Was someone killed? Probably, but that's not very unusual. Look how helpful I am. Keep going. Who smashed your window? How long it's been? Uh, two days, I think. This one Russian bigwig was really fucking irritating me, so I politely asked him to leave. What else can I help you with? Tell me. Uh, I'm at your service. You like to go wild here, huh? Are you often the one who gets the old crazy ball rolling? You know I used to have a puppy. This little fluff ball was hanging out under the bar. I have a heart, Victor. I have a big heart. Not like those morons over there. To Cossacks, a game without a corpse is no game at all. For me, knocking out teeth, breaking hands, I'll take it. A stiff spoils the mood of it. That's my opinion. What happened to the puppy? He was called Romeo. He fell in love. One day, he packed his bag and ran off with that bitch. I'm sure he uh, started a family. He's raising his puppies and reminiscing. Yeah. My brave little guy. Uh, but what were we talking about? You get a lot of stiffs here, then? Where my corpse here lieth down. Something, something looketh around. What do you call a lot? Three a month on average, I'd say. Danis, that Cossack with a dick where his head should be, pulled out his revolver one day and wanted to play Russian roulette. Only with his revolver. But fuck it, I'm not handing my head over so easily to a butcher like that. Well then I'll ask you, is he an idiot or what? I have to gather my thoughts. Go ahead, go ahead, I have to gather myself a little too. Lelek. What the hell did you say, Victor? You're out of your goddamn mind. The Salutor's name's Lelek. Well, yes, the beak, the feathers, the trill. He loves the smell of death and he enjoys risk and foolishness, which he also fuels. So let's go get Lelek. Yeah, come on. Well, about it is, Lelek could be as well. 
Maybe his flaw is speaking for him. Whoever's with us is with us, and whoever's against us, fuck him. Come on, I'll show you places even the philosophers never dreamed of. Maybe your demon will be drinking vodka somewhere there, too. Take a deep breath. That's the smell of Warsaw nightlife. Smell it, Victor. Relish it. A bouquet of sweat, shit, and puke. And piss, thanks. But it's Warsaw's piss and puke, interwoven with the aroma of steadfastness and heroism. Come on, you'll see the true face of Abauritz in Niedzic. And maybe you'll even find what you're looking for here. Welcome to my world. Meaning what? That they've got a guy tied up in the back here too, and they're about to threaten to drown him in the Vistula? I see the positive mood of the neighborhood has infected you. Wonderful. But you guessed wrong, friend. Here, well, magic happens here. Thought is transformed into word, to penetrate the material and infuse the universe with tender. All right, let's drink, shall we? A double barrel each, please. People come here to tickle their palates with exquisite libations. Let's do a milk of 83. You're not messing around. After years of begging and eating scraps off aristocratic tables, I'm not messing around. You come here to get some fresh air away from the underworld? I come here so I don't forget who I am. A poet. You've always had a silver tongue. <laughs> don't I know it? Add to that a despicable past, and you've got all the ingredients for a poet. Now, why are we sitting here instead of at your bar? My lads, bless them. Set me up a poetry reading once, but they're simple folk. They don't understand this, poesy. They laughed when they should have cried. Cried when their hearts should have flooded with anger. I don't hold it against them. My bar trades on its reputation as a dive. That's how you make the most money. So what's actually been going on with you over the last 15 years? My father ended up behind bars. And as for me, the streets took me in, taught me life. I roamed around, got odd jobs. And when I was hard up, I went begging. I've got a tough skin on me, Victor. 
but the embers of poetry still smolder in my heart. Well, in time, I gained a new family, my shivs. What is your plan? Would you rather the name Nyejits make people talk about the king of the underworld or a great poet? The poetic king of the underworld. Anyway, they already say that. The shivs think of me as a bard, and the competition says so too. And since I've got them all by short hairs, they respect me, even though they can't string two proper sentences together. I've got a gift, Victor. I can't complain about a lack of talent. We were supposed to go to high school together, maybe to university after that. Everything would have gone differently if only. We did the world a favor by fucking over that loan shark. One way or the other, Pop's debts would have landed me on the streets. If I hadn't told you about it, you wouldn't have hit on your brilliant idea. I'll sort him out with my salader, you kept saying. You were too unskilled at that magic business of yours, eh? A gun is reliable and evocative. I thought a thaumaturge kid wouldn't make as big an impression as a kid with a pistol. And all in all, you were right. It's just a shame we used the gun. I trusted my father to help us, but he only told me not to interfere. He swore he'd sort it out. All right, there's no need to waste your damn breath. He's gone, and we're here. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I think Lelek is attached to you. A demon following me around? Bullshit. There are a lot of indications. Your personality, the things you do, and stuff like that. I'd rather not have anyone sharing my head with me. Can you do something about it? I see it like this. You've always had some seed of madness inside you, but I don't think you've ever been so fucked up. Beg pardon? I found your poem. Did you write it in your own blood or that of one of your victims? Victims? The hell are you talking about? Of course it was mine. I slice my veins open for art. That's how committed I am. More like desperate. No true poet needs to resort to gimmicks. He just needs ink, and the world will hear him. Shit. One more word, and I'll forget about our friendship. There's nothing to forget. Our friendship is just a figment of your sick imagination. Stab me in the heart. It'll hurt less. I know now that you're not the one Lelik is following. You see? Even the devil can't touch me. He's come knocking a few times, but we've never managed to strike a deal. And you'd surely be the perfect candidate for him. But only seemingly. So what? Should we continue our search? Oh, Victor, lad. How that we tickles me. Come on, of course we're continuing. We have to find that little brat of yours.
Do you give up, you piece of shit? Do you see what I see? I see two morons wrestling with a lamppost. How are you fellas doing? Who's winning? It's a colossus. Looking down its nose, arrogant piece of... I swear it called us sons of bitches. Well, that would piss anyone off. All in all, look at it this way, I bow it. It is a little stuck up. Well, that's true. If you look close enough at it, it could be enough to piss you off. That's what I said. You sure showed that lamppost what brave squatties you are. It's leaning now, so you taught it a lesson. Do my eyes deceive me, or are you vandalizing city property? Papers, please. I think you must have a screw loose, gents. <laughs> Different rules apply in the bar district. No need to show your ID, Ninjits. We've already got a cell waiting for you. Well, I don't think so. Go ahead, Victor. You sure gave that the Cossack treatment. And what? You guys were so worn out from fighting a lamppost that you didn't help? It was fun to watch. Nijits and the magician in action? It's a fine sight. Time to keep an eye out for Danis. He was injured in the fight with the Colossus and got lost. I think. Maybe the Ataman ended up at the Lockstock. Where? The lock, stock, and barrel. This Ruski bar up the stairs here. Competition. <laughs> the night's still young. There's excitement ahead. Let's follow them. Since I haven't yet found Lelik, that could be just where he is. Private party tonight, no riffraff. Cheers, Ivan, my friend. 
Mr. Nyejits, well, I've got clear instructions. Don't be silly. It's a beautiful night out. Rare when we see stars over Warsaw. But now look. One, two. If you count them all, you'll know the extent of my gratitude. Well, all right, go on in. I'm fond of you, Mr. Nyejits. I'm just doing my job. You see? That's respect. This is what they call a private party? What is this, awake? Good thing we showed up. Double barrel for me. Actually, make that too. Come on, don't make me back. I'll fix up your head for no extra fee. I'm in no hurry to go upstairs. You feel like a game. You up for one? Me? Forget it. I have gorgeous hands. Everyone says so. You're not gonna carve them up with that shank. What? You eavesdropping magician? Lock, stock and barrel? Or the London bar? The Demon's Den! You're taking a fucking survey? Are you spying for Nijits? Sheer curiosity. I work for nobody. I'm the one in charge of... Devils, I know, I know. Get out of here, I can't stand this sight of you. Don't mind me, I'm already going. I'd know how to make the most of being so popular. Oh, Nashtrug. Come sit with us. Did I hear you talking about Danis? Danis and babes. He talks a lot, makes a big fuss around himself, but when push comes to shove, he leaves them hanging. So them babes must like him. Yeah, nothing for us to do except drink and enjoy one another's company. You seem thick as thieves. Have you known each other long? Since we were kids. We're all from the Don Host Oblast. Under Danis, we've traveled far and wide with the Russians. Danis is your commander? Da, Ataman. You know Danis pretty well, right? Yeah, what about it? I take a professional interest in guys like him. Yeah. You think I can ask you guys a couple of questions? Let's see what you're after, wizard. Danis had a fiancé, but she dumped him. How come? You know, he keeps his feelings to himself. But it hurt him. That's what I think. Maybe she got sick of waiting. She had her pick of men in the village. And is that what made Danny so devil-may-care? A broken heart? Sure. What would it be otherwise? Who is Pasha? Our buddy, from the same village as us, out past the Don River. We went through a lot together. Pasha's dead. Leave it at that. What actually happened to him? We all stick close together. 
but when you're drunk, you get some weird ideas. That damned Shashka of Pasha's was a spoil of war. One time, Danis and Pasha got tanked and started playing Russian roulette for it. So, Danis clearly won. But that little saber of Pasha's doesn't make him feel triumph, more like love and concern. He really looks after it. Who'd have thought that Danis was such a sensitive soul? Does he play the balalaika a lot? Lately, he's been singing either about the Grim Reaper and Hellfire, or rolling in the hay. You can't keep up with him. He goes too heavy on the tearjerkers, for my taste. Any more questions? I won't bother you. I'm just on my way. What you sniffing around for again? I found something that belongs to you. A letter. Is... Hand that over. If you read it, you'll regret it. It's private. Easy now, I just wanted to talk. We don't have anything to talk about. Leave me alone. Don't mind me. I'm already going. Well, I'm telling you, maybe it's his hairstyle. If you went after me with a razor like that... It's you again. What do you want? You know Danny's pretty well, right? Yeah, what about it? I take a professional interest in guys like him. Yeah. You think I can ask you guys a couple of questions? Let's see what you're after, wizard. I've heard Danis likes playing Russian roulette. He's such a bonehead. He never thinks about the trouble he'll get himself into. You'd better watch your head when he's around. You know what I think? You're not being straight with me. What? I think Pasha and Danis were more than comrades in arms and blood brothers. On top of that, I think that's why Danis' fiance dumped him. People from your village kept giving her crap. What the fuck are you talking about? They were blood brothers, that's all. You'd love to find a buddy like that, someone for better and for worse. Calm down, I can see your faithful friends. I'd better go take a drag of also air. If you like breathing through a straight nose, don't try any funny business. Danis doesn't think about what he's doing, and he doesn't care about the consequences, as if it's all in the name of fun. He couldn't cope with his broken heart, so he started tumbling further and further into the depths of chaos. It seems like Pasha was more to him than just a comrade and close friend. His death hit Danis like a train. Since then, his life's been nothing but irrational behavior and risk-taking. He's thumbing his nose at death. 
I think I'll accept the challenge. Time to figure out his flaw and catch Lelek. I wonder if he'll play Russian roulette with me. What you sniffing around for again? You're sitting there so quietly. How about a little game? You play Russian roulette here, lads? Or are you too soft? Ha! Think you're harder than me? I eat Russian roulette for breakfast. Let's play. Did someone say Russian roulette? Show us what a tough guy you are, pretty boy. Six chambers, one bullet. Ready to start? Wait, Victor. Let's play with mine. Next time we'll play with yours. I hope so. Let's do it your way. I won't insist. Does this remind you of anything? Hang on, isn't that the same gat we used for? Play. My turn. It was nice knowing you guys. And you, Victor. If fate so ordains, we'll speak in hell. Well, four more. Ah. We're starting round two. Is that how it was with Pasha? Do you wonder if you're going to wipe the remains of my brain of your face? Shut your trap. Gods of chaos, watch over me. That's the end. We know what's waiting in the cylinder. You brave enough to cross even that final boundary? Have you lost your damn marbles, Victor? Pasha ran out of luck and lost his shashka, right? You're all lying! You think I'm scared of death? The sight of me makes the Grim Reaper quake in his boots. Well, go ahead. Watch carefully. Is that lovely song for me? Don't stop. I'm enjoying listening.
Rasputin will tame you. Bullets have no effect on me. The end will never come. What are you talking about, Dennis? Let's get to drinking. The night's still young. You don't understand. None of you. Leave me alone. I don't want to hear another word. Get out! Shut it, Selim. Or I'll find a loaded piece and shoot you dead. Give me a second. To get my thoughts together. I have to... Tell the truth. Only the truth will set you free. You and Pasha. You weren't meant to dwell on this. And Vanis, keep your trap shut, Ataman! I loved him. I loved Pasha. I still do. My own stupidity lost me the love of my life. This is the wizard's fault. You're dead, you dog. Hands to yourself, Selim. Enough arguing. I'll defend my brother's honor to the death. Selim, Timur, brothers. I haven't lost my honor yet. But I have found peace. Ataman. Everybody get that? If any of you don't like what you're hearing, I can take care of you right now. Come on. Let's leave these scoundrels alone. We've got stuff to talk about. What a poetic experience. I can feel it in my bones. As if I were part of something grand, you know? You knew the Russian roulette game was rigged, right? No. I thought God would spare you. That's why I wanted to play with mine. You know, I've still got plans for this evening. But tell me, did you catch the little sprat? Yeah, I did. But it wasn't easy. It still isn't. Was it worth it? I don't know. At least now it won't be Lelek deciding Danis's fate. And that's always a good thing. Anything that lets you sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> 
friend. Forget sleep. Now I need hypnosis. Thanks for today, about it. Oh no, hold on now. The night will end when I say so. Come here. What do I care? Lead the way. Well, yeah, I get that. At the end of the day, what heals the body and soul better than a double vodka, eh? Pour! To us, to you, to vodka! <laughs> Show her your demon, Victor. <laughs> Just not on my shoes. Victor, Victor, boy. Maybe you aren't at all such a prick as Sataniswaf was. <laughs> 99 bottles standing on the wall. Hey! <gasps> Well, hello, Sleeping Beauty. My head's about to explode. What the hell are we doing in front of my house? The front steps got the better of you. But, Victor, to hell with that. What a night we had. Admit it. If you're looking for fun, do it with Njejits. Well, I admit, it was quite, quite... Quite, schmite. It was spectacular, and we both know it. We'd better get away from here, if Ligia finds us. Ligia! And by what fault do your eyes burn red, hot, while your mouth is like honey? You trust over much in my virtue? I see you're looking after our good name, brother. At your service, sister. You know that for me, our family's good name always comes last. I'll pretend that those words are a product of your present indisposition. Ligia, sweetheart, don't listen to this idiot. It's the booze talking, not him. Can you make it home from here, or do you need a hand? But, but, those five rubles, remember? Five? What the hell do I owe you that much for? My dear friend, I can't answer that question in the company of a lady. Water whores aren't that expensive. You two got bilked. Victor, with each word, I find your sister more and more impressive. One way or another, I wouldn't like to have you as a creditor. If I needed a loan, it was because I'm broke. Then go fish around at home. A gold watch if Sataniswavs would come in handy. He doesn't care anymore. Satanisov. Here, from now on, you can cover your own tabs. Maybe you'll even start paying for your own telegrams. And now, pardon me, but I have things to do in life. Once you've dragged yourself home, brother, I'd like a word with you. All right, don't worry about it now. We'll have a chance to meet up. Next time, you're buying. Next time? <laughs> So you think I'm done with you? One night like this is too little for us to be squared up. 
I know not why others stare, lest it's at our drinking fair. I need to see Rasputin. Yes, sir? Please let me in. It's urgent. You can't just turn up like this. What will I tell sir and madam? Fear not. I'm here for Rasputin. I can sense he's in a drawing room. It's good to see you. Although, I think I can already see what you need. Let's not waste time. How about that? I look worse than I feel. So then, what brings you here? Why was she looking at me so oddly? What did you tell her about me? She's never seen a thaumaturge before. I only mentioned to her how we met. Can I help you at all? You look like you've made yourself at home. Are you going to be staying on here for long? No, I'm afraid not. They're kind people, but I've experienced another vision. Though not fully terrifying, it is troubling. Will you tell me about it? Later. What brings you to me? I wanted to ask you for another session. Let me share something about your pace in hunting for salutors. Aren't you losing yourself too much in it? Again? Is there something you want to tell me? Do you not want to help me anymore? Nonsense. You can always count on me. I'm just worried. Close your eyes and focus on my words. Concentrate on my voice. Relax and focus within yourself. Follow my voice inside yourself. Where is he? I don't see him, but I can sense. So that's how you want to play. That chirping of his is unbearable. Do you hear him? Good. That means you can locate him. Point him out to me. Focus on his song and show me where he's hiding. You look better. You slept a long time. Yes, it feels that way. What year is it? Still 1905. Yet time flows on inexorably. 
Have you seen the future again? I don't know if it's the future. It could just be some symbols I don't know how to interpret. Heavy clouds drifting over battlefields, reaping a deadly harvest, and these faceless beings walking among strangely contorted bodies, and the ship unsinkable. Yet it went down with thousands on board. I feel as though I could have stopped it. Did you watch me sleeping? You still drool. I think I shouldn't abuse the Nadazhinsky's hospitality any further. That distressed woman you mentioned, Svetlana. You know, I saw her in my vision. That surly maid brought me the gossip about her that was going around town. This Svetlana is causing herself trouble. What was this gossip, may I ask? Nothing that would sully her in your eyes. She intrigued me. I'd like to meet her. And you know, I think she needs help. Help? What do you want me to do? Bring her to me. I won't keep you. Until next time.
Shut up, Snake. Did you think we wouldn't find out? It's your tsunami. I hope you clean up after yourselves. Rumianceva, here's your new sakamiernik. But I haven't done anything. We can always come up with something. Arrest him. What do I growl? If you hadn't shown up here, I need a moment. Leave me. Why are the Ohrana after you? Evidently, they got tired of sending threatening letters. Or maybe it's because my last wife ended with a scandal about the Governor General's daughter. I think they're looking for someone to blame. But you had nothing to do with what happened to Sofia. I know. But how can you be sure? I strongly believe that a person is innocent until proven guilty. Of course. So, we're at an impasse. What do you propose? I came to pick you up. 
You'll be safe with my associate. What associate? Where? In Pavansky. The neighborhood, not the cemetery. Victor, I need to flee the country. Do you understand? Will you help me? Agreed. How precisely am I supposed to help you? Ensure me with a safe departure from Warsaw and transportation to Vienna, with all necessary discretion. Mm. I can arrange that. Until then, you can stay at the Nadarzyńskis. You'll be safe there. Thank you, Victor. Can we go now? Come on, I'll hail you a carriage. Wait, my travel chest. I never go anywhere without it. I'd feel safer if you rode with me to the Nadarzyńskis. If I'm going to help you, I first have to visit the place where a friendship was born and more than one hope died, where the gods of chaos lounge amid the absinthe fumes. Что? I need to go to the London bar. Just hurry, please. A few days, Mr. Digits. A few days. You see this guy? M Mr. Digits, I'll pay it back, I swear. They're running tomorrow at Makoto Freight Track. I'll win. Deal? We had one as long as you paid your dues. I'm begging you. Quit your bawling. You'll get tear stains on my rug. It's Persian. You look tired. Want a coffee? Whenever I see you, you torturing somebody. Is there something you want to talk about? Don't you psychoanalyze me. Just tell me if you want coffee. What kind of performance was that? He owes me money. And what did he spend it on? A house? His kids? On the races. This time it was a sure bet. Sure, on a horse that stumbled in front of a speakeasy and had to be shot. I want my 12 rubles. Please, don't let him. I only owe 12 rubles. You'll make it up to me. Every kopieka. Yes, I I'll repay it all. Thank you, Mr. Nijit. We're not saying goodbye yet. The boys will take you to stage two of our little chat. Get him out of here. So, how'd you take it? Black or cream and sugar? I don't want coffee. Shit! Who turns down coffee? What kind of a man are you? Tell me what brings you here. There's a certain woman who'd like to disappear from Warsaw. Conventional transportation isn't an option. What exactly do you mean by disappear? I'm looking for safe and discreet transportation to Vienna, on the double quick. Sadly, the ships can't help. That's not our line. Passport policy is a nightmare, and smuggling will get you the news. Not worth it. But I know a man, Javier, Javier something or other. 
find um, although finding him might be tricky. What kind of name is that? Argentinian? Spanish? Who the hell knows? Maybe he had a sailor for a dad. You know anything more about this Javier fellow? He's a legend. He smuggled socialists, contraband. Recently, he had seven kilos of TNT inside biographies on Scowon. Why is he so hard to find? Because he's the best at what he does. You know where I can find him? Thank the gods of chaos that you've got a great buddy like me. There are rumors going around that Javier's staying on one of the boats on the river. It's called the Malenka. I'd start there. Thanks. I'll head off. Not so fast. Have you been to Povishla since you got back from your travels? Last time I was there was more than 15 years ago. Stuff goes on there that make your blood curdle. The locals can't stand outsiders and protect their own. Don't go around grilling random people. Thanks. I can handle it from here. I doubt it. Excuse me, officer. What do you mean, not allowed? Sergeant Kadash, folks gotta work there. Feed their families. We're conducting an operation. More like farting around. My taxpayer rubles are paying for you to chow down on herring. Let me through to the wharf. And what are you here for? Sergeant Kadash, I'm here on official business. Of course. Boys, let this gent through. Well, ain't they all chummy? What about us?
Enough of this, Nariskit. Say who you are, and what you're doing on my turf. First, show yourself, coward. You're in no position to raise your voice. It's better that way. We can talk as equals. What are you making such a default for? What do you want? Your salutar. I don't know him. He's a debunk. He looks around for lost souls who don't know better, and go where they shouldn't. Terrifying. for Javier. What for? Let's say I need his services. Urgent. Is that all? I took you for someone else. I can introduce you to Javier. You interested? I know Javier likes to fight. So, should we head to the boxing ring? Something like that. I see you've sniffed out what you can. Shall we? Who did you take me for earlier? Nothing of interest to you. Eternal neighborhood affairs. That's all? No extra conditions or requests? Tongue of a devil, heart of an angel. That's me. Lead the way. You sure changed your tune quickly. Welcome to Povishla. Fighting first, hugging later. Ariel Rafi. Stick with me and they won't touch a hair on your head. Just don't come on Saturdays. Welcome to the dungeon. A mecca of gambling and violence. You see the box above the ring? I'll wait there. Make yourself comfortable, put a bet on the fight, and come find me. Place your bets, ladies and gents. Don't miss the chance to earn some dough. How about a bet? Who's fighting? You're awful twitchy. You want a spree or angling to rat us out? Who let you in here? Forgive me, sir. I'm at a Stark party, and I'm a little... Bad case of the jimmies? We all know that feeling. You're in our dungeon here, gent. No rules, no restraints. That's how we play around here. But you was asking who's fighting. Our pride and joy. A real canny lad from right here in Povishla. Barschik. And in the other corner? Everybody who wants to take him on. All of them against one. Sort of a local tradition. So, you bet in there, ain't you? I'd like to bet on the fight. On Barschik or on everybody else? I'll put a rubble on a barrestick. Corking choice. You take IOUs? Sure, why not? Get riding.
You're fretting, Ariel. His hips are fine. Shouldn't you be at home right now? With your husband? And you, what are you doing here? Barstik, meet Victor Shulsky. He has business with Javier, and he'll do anything to meet him. Anything? Anything. Victor is a tomaturge. It might make for a fantastic main attraction. What do you think? Sorry, what? What? A magician in the ring? Yeah. Enough kidding around, Barstuk. I know you are Javier. Well, you almost impressed me. Javier Sanchez via Conejito Ramirez. Now that we know you ain't just anybody, maybe you can show us if you're the real deal, or just some stiff from downtown. You getting in the ring? All right. Yeah, I like him. Senoras y señores, a slight change of plans. I won't be fighting. I know, I know. Barschek is the best. But listen. Marcel and his brothers-in-law versus a son of Shurmyrsha, a swell, a magician, Viktor Shulsky. Don't embarrass me. The crowd loves you. They love to hate you. That's all right, too. Give them time. Does Victor deserve the neighborhood's respect? Maybe the Chicos from Fifth Alley will make mincemeat out of him. You can do it, Victor. Let's get on with it. Who's next?
Straight from America. They box like a whirlwind and kiss like a dream. The Gordon sisters. Fucker. Try not to get them even more damn riled up. I'm only here for professional purposes. A professional ass kicking. So be it. Let's fight! Shit! How much more? Come on! Smile! Bueno, that's enough for him. Come on. You deserve it. Did you see him? Not such a weak Chico after all. How do you feel? I'm in the mood to do business. Tell me, gringo. How can Javier help you today? I need a smuggler. I know, Marco. Say what you need me to smuggle. Who? One lady needs to discreetly leave the Russian partition and get to Vienna. For how much? She can afford it. Let's just say she's quite far up in high society. A rich chica wants to go to Vienna? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure somebody is looking for this clafter. Otherwise, she'd get on a train. If they catch us, it's la muerte para nuestros amigos. However, fortune favors chutzpah, after all. Al diablo. The river giveth, the river taketh away. Vámonos. Does that mean I'll get a share of the dough? No. We don't like each other that much. So, what's now? Now, go get the lady, and we'll meet at Port Praga at night. But tell that clafter of yours that it ain't gonna be a tea party. Adios.
Let's wait. Abaurtsenyejits in the underworld. Who would have thought? Right, right. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Can I help you, sir? Are you buying? Pledging? Art, cards, old farts, top coats, key, jewelry. Do you remember Mieszko Setsemin? He was a lone shark around here. And you're asking me because? No reason. Setsemin died a long time ago. They say someone attacked and shot him. Terrible tragedy. Terrible. Even talking about him might bring bad luck. And so, life goes on here in Powiśle. Goodbye. Hold it, Tempermancer, for I am White Roman. Pardon? You are Victor Shulski, son of Shrutmieszcze. Your family is famous for its powerful Tempermancers. You seem to be well informed. I wonder where your knowledge comes from. It is a mystical knowledge that connects the minds of all Tempermancers. So, you are not denying that you are you. If you're a fan, I'm not one to give autographs. I am a master of Tempermancy, White Roman, and I challenge you to a duel. Everything is at stake. The winner will be declared King of the Tempermancers. How about you then? Why not right now? The memorable moment is here. To me, devoted visitors. To me, salutars. Oh, God.
that you also took a valuable and instructive lesson from this. I accept the title of King of the Templemancers. I would suggest that neither you nor your salutor strain yourselves anymore. Your triumph is temporary, Viktor Shulsky. I have not yet said my last word. I will find you when you are ready for the next fight. That's what I'm afraid of. The things people come up with. Get a stake for when your life is at stake. Make any vampire quickly retire. An aspen stake for you, sir? Premium wood carved at midnight on the solstice. They're cheap. The stakes are exquisite, I must admit. What else do you sell? Holy icons, miraculous Marys, salt. Table salt? Consecrated, but the stakes, I tell you, sir. Ever since they buried the magician, they've been selling like hotcakes. Anyone with some sense buys them. Do you believe in all of this? I believe in money. And if people are willing to buy a stick out of fear, then who am I to argue? Vampires? I don't think so. What do you mean? The dead rising at the cemetery? They must be vampires. Vampires are salutors attracted by blood and sizzling passion. There's nothing interesting for them among the dead. It's what people believe that matters. This buried magician, is it Shulsky? I think so. It makes no difference to me what his name was. For him, stakes are not enough. We need to call the Pope. Don't tell anyone or I'll lose my livelihood. Goodbye. I hope the vampires don't take revenge on you. They have no interest in me. I'm anemic. Hey, please, tell your friends. On Wednesdays, I sell four stakes for the price of two.
What is this foolishness? Open this gate! Right. No one can keep us from entering the cemetery. It's a free country. Well... How long are you going to keep wagging your chins? If it's closed, it's closed! Oh, Mr. Shulsky, finally! I read your message. What is it about? Ah, uh, I won't talk about it out here in front of these boors. Come inside. You're letting him in, Gravedigger? What the hell is going on? Shut your mouths or I won't open till Judgment Day. This is about your father, you know. All right, let's see what this is about. Bah! What did my father do this time? I've got two pieces of news, so to speak. There's bad news, and I'm not sure what the other one is. Which do you want to hear first? Tell me the bad news. Today some rebel rousers came here and started making trouble. They ravaged your family too. What do you mean, ravaged? I couldn't believe it either. I sent you a note immediately. What about the other news? One night, I went out and saw the dead lying around. But not in their places, you know? In the pathways. And then I saw their graves dug up, as if the dead crept right out of the ground. And these bodies are still lying here? No, of course not. You can't do that. But if you want to learn more about the case, they might come out again tomorrow night. People are starting to talk about resurrections and the end of the world. Resurrections and now these maniacs! Judgment Day seems to be upon us. You know? Those vandals that ravaged the tomb, what did they look like? I closed the gate because they're still hanging around there. Why don't you see for yourself, you know? According to my knowledge, dead bodies don't rise on their own. Were there any witnesses? Any noise at night? Traces? Nothing. Just the stiffs in odd places. Goodbye. Get rid of this scum at once! Darn it. Look at him. I think he's a real, you know, tempermancer. I'll show you how you talk to magicians. Are you so eager to die, tempermancer? Gentlemen, don't take it personally, but I can't allow you to continue this devastation. My sister spent a fortune on the engraving. She'll kill me if she finds out what happened here then she'll have to get in line.
Let's take a look around. Aren't your legs getting sore? Stupid question. I've always seen your jits in the underworld. Who would have thought? Right, right. Mr. Shulsky, you gave those lads by the tomb a good belting, huh? I could hear the echoes. Thank you, but they weren't too keen to talk, and I have a few questions to ask. Maybe I could help, you know? It's a rather grim job you've got here. Well, you know, I'd rather do this than struggle with drunkards in a bar or bolts in a factory. The dead are calm and predictable, you know? Unless they start rising from the grave, that is. What is the WAS? Those fellas at the mausoleum were connected with it. Ah, the Warsaw anti taumaturge Society. Loonies, you know? Ever since your father was laid to rest here, they've been yelling their heads off by the walls. Where can I find their bosses? You know? Why? Do you smell blood? There's one behind the cemetery wall inciting the crowd. Ask him. Once you have cleaned up near the mausoleum, I can open the gate. Goodbye. Good luck with the WAS, you know? Let me know when you get rid of them.
Nothing can be kept secret from me. Have you been feeling tired lately? Yes. Have your wives been hysterical? Your chickens getting sick? Milk going sour for no reason? Yes. That's all caused by tempermancy. Curses, black magic, evil energy. That's enough. This nonsense is making my ears bleed. Are you the one giving orders to the WAS? Look who's here. A magician tempermancer. The enemy of humankind. The ruiner of good fun and the vanquisher of children's smiles. I'll ask again, who is in charge of this circus? The president told us what you are. If you want to ask him about something in person, have a look at the brochure like the others. You know how to read, right? If the cemetery is sacred to you, why didn't you explain desecrating other people's tombs? This is all your fault. The black energy has polluted this earth. The dead are outraged by it. We need to ward off the evil powers! I'm getting fed up with you. This is the last moment for you to walk away unharmed. Demon! Devil! Let's get him sorted! I can feel my milk going sour at home. Come on, brothers! Let's put him in his place. Afterwards, pop into our headquarters for some coffee and pastries.
Yes, sir. Please let me in. It's urgent. You can't just turn up like this. What will I tell sir and madam? Fear not. I'm here for Rasputin. I can sense he's in a drawing room. I hope that you've had a hospitable stay. You have uh, unsettling friends, truly. The Nadazhinskys are reserved and boring, unlike that uh, Grigory. What do you think of him? I don't. I'd like to leave this place now, if possible. We'd better get a move on. Finally. Don't forget my luggage. How many dresses and pairs of stockings do you need? As many as I'd like. I have some very profitable secrets in that chest. Blackmail? Insurance. Correspondence with various people who aren't entirely aware that I didn't burn their letters. Do I understand that this time around, I'll be lugging the chest myself? Hurry up. Around this ain't a museum. Head down. That building in front of you. The entrance is around the corner. You pick some very interesting people to work with. What's that? From now on, that's your problem. Entrance around the corner, right? You know what you're doing. Did you want a pumpkin carriage and some glass slippers, senora? Smuggling in as romantic as that. Javier, yes? I've outgrown fairy tales. I'm here to make a deal. I left that fucking chest by the door. I could barely lug it. Big as a whale's two heads. We gonna do something or just... Stand here and stare. The police at the entrance have me a little concerned. Did something happen we should worry about? Esos pinches pendejos can't keep their hands to themselves. Someone fucking filched a weapons transport and now the police are shitting themselves. They're looking high and low, even under hookers' skirts. Somos profesionales. We'll keep out of sight, and it'll be gone, Skeet. So what's the plan? What are we doing? You'll get papers. Austrian ones. Almost authentic, but don't go flashing them left and right. Then it's off to the pier, and onto a boat out of the city. Then a steamship upriver. In Krakow, a transfer to a Vienna-bound train. He'll be there in a few days. Si, sí, bueno. As soon as we agree on the money. Your turn. Tell the gentleman about the compensation. You'll get my whole fortune. The appropriate paperwork will be yours as soon as I leave Warsaw. Toda? All of it? Meaning how much? 
enough, so you won't have to lift a finger for the rest of your life. What about the travel chest? Do we have to bring that? Oh, absolutely. That's exactly what I'm paying you for. So, all right. Vamos? If this is going to work, then we need to get going. Ariel, you go to the puerto and call the little captain. La señora will get changed. And we'll follow after you. Victor will come too. He'll see if anyone's following us. Что? I do what? What you paid for. Vaya con Dios, my friend. Agita nar, Shaifella. Damn wife fucker, you've ruined my life! Your chica did what she wanted. Victor, tell him I'm right. Two of you? I'll fuck you both up. I'm going to get killed because someone disrespected the sanctity of marriage. Your business would go better. 
But what kind of life would that be, Senora? Boat can't hold that! There's no choice. If God wills it, a broom can shoot. Load it up. Vamonos. There's no time. I need another word with Victor. Senora. I wanted to thank you. I don't know anyone who'd risk his life for a stranger. If there's any way I can repay you, just... Say the word. I don't want anything. I hope you make it safely to Vienna. I'm grateful, but I don't like being in debt. And I also believe you have the right to know. What are you guys lagging around for? Hurry up! Your father moved in the circles of people who shared his views, who would like to see Poland back on the map. Do you understand what I mean? He was a patriot. My father and the revolutionaries? There's no way that could be right. I beg you. Whatever he was planning, it was certainly more subtle and effective than planting bombs in restaurants. I never met them. He called them his coterie. They were all friends of his. He secretly dreamed of creating a force that would give true hope to the Polish people. One that might till the scales in favor of the independence fighters. Loka, quickly! He believed he didn't need a great army, just a handful of daredevils with extraordinary abilities. You getting in the boat or not? I need to go. Your father was a wonderful man, Victor. And you remind me of him a great deal. Thank you, for everything. Wait, who are these people? How can I find them? I don't know. They hide in the shadows. Good luck. I trust that you'll find your grimoire, Viktor Shulski. Adieu. And those bequeathal papers. If there's a problem with payment, we'll reach out to you. Why are you so distrustful? When a poor man eats a chicken, one of them is sick. Amigos.
You think they're dead? They had no chance. Clad in clay and the fury of the sons of Israel will arise to crush their enemies. Get out of here. Golems follow blood. The farther away you are, the better. What the hell are you talking about? And it will pursue them until their blood is lost in the abysses of Sheol. You understand? No. The golem is gonna look for you until he kills you. And all of those of your blood. That is, unless you can figure out why he was sent after you. You must have really gotten under somebody's skin. I haven't done anything to anyone. That means someone of your blood did it. Do you hear me? Ask your blood. Get lost. Not exactly my favorite person right now. I guess there's nothing for me here. I have to get out of the port. Something's happened on the pier. You think we didn't hear you? Now shut your trap, or you'll get the police on our asses. Yeah, we pay them not to see us, but not enough to ignore these kinds of shenanigans. And what else are you gonna tell them, moron? Your home address? Shut it and pack up. Is that the sound of a fuck-up? Shouldn't we check it out? Like hell we should. They don't pay me enough for that. You! Stop! Papers, please. I thought I wouldn't have to resort to this, but since you insist... Of course, sir. We are sorry. Go right ahead.
Don't even think of reaching for your magic book. Fania's pistol has a very sensitive trigger. The second he moves, I'll blow his brains out, Chief. Chief, let's do our best not to have Vanya shoot you in the head. All right. All you have to do is tell us where Svetlana Petrovna is. The last time we saw one another was probably at the party with the ghost, the one that got ruined. Don't you remember? He'll have to try harder than that. I'm running to a phone. There's been an accident. I think the pier collapsed. Was Svetlana Romantsova there? I'll shoot him, Chief. We haven't got time, Victor. We need to find out where she is. We know you helped Romantsova escape. And I know she was sleeping with your father. I told you, he had no secrets from me. I was helping him. I'm running out of patience. Where is she? I didn't like my father. No one did. But his collaborating with the Okhrana seems improbable to me. A wealthy Pole in the Russian partition who avoided not one, but two serious scandals. A divorce and your incident with Nejets. Would he have managed on his own? The question is, what did Svetlana know? And what do the secret police want from her? That woman was a Gordian knot. I know that she spent years compiling all sorts of compromising material against the Tsar's government. She was a traitor. We were observing her, but she managed to get everything out of her apartment. I need to know if her knowledge could threaten the security of the nation. If you want something from me, you just need to ask. I have a better idea. You tell me what you know, and I... I... No way your papa's little black book is. Quid pro quo? I want to know who stole my father's grimoire. This time, you go first. As far as I know, all Svetlana's secrets went with her to the bottom of the Vistula. <sighs> Should we take him to the Citadel, Chief? No, Vanya. We'll finish this here. Why did you help Svetlana? You first. Why did you kill him? I never liked him. And he shouldn't know so much. Why did you help Svetlana? The emotions linking her to my father seemed sincere to me. I trusted her. What if you were wrong? Maybe your father got together with her because I told him to. Would you believe me if I told you that your father didn't trust her? No, I wouldn't. Quid pro quo, Chief. Where's my father's grimoire? Look for it in uh, Stanislav's circle of old friends. People who could take advantage of a missing grimoire. Thaumaturges. Do you know who they are? Where I can find them? No. But, once you do, don't neglect to inform me. And watch out. They're very dangerous people. I need to get out of here.
you're finally here. We've been waiting for you. I'm afraid I was boring your charming sister with my chatter. Ah, oh, nonsense. I'll leave you two alone. You look tired. Is everything all right? Do you need my help? How do you know my address? People in Warsaw know who the Shulskis are. You're quiet this evening. Did something happen? I didn't expect a home visit. I wanted to find out if Svetlana managed to leave safely. I'm afraid Svetlana is dead. <sighs> I was afraid of this. How did it happen? I saw a golem. A golem? From Jewish legends? Is it a salutor? Yes, and it turned out to be a very real salutor. A material one. I didn't think that was even possible. And what does it have to do with Shvetwama? Did the golem kill her? You could say that. The golem sank her boat by collapsing the roof over the pier. Svetlana intended to live off of selling other people's secrets. Secrets can be deadly. Do you want to know what she shared with me? I'm intrigued. The question is, can you bear the burden that she also carried? I really got a lot on my shoulders. My father's secrets, his lover's death, the Ochrana, and now a golem. I think I can bear this too, if it lets me get rid of the other problems. Hmm. Can you say which secret of Svetlana's you mean? She had a whole chest full of them. That wasn't in the chest, and now it's only in my memory. Will you tell me what this is about? Not here, no. Get some rest first. At our next meeting, at the Narizhinskys. It's safe there, for now. Will you ever let me in on the secret? For now, I don't want to risk it. I don't even want to talk about it here. That your sister can remain uninvolved. One more question. Might this golem cause you any trouble? I'm sure I'll find out soon. I think we need to have a word. How do you know people like this, Rasputin? How long was he here? He arrived shortly before you did. Unexpectedly, he scared Grazina. I received him in the salon so that he wouldn't go wandering through the house. What were you talking about before I interrupted you? What difference does it make? About... Strange. I don't remember even. Sometimes he has that effect on people. <sighs> what kind of person is he? He's that miracle worker I was writing to you about. The one who helped me return to my senses. Not completely, I think, given that you brought him with you. He just came to see me. I owe him a lot. It looks like he knows you better than I do. Were you eavesdropping at the door again? <laughs> I did that once, almost 20 years ago. Besides, I live here. Or so I thought. It's my house too, isn't it? I want to know who comes into my... our house. I actually barely know him, but he's never yet refused to help me. I can only congratulate you on having friends like that. First Njedzic, now a gloomy hermit and ladies of the night have started hanging around outside the windows. Are they also friends of yours? 
Who are those women? Horace Victor, prostitutes. Women of easy virtue, daughters of Corinth. Courtesans, moths, hookers, floozies. I've been seeing two girls around here recently. They stand out on the street and peek into our windows. Maybe Abaurisa is playing a prank. This can wait. Ligia, I'm really dead on my feet, but there's one more thing we need to have a word about. I wonder what I don't know yet. How long have you known your chief? What does that matter? So you knew he worked for the Ohrana? Yes. You'd have found in the end anyway, but he asked me not to tell you right away. I understand that each of us has various relationships we're tangled up in. But I think we should start talking about them more often. Agreed. I'll only add that a contact like him is very useful in business. I'm guessing he knows how to arrange contacts for you. I'm sure he often invites you to all sorts of soirees and receptions, right? I don't always accept. It seems like we've each got our own miracle worker. I know who he is, and I treat him very cautiously. Plus, we've already established that you don't report to me about your acquaintances. Besides, it was Papa who introduced him to me all those years ago. What's the real reason we're talking about Konyechkin? Did Konyechkin know our father long? Ever since you left to live with mother in Paris. Someone clearly had to clean up after you and Abauritz. Maybe there's no point in dwelling on the past. I saw him once more, at Port Praga. Uh, what were you doing there? I helped Fitwana. She wanted to flee the country. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Do you know what forces you're playing with? You know full well who she is. Who she was. Sorry, what? Svetlana is dead. She was just setting off on her lovely voyage when Golem appeared and... Svetlana is dead. We're finished. They'll put us both in prison. What will become of us? What about Uncle Sasha? He's always eager to help. It's too risky to arrange this through family. And morally dubious. I'm afraid this is outside his purview. Don't worry. Nothing will happen to us. I'll make sure of it. How will you do that? O oh, ye of little faith, you can trust me, sister. I do trust you. And look how far that's gotten me. That's a little unfair, sister. Did you know that someone sent a golem after our family? A golem? <laughs> the kind from Jewish legends? This one was very real. It destroyed half the port while it was trying to kill me. Port Praga? Are you all right? What were you doing there? I was tracing Father's missing grimoire. Someone sent a golem after him. And now that person is trying to find us, too. Why? That's what I have to find out. You haven't experienced anything unusual recently? Nothing so remarkable, given I'm living with the Thaumaturge. You think there's any way I'd have let a golem slip by me? Was there anyone who very openly disliked Father? More than you? Touché. Hmm. Did he know some sort of Thaumaturge who might have been out for revenge, or... Did he mention a coterie to you at any point? Did he meet up with other Thaumaturges? As far as close friends, I think you already know that's a dead end. 
And he never introduced automaters to me. Look, why don't we leave this conversation until morning, hmm? I agree. Good night. Who are my cigarettes? It looks familiar, and yet different. Well, well. Is this a dream? I need to get out of here. The devil himself. Blind fool. Well, what don't I see? Maybe you could give me an answer this time. What don't you know? We've been seeing one another more and more since you died. Ask me about something you don't know. Why is the Golem pursuing our blood? You've not just put me in danger, but Liga as well. Who did you hurt so much that the Golem was aiming to? Hold on. It succeeded, didn't it? That's what killed you. That's what made the building fall on you. Why did you let a rat like Konechkin into our home? Now he's dogging Ligia and me. Were you working for him? Did you start informing on your customers for him? A fool's theory. Who inflicted this punishment on you? What for? And how the hell do I lift it? Everything I've done. Was with your children in mind. I've heard it all before. For our good, I know. Thanks a lot. I didn't ask you for anything. Certainly not for someone like Konechkin to cover for me. I didn't make you get into bed with him. Are you finally going to say something? You've wasted your time. I left you all the answers. You just have to find them. Where am I supposed to look for them? In the back grimoire, which I nearly got from you? In that case, where is it? Who was it? Your friends? Your coterie that you hid even from your lover? Who are they? What were you planning? You possess everything I had. I have left you everything you need. Come back here! I'm not finished with you yet!
Look who's up. Sleeping beauty. Have some coffee. In the morning, Grazenka brews it strong. Unless we're still arguing. Forgive me for yesterday. Warsaw was getting to me. Yes, I know the feeling. And I don't want to quarrel with you either. We'd be better off focusing on the obstacles ahead of us. Maybe I'll talk to Konieczkin. I suspect he'll offer us a deal with the devil. For now, I'm just thinking out loud. I thought about what you were saying yesterday. Those strange phenomena related to the golem. Once, when I was taking a carriage to the store, the horse took fright. First it reared, then it started kicking, and after a moment it froze and dropped dead on the cobblestones. But it was already old. Could that have been the golem? That I don't know yet. Does that mean we might be in danger? I don't know how long it took the golem to reach father. He only found me in Warsaw that one time. I don't know how he works. I can't believe father didn't know that either. There must be something in his office. Anything. Maybe. Is there any other way you could find out? I had a dream about father. Me too. Right after he died. He was soothing me with my favorite lullaby. First he insulted me. And then blood poured down his face. Mm. Very funny. Do you see him often in your dreams? This was only the second time. I hope there will be more. It's been a long time since I was quarantined in the hospital. They're not ordinary dreams. They're very realistic visions. I talk to him, I ask questions, but... I can't understand his answers. Why don't we focus on real life? Has anything been reported about Port Praga? I've been keeping an eye out, but nothing yet. But Svetlana's disappearance won't go unnoticed for long. Hyenas like fresh corpses. I know that you're still sorting through things there, but I really have to visit our store in Miruf. I'm basically done, and I was planning to go there now after breakfast. Will you join me? I should look through all of Father's things in the store. Everything he left behind. All right. Let's go. Not much has changed here. Just the sign. Or oh, maybe the owner. That's right. Now it's your kingdom. I don't think queens dig through columns of numbers, exotic names, addresses, and consignment notes. Or scold customers who don't know the difference between powdered skull and powdered mummy. Have you developed an interest in the family business? Actually, what is the difference between mummy powder and skull powder? Uh, skull powder is powder from a skull. You use it to make an extract for apoplexy and bleeding. Thomas Willis, a pioneer of brain research, had a habit of adding it to his hot chocolate. Powdered mummy is an oil. Egyptian mummies are covered in a dark substance that's a mixture of embalming fluids and organic fluids from the body of the deceased. This hardened human resin has to be scraped off the mummy and made into an oil. It helps with wounds, rashes, sore throats and dizziness. It sounds like that substance is bitumen. And there are easier ways of getting it than scraping mummies. That might be, but our customers prefer scraped mummies, unless you are considering diversifying our selection. 
This conversation has convinced me even more that father left the business in the right hands. I have to take care of the inventory. Try not to make more of a mess than there already is. What is this? The photograph, Victor. A marvelous invention. Father was very fond of them. I meant what father has on his face. That smile. I'm sure someone he disliked had just died. Did you want something, or are you here to joke around? The guy next to father. That's Hayat, right? Yes, he's just younger, Victor. That's how photographs work, you know. They stop time and place. I can also see here that they were friends. But a year ago, that ended and they stopped working together. Yes, you mentioned it recently. It's a shame Papa never said why. Could Hayat have wanted our father to die? Could he have sent the golem after him? I think you'll have to ask him. I heard that he bought out one of the two rundown laundries here in Mirov, not too far away. <sighs> You're welcome. Thank you. When was this picture taken? Who knows, a quarter century ago? We must not have even been five. You two look more and more alike. Don't scare me. I'm taking another look around. Is that...? Yes. I'll take a quick look around. Be careful. <laughs> On my way. I wanted to talk to you about a certain university. The store looks better than I remembered. More... human. I've sorted through the remaining junk and I'm keeping the monkey brains, prepared corpses and potency ointments just in the catalog now so mothers can come here with their kids. Do you want to be better than father? People look at a businesswoman strangely. So I intend to prove to them that I'm better than businessmen. I'm doing my best. Has anything strange happened lately? Anything that might have something to do with the golem? A cup fell from the table and someone stumbled while crossing the doorstep, but I assume those aren't things that can be attributed to a golem. Most likely common clumsiness. That's good news. And some plaster fell from the ceiling, but that's probably because something was passing by. Nothing serious. Anything else? What's this mysterious university? I'm giving a lecture at the Flying University. It's a very informal educational initiative. Not to say secret. And an important one. Especially for women who can get an education from us, which they are legally prohibited from doing under the partition. I'd like you to come with me. What's the lecture about? 
The economic aspect of the woman's question. I've gathered some interesting data and managed to get some great sources from France and England. Come on. Those two brain cells you still have will appreciate a break from booze and trouble. Come with me. A lecture at the university? What's next? Fundraising at the cemetery? I knew that would be your reaction. The lecture is in an antiquarian bookshop. I'm sure they have an array of books on thaumaturgy. Yes, uh, yes. And uh, do you know what? I've just felt a hunger for knowledge. Great. The university is meeting in the antiquarian bookshop across the green square. Which brings us to the most important thing. Everyone brings something sweet, so I ordered some donuts from Mrs. Yagoda. The best ones. And the best donut is filled with... All through our childhood we went to her for pastries. Has anything changed there? Nothing at all. And Mrs. Yagoda continues reminiscing about you. No. Yes, you were the only kid in her career that ate eight donuts, threw up, and came back for more. <laughs> so, what about the filling? With cherry. So the argument continues. Get those donuts, will you? I'll see what I can do. Fate has brought us together again, Viktor Sulski. Why do you bother King of the Tempermancers? I learned from my mistakes, and now the time has come for me to reclaim the throne and the title that I deserve. Come on, I dare you! Do you pass the other Thalmacids too? Of course not. The others are insignificant compared to you. I dare you! All right. To me, visitors. To me.
Never. There is no shame in losing to a better man. The way tells me to find you again soon. I will be ready, White Roman. You will not know the day nor time. That is the creed of Tempermancers. Yes, yes, just not here. My sister will kill me. Stay well. Until fate makes our paths cross again, King of the Tempermancers. It smells so nice in here. Is that vanilla? Vanilla, raisins, butter, sugar, and some more butter. You're in heaven. Can I help you? Mrs. Yagoda, it's me, Victor. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Little Victor. Oh my, how you've grown. And how handsome you've become. Where is that little cherub who would stand in front of the display, staring at pastries? That gluten is still here. I can't forget your cream pie with cherries. I've been dreaming about it for 15 years. You see, my lovely, the trick is quite simple. It's just a little butter. About three packs of... Excuse me! I'm waiting for my order here. No reason to be angry, darling. Just wait a moment. My daughter is taking the fruitcake out of the oven now. It will be hot. With raisins and orange peel? I'll wait then. Are you sure you're not a thaumaturge? Let that be my sweet secret. I'd like to collect Ligia Shurska's order. Of course. Give her my best. And don't hesitate to stop by for a little snack from time to time. Have a nice day. Oi, take the donuts and don't ask awkward questions. Have a nice day.
to find their meeting place. That's him, the one with the book. You oozing carbuncle. You ain't had enough of Warsaw yet, so you're sticking your nose in on people here? You know what happens to fellas who sniff around when they ain't supposed to? Miruf don't kid around with them. And who am I supposedly bothering? And you wasted the chance to keep your mouth shut. We'll cure this posh boy of his nosiness, you can bet.
talking nonsense. By Abraham's... Did you hear about Praga? I'm at the harbor getting fish, and half the wharf is in splinters. They said there's even bodies. More bodies than they usually fish out of the Vistula. Practically every day. They were only just writing about Povishle. But listen to this. They're saying it's some giant did it all. You sure? Maybe I can help. Recently, I've taken an interest in one of those. Leave us alone. Did you wander in here by mistake? You got some dirty laundry that needs cleaning, Mr. Shulsky. I was interested in this giant you mentioned to the fishmonger. I can't help you. Rabbis are the ones who deal with golems. I didn't say anything about a golem. I'm afraid I can't help you. And now, if you'd like... Let's have a word about your conflict with my father. There was no such thing. I have warm feelings for the store, and his father as well. Why did you quit working for my father? It was a mutual decision. I know that you and my father parted ways in bad terms. What happened? We both had difficult personalities, but I still remember him fondly. You're not telling me everything. I don't have to explain myself to you, Mr. Sholsky. I'm leaving now, but I can tell this won't be the last time we meet. Farewell. something else you need? You were curious how my father died. Beneath the ruins of a building in Shrudmieszcze. That's awful. How did it happen? I'm glad you're asking. A remarkable death, isn't it? Yes. Let's talk about your relationship with my father. A tense relationship. Mr. Shulsky, I'll say it one more time. Stanislav and I didn't quarrel. Liar. Your anger still lingers around the photograph of my father. You're going to find it hard to hide anything from me. I'm not in the habit of speaking ill of the dead, Mr. Shulsky. Especially to their family. Old grudges drove us apart. Not all stains are easy to remove, especially ones on a person's honor. And might they give you a reason to seek revenge? A motive? I can't summon golems if that's what you're getting at. But you know there is such a possibility. Is that all? I need to get back to work. I'm leaving now, but I can tell this won't be the last time we meet. Farewell.
Hello. You said a month, two at most. I believed you. Then came the very first rain, and it was pouring in again. You fixed it, then the next rain. Soaked. I can't sleep because I have to keep emptying buckets. It's leaking just as badly as it was before. But the eyes of God are in every place, and they're watching. Rabbi, when I said two months, you said there was one hole in the ceiling, but the whole building is in shambles here. I can do it. Quiet. You can seal up your daddy's barn with straw. The roof is gonna get holes because the foundations are crumbling. So, let's go down to the basement. Oh no, definitely not there. What's in the basement that's so frightening? Hashem, something down there reeks so awful. Come now, don't be silly. Why do you afflict me so? I know why, because you know I shall bear it. Well, sir, are you just here to listen, or have you got something to say? Am I speaking to Rabbi Sofer? You see, all I got to do is mention these cellars, and his name comes up. Would Hashem let a synagogue be haunted? Hey now, quiet. You're too late, I'm afraid. My name is Feldman. Rabbi Sofer departed this world almost a year ago. Forgive me, I have worldly matters to attend to. I can't leave without an answer. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. Back up. God helps those who help themselves. But maybe you're right, Rabbi. Maybe Hashem is afflicting us, setting a test for us. You heard the Goy talking about Sofer. The old man cursed this place, especially these cellars. So I'll go on my own, and show that Hashem protects me against curses in Hashem's domain. On your own. You can seal up your daddy's barn, right? Fine, let's go. You've gotten the better of me again, Hashem. Your tests still surprise me. But if this is your will, I think Hashem has sent you to me. Who are you? I'm a thaumaturge, Rabbi. And I really need help. Let's go into my office. Let's show Hashem we accept the challenge. Tell me what problem brought you here. Maybe, Rabbi, you could tell me something about golems. Thaumaturge, golems belong to Kabbalah, and you're forbidden from knowing anything about them. 
it's a trap for a soul. There are tales of golems being summoned for revenge or in good faith for protection. But they all end rather badly. Rabbi Sofer puts a curse on my father. Unfortunately, it started affecting his children as well. A curse is a serious accusation, you know. I find it hard to believe Sofer would do such a thing. Do you think this has something to do with a golem? I don't know. Did the old rabbi perhaps leave some things here? May I take a look at them? Yes, here you are. All his books are here. I don't think I threw anything out. Is there anything else I can help you with? Rabbi, could you tell me something about Sofer? He was fair, but also difficult and very principled, like this city. Riots, provocations, pogroms, overpopulation. But if he's the one who inflicted the curse, he must have been a powerful thaumaturge and Kabbalist. Who can summon a golem? Normally, it's determined by need. The Kabbalist rabbi summons the golem himself, but other Jewish people can also entreat him to do so. In legends, the golem is a terrible punishment and a tool for meeting out divine justice. But I think it's an offense against Hashem, and revenge is no justice. How can I stop a golem? To summon it to life, you write the three Hebrew letters spelling MS, truth, on the clay that formed it. In an attempt to stop the monster, the heroes of these legends would erase the first letter from its clay body. That leaves mess, which means death. But I don't know how much truth is in that. Rabbi, could you help me understand something about Kabbalah? No, and I'll say no more on the subject. I fear for your soul. I'm afraid that I won't find anything more here. Thank you, Rabbi. Mordechai Hayat, what do you know? Rabbi? I'm listening. Mordechai Chayat. Do you know that name, Rabbi? He owns one of the laundries here in Miruf, but I admit he doesn't really come to see me. Maybe there are other things I could be of more help with. I found a prescription belonging to the old Rabbi. Was something troubling him? He had heart problems. The local pharmacist would even bring him some kind of special medicine. What was that pharmacist called? Abraham Horowitz. But now his pharmacy is sitting empty. Let me guess. He's dead? Unfortunately. Some say that the socialists were involved. Others claim it was the Ochrana's doing. Let's keep talking, if you need to. Rabbi, could you tell me something about Sofer? He was fair, but also difficult and very principled, like this city. Riots, provocations, pogroms, overpopulation. But if he's the one who inflicted the curse, he must have been a powerful thaumaturge and Kabbalist. I have another question. I'm listening. I'll be off now. I'll pray for you.
My, I can see you need a haircut, sir. Is it that obvious? Please, do your thing. No worries. We'll fix it in no time. So, how do you like your new hairdo? Perfect. I look brand new. You were already very handsome. I only needed to further enhance your looks. Mr. Shulsky again. Have a new theory. I know about the pharmacist. Beg your pardon? All this is because Abraham Horowitz, isn't it? He lost his life, and the whole community felt it. Seems like you did most of all. I just don't get why Horowitz was so important to you. Community. Something you Shulskis don't know a thing about. Here, we take care of everyone equally. No one is more or less important than anyone else. Your father's punishment was fitting for his actions and his background. The wrath of the Jewish people. A death for a death. Was it worth it? A golem is a blunt instrument that kills and harms everyone in reach. What are you talking about? You wanted to teach my father a lesson, and you did. It's too bad innocent people died in the process. The building that collapsed on Stanislav, it was inhabited by people. Now all that's left of them are some damaged items. That's what happens every time the golem physically manifests. Random people lose their lives due to its untamed power. No, it can't be. It wasn't supposed to be that way. I don't think the punishment is adequate for the crime. Horowitz had something on his conscience. He must have, if both the Ohrana and the Socialists were interested in him. And what my father did... I can't believe I'm saying this, but his motives seem noble. Oh, do they? There's no trace of cruelty in his actions. He didn't do it for his own profit, but for some kind of greater good. Without any specifics, those are just words. My father and Sofer knew one another for years. Father knew the rabbi could be forced to create a golem if Horowitz was killed. They both took that risk. Sofer couldn't reveal that he knew Stanislav. He also knew that Horowitz had to disappear because he was a threat to too many people. To whom? That doesn't matter. You don't have anything to do with this, Mordechai. Just like I have nothing to do with my father's actions. I am connected to them only by my blood. What do you want? To get rid of the golem. Tell me something, anything, that will get me closer to a solution. Instead of telling you, I'll show you. Where? Into an alley? Where some friend of yours will smack me around? To the synagogue. Are you coming? Yes. Let's go. We'll stop to get Feldman. He should see this too.
So... No wonder the roof is leaking if the foundation is crumbling. A lovely metaphor, Hashem. But what happened here had nothing to do with Hashem. Did it? Mr. Shulsky wished to know the origin of his curse. This is where it took its shape. If I'd... Now I see it differently, but... But back then, when I was talking to Sofer, revenge and justice seemed one and the same. Revenge is no justice. It is always dictated by anger, and in anger, erring comes easily. But Sofer agreed to it. He summoned the golem. What else do you want to know? What do you remember from the moment you summoned the golem? Nothing. I don't want to go back to that. Your memory takes shape and forms into words. Talk to me, Mordechai. I feel cold. Cold from the clay seeps into my fingers, into my bones. But the Colossus I've been sculpting for hours is nearly ready. Sofer whispers the spell in Hebrew, but his words throb in my temples and soul. The Colossus comes to life and looks at me. What did Sofer say then? I don't... I don't know. Speak! I couldn't hear, I swear. I couldn't hear. Truly, enough, I beg you, enough. Your family and your blood deserve this curse, enough. Ah, yet. How could Sofor have done something like this? And you, sir, how are you not ashamed? Hayat isn't the one this clay colossus is following. An eye for an eye, Rabbi. Isn't that just the sort of thinking that got us into the situation we're in now? Perhaps we can learn from our mistakes. This place won't tell me any more. And what have you learned? The hell you can't miss over there is the new door the golem smashed when it was summoned to life. And no one saw anything. How is that possible? The clay formed a shell that Sofer infused with the Saluta. Hayat brought it and spent hours shaping the body of the golem. Hours? That must have been horribly exhausting. What's a few hours in exchange for a curse that lasts generations? Mm. These are the remains of some fabric that Sofa wrote something on, in Hebrew, I think. This might be some prayer, incantation, even a spell. There's not enough left to read anything. That's all, but I'm not any closer to a solution. I need someone like Sofa. A thaumaturge and a Kabbalist? Do you know one, Rabbi? Well, there is someone. Normally, I'd advise against contacting him. But after considering these extraordinary circumstances, and with trust in your choice of a path to lead me down, I'm compelled to reveal that it's Ariel Rofe. Of course. Do you know one another? You could say that. I'll track him down. All right, I think it's time for us to go. This place just makes the blood boil. Shall we? Let's get out of here.
quiet this time. Then go ask that uniform what he's doing here, or tell him to skidoo. Hey, fancy pants! Fuck off! Hang on, hang on. You lost, officer? Hang on! That's the mama's boy of Shrudmeshche. I was wondering when they'd be holding fights again in the dungeon. Your face itching, mama's boy? Now we've got some kind of scrap to set up. I'm looking for Ariel Rofe. Maybe he had a reason to make it so hard. Mr. Rofe didn't mention nobody was gonna be looking for him. How about first your proof you're the son of Sudnisha? You wanna try your luck, Sonny? Waste of time. I'm out of here. Now it's too late. Now we're gonna beat the shit out of one another. But under one condition. If I win, you tell me where I can find Arya. If I win, I'll be happy enough. enough. You? You're the son of a bitch of Shrutmeshche. Thank you. Now, would anyone be so kind as to point me in the direction of Mr. Ariel Rofe? Take a look at Ruzhitsky Bazaar. He has got this sort of geschäft there. Thanks. They're right to call this place the dungeon.
anyone can win today. Try your luck and play. Don't give up, ma'am. You'll get lucky this time. And you, sir? How can I help you? What's the game? Good, sir. Let me explain. Three cups, one shell. To find it is to win. Simple enough, right? Except I've lost three times already. I'd love to play. Who knows, maybe I'll have more luck. You have to wait, I'm afraid. It's the lady's turn. Thank you, sad man. Fortune favors the brave. All right, let's do it. Come back later, sir. I'll play. And if you cheat, I'll know. Why don't you go, ma'am? This isn't your lucky day. And now we'll have a talk with you, smart Alec. We'll teach you not to harass hard-working fiddlers. Get him! <laughs> Oh. <sighs> 
Where do you think you're going, pretty boy? I'm looking for someone. They say he's got a business here. Do the smart thing and hit the road. Go on. Fuck off. Am I wrong, or are you guarding a closed butcher's store? This is Ariel Rofa's Geschäft, right? I'll check you the hell out in a minute, and we'll be done. You talk just like the friend I'm looking for. I'm asking you nicely, Capisce. Bid it. I'm looking for Ariel Rofa. Then you can double fuck off, you fucking dumb cop! You'll attract more attention with that shouting. Buzz off or I get my club. You're not gonna tell me how to do my job, you flip it and raggedy sot. Beat it. I swear, I know this is Ariel's hideout. Know how to read? It says butcher's shop. Sure, it's extra kosher because there's no meat at all in there. Come on, every bum at Ruzic reeks of booze from this place. And when they come here, I'll tell them to fuck off. But I know Ariel's got his hideout here. I even know which copper's hands he greases. I don't know about no bribes, you prov... provocateur... Prov provocateur? Fuck off. Please, I just want a word with Ariel. Oh, yes. How come he's still standing here mouthing off at you? It's me, Victor. Shulski, I remember. Fuck off. So, should I give him what for, boss? Do what you want. Ariel, I've already taken one beating to find you. Boss, if I beat the bejesus out of him, will you take me to the dungeon? Then I'll make you into a second barstick. But Ogras, maybe don't take on the son of Srutmiestia on your own, yeah? I'll call you a priest if you want. Leave him be. I'm sorry. Come on, Shulsky. 
Let's get out of sight. But if anything starts shaking, I'll shoot you. Don't stare that way. This whole butcher's shop is a cover, right? None of your business. Got a problem? Take a seat. Sit down. Tell me why you're bothering me. How exactly did you find me? Why do they call that bruiser Oguras? He's got a green pecker from untreated pox with these little bumps like on those little cocktail gherkins. I hope he gets well soon. I'll pass that on. That everything? A very inventive hiding spot. And a nice place. We've got our own little store here with different varieties. I'm just doing my best to unload it efficiently. Don't waste my time. It wasn't such a huge challenge. Who squealed? There are traces all over the dungeon. You're not being very careful. If you want something out of me, you better get to the ass-kissing part. Say what you want. I've got a certain problem, and I'd like to get rid of it quickly. Is it made of clay and weighs two tons when it shows up? So you got sick of running back and forth across Kervich Bridge? I'm not going to pretend I understand. Golems aren't great at swimming, remember? Since it's following you, going across a bridge would force it to... Forget it. I can see why you can't deal with it on your own. I need the knowledge of a Kabbalist. Your knowledge. I think I have at least a few reasons to say no, don't I? The main one is the death of my business partner and best friend. My sympathies about Javier. Really, he didn't deserve it. But I didn't deserve a golem either. A faithful friend and a quick healer. What am I supposed to do with your sympathies? I don't have time, Ariel. We both know that only you can help me. You can keep tormenting me, but are you going to tell me something or not? I can torment you and tell you. A golem is a salutor like any other, but housed in a physical form. Why do you attract it and bind it in the same way? The difference being that it's following blood first and the flaw second. But first, you have to deprive the golem of its physical body. The shell in which the salutor is housed. You also need to know where the ritual was conducted, because that's the only place you can do it. Good luck. How can I get rid of that clay shell it has? You can't. For that, you need a Kabbalist. Moi. I know the incantation for the Berur ritual. What? Instructions for reversing the evil eye, cleansing body and soul, and hiding from the unwanted, but why should I explain them to you? I'm guessing this will cost me something. Money? A favor? A further humiliation? We'll see. I know the place the golem was summoned. The basement of Nozick Synagogue. So... So far managed to do it? So, apart from my family's blood, the golem is attracted to my initial flaw, right? Initial? So how many have you got? I've got plenty. I have a really handsome number of salutors. You're lying. You'd have lost your mind. If you say so. 
Thank you. So we're going into the basement of a synagogue, where you'll use Kabbalah to strip the golem of its physical form, right? Then I'll bind it and free myself from its curse? Not quite. The golem is mine. What do you need the golem for? None of your business. You want revenge. That's very sentimental if you think about it. Another word? And you'll be looking for a new Kabbalist. Over my dead body. Very possibly. But as you said, you've got a lot of saboteurs. This one won't make a difference to you. And you'll never hear me say, fuck off, again. And what about my flaw? If I lose my initial flaw, I'll lose contact with my initial saboteur, right? Could be yes, could be no. I don't know. Want to find out? No. Unless you've got a long line of relatives with flaws, I've got a sister, twin, but I don't know if Ligia carries a flaw. You'd better find out if you want to get rid of the golem. Then go back to your sister and find out if she carries a flaw. All right, I'll bring her here. Maybe she'll be better off without the flaw. I'm not here to heal your conscience. You're one cold son of a bitch. Let's wrap this up. We've got a deal. Ah. A toast? A very successful batch. We haven't shipped everything out yet. This won't make me go blind, will it? The risk is part of the fun. I'll risk it. Let's get this over with. Godspeed. Find that flaw of Ligia's. I saw what the clay did at the harbor, but that's... Old Sofer impressed me, summoning a golem under the noses of the whole community. You ready? I will be once you show up with your sister. This is when you go get her. How do you get rid of the golem's physical form? There's an old ritual. It's called the bell. It's a sifting ritual. The incantation allows us to sift out the demonic part from the rest of the creature. It also helps with cases of possession. Good to know. By the way, your father must have really gotten under sofa skin. My father had that effect on people. This ritual, are you sure it's safe? Just trust me, as I trust you'll keep your word. I won't touch a hair on your sister's head. Now go get her! I'll go fetch Ligia. Get a move on! Thank you. 
Remember when you promised to show up for the lecture? It doesn't matter anymore. I had a lot on my mind. Well, yes. What brings you here? Has anything strange happened lately? Anything that might have something to do with the golem? A cup fell from the table, and someone stumbled while crossing the doorstep, but I assume those aren't things that can be attributed to a golem. Most likely common clumsiness. That's good news. And some plaster fell from the ceiling, but that's probably because something was passing by. Nothing serious. Anything else? The store looks better than I remembered. More human. I've sorted through the remaining junk, and I'm keeping the monkey brains, prepared corpses, and potency ointments just in the catalog now, so mothers can come here with their kids. Do you want to be better than father? People look at a businesswoman strangely, so I intend to prove to them that I'm better than businessmen. I'm doing my best. We have to talk about the golem. I know how to stop it now. You know what to do? Tell me. Do you trust me, sister? I trust you. And I'm glad that you're here with me. Even if uh, it's not always easy. I found out that you can only call off a golem in the place where it was made. It was summoned in the synagogue. How do you know that? Father's former sales clerk led me there. Hayat? How did he know? Don't tell me he had something to do with this. Well, he begged the previous rabbi to send the golem of the father. He did it out of revenge for the disappearance of a certain Horowitz. The pharmacist? What exactly is Hayat accusing Papa of? Of killing him? Do you trust me, sister? I trust you. And I'm glad that you're here with me, even if uh, it's not always easy. Do you know what a flaw is? Kind of, but Papa didn't tell me too much about his abilities. If you were to tell me the one thing in your life that matters most, what would it be? Where is this coming from? My family. And you. So, of course. Mm -hmm. Now, seriously this time. All right, I'm sorry. I'm putting you second. Work comes first. I want to work. Hard and honestly. And I want to be respected for it. Not have fingers pointed at me. And so it will be. I don't doubt you've got that certain something inside you. I will. And thank you for opening up to me. And good luck. Thank you. I meant the people who stand in your way. Thank you. I need you. We must end it. Together. You sound serious. What's going on? Today, the curse placed on Father will lose its power. But we have to get going. Are we going down into the synagogue basement? Ariel Rofa is already waiting for us. He's the one leading this whole thing. Do I know him? I sincerely hope not. He's not a suitable companion for you. Oh. Now I'm dying of curiosity. There's no time. <laughs> How exciting! I, I feel ten years old again.
darling sister, here in person. You clearly are of the same blood. We have nearly everything ready, I see. I don't think we've met. Ligia Szulska. Ariel Rofe. The pleasure is mine. Mr. Rofe, this is everything I've been able to find. The candles are placed where you commanded. Fine. Oh, good evening, Mr. Szulski. And you must be dear Ligia Szulska. My regards. The mademoiselle looks pale. Do you feel all right, my lady? Yes. Sure. Victor, I need a pound of flesh, and it's up to you whose body it comes from. Victor, what's going on? What's he talking about? To lure the golem, we need your mature flaw. Am I the bait? Yes. Generally speaking, you could put it that way. The point is that only you, with your flaw, can lure the golem here. Will I lose my flaw in the process? Well, that's linked with aspirations, chasing something, ambition, even to an excessive degree. And yes, you will lose it. Fine. Get that flaw out of me. Thank you for trusting me. But him, I don't know about. I'll keep an eye on him. Enough chit-chat. Since everything's ready, let's get to work. Let's begin. Don't mess this up. I'll do my best. Won't it come? Patience. Take her flaw, you get rid of the golem, and we're quits. Sorry, friend. Not this time. You bastard!
Even Ganaths have more honor. What are you going to do? Cry? Fuck off! Enough! Stop! Both of you! Not here! You're lucky, Sholsky! That's enough, Mr. Rofa. You'll be looking over your shoulder for the rest of your life! Let's get your sister to a safe place. I'll call a carriage. What happened? How did I get here? Feldman helped me bring you here. He just left. He told me to say hello. That was kind of him. What about the golem? That can wait. Rest now. You didn't answer the question. Now we're safe from the curse of Satanisław. The golem is mine now. And what about my flaw? I took it for myself. So you cheated Ariel Rofa? I did it for you. Huh. Sounds like something Papa would say. What? It looks like you tricked him and me for your own purposes because you thought you knew better. And now, we might be back in danger. Yes, I did what I thought was right, and I don't intend to explain myself. Whatever you say, Papa. I'll pretend I didn't hear that.
Hello. I thought there'd be something to look at. Much ado about nothing. Who are you? Last time, a different housekeeper came to greet me. How about that? What, don't you like us? That remains to be seen. We haven't known one another long enough. I have all I need to know who I'm dealing with. This is Maria. And this is Magdalena. We've all been waiting for you. Look at you two, joined at the hip. Are you ever apart? Rarely. We complete one another, not just in conversation. Stop it. I'm sure he's not here to talk to us. Then what do you want? Maria and Magdalena. Very interesting. Do you work for the Nandarzyńskis? Grigory invited us here. He's waiting for you. I've come to see you, Rasputin. We know, we know. It looks familiar, and yet different. At last, the wait is over. Here he is. Sit down, Victor. I'll come back another time. But I hope you all enjoy yourselves. Don't joke around, Victor. Sit down. We're starting. I came because my head's hurting again. Have a seat, please. What's going on? What sort of little shindig is this? It's an expression of gratitude. I don't know what to say. Sit down. Support the weak. Be patient towards all men. The moment has finally come. Here, too, is my loyal friend, Viktor Shulsky. It's thanks to him that we are where we are. And we will be in the future where we intend. My mind has long been flooded with bloody visions. In their scarlet color, the mists of the future are reflected. I see a great star falling to the blood-stained earth and the force of its impact tears the roof from sacred temples, including the Orthodox Church of St. Mary Magdalene, here in Praga. The earth swallows up the Iberian Gate. Kazan Cathedral stands underwater, and Notre Dame de Paris is consumed by fire. Our homeland will then be exhausted by an illness that has long eaten away at her. There is a feeble spark of hope for us. It still flickers, though it may soon go out. No. The heir to the throne, little Alexei Romanov, is ill. But let's not be sad. This news is joyful, as a matter of fact. Because now we know where the source of the danger is, and I can help him. I will heal the heir, just as I healed Victor, though he was bereft of hope. Isn't that true, friend? It's true. I still remember your eyes, resigned, pleading, and then so grateful. If that's how you saw it. I've helped you, just as you've helped us all. Thank you, friend. You can count on me. Admirable loyalty. Impressive. You gave us a chance, and as God is my witness, I won't waste it. Healing the Tsarevich means healing something much greater. The future. A future where each of us will receive equality and respect, regardless of who we are. 
free from the afflictions of the body and the soul, leaving in health and its resulting ecstasy. Finally, in a future in which we can do anything, but don't have to do anything, offering unhindered freedom. To the thaumaturge's health. I'd rather not wake up to sights like that. My head's about to explode. You didn't want Ligia to see you in such a state. In that case, it could have been one of my best decisions. Looking at the events of last night may be the only right one. Time to get up, get yourself together, and uh, we'll talk later. Sleep is a waste of time. There you are, finally. What really happened? My memory is failing me. For those that sleep in the night are asleep, and those that drink are drunken. Unbelievable. Remember, no matter what happens, everything stays between us. This whole farce, the thank yous, what's it all for? What intentions do you have towards me? Intentions that we become friends and help one another, and complement one another. I have skills that you don't, and vice versa. I'm not hiding anything from you, Victor. This place looked different. There are other risks, the two. Everything is happening according to their will, and with their blessing. Not all of them are as favorable to you as your hosts. The housekeeper quit. Well, Jesus had opponents too. And look how it worked out for him. You're aiming high. The highest. Anything else you want to share? 
people believe in you. Yesterday, I felt as though I was part of some kind of cult. People are everything, Victor. And we, we are almost like a family. Better, because we're joined by choice, not by blood. We are harbingers of the change that will soon take place. I'm only a guide lighting our way. If there's something still on your mind, speak up. All these people, you've gathered a colorful group. We all come from different environments, from different rungs on the ladder. And that's the most beautiful thing about this. What have you found out about them? How did you manage to convince the Tsarist officer to come to you? He came of his own accord, like all of you. Lazarev has great potential. He's exceptionally eager. He senses that his country is sick, and he'd like to solve the problem. Is there more you need to know? Maria is calculated. She stays close because of you. She sees a chance for a better life. And what's wrong with that? I respect that. I don't demand that you all gaze upon me like a sacred icon. But loyalty? There are all sorts of ways a person can win that for themselves. Anything else? Magdalena still hasn't rid herself of her youthful naivete. I think she's honestly fallen in love with you. Are you surprised she has? Many a love has had such a beginning. She's a good girl. Let's not hold that against her. Agnella is unknowable, and Lucian is unhappy about the changes taking place in her. Agnella has completely given up her lust for my sake. She'd rather just pray and pray. I respect that greatly, but I must share my time with others. Do you think that Lucian is jealous about the time his wife devotes to me? It's possible. Don't worry about it. Keep talking and asking. Enough about these people. I'm at your service, Victor. Ask for what you want. I need your help. Again. And I won't turn you down again. See? This is your inevitable, cruel end. It's approaching. You won't escape it, nor hide from it. I don't want to die. It's not up to you. Sometimes you have to accept the blow. Now, give him the command. From now on, you will obey me.
Since we keep following one another around, maybe we should introduce ourselves. What are you talking about? I've got the impression that I've caught you gents attention. I'm curious why. Don't you know where curiosity like that can get you? It'll cause you nothing but trouble. You guys are so devoted. Is the pay worth so much hard work? Maybe it's time to fight for a raise. I don't want to keep mucking around in this crap. Not for this kind of money, following some spoiled brat around, standing for hours outside people's windows. And God alone knows what for. Not for this kind of money. Wait up. I'm not gonna stand here on my own with him. Let's talk to the chief. I had no idea about this place. I know this trace. I think that's everything now. So, besides father, there were two more. A candy lover and a coffee lover. Konieczki must have had one of them in mind. Quit whining. Mr. Sweet Tooth is definitely suffer. He died before father, so he's not the one who took the grimoire. That's what I call you now. The doctor because you help rabbis and people the hospital is off limits to. Rebels and revolutionaries. Luckily, I know someone who matches the description. Maybe we'll find out what she needed that ammunition for. Come on, we'll be careful. Time to get some donuts out of the Hello, sweet secret.
Is that cat and staff too? You bet. He stirs the beer with his tail. What can I get you? What's his name? Pan Kratze. I found him on the trash heap and he sort of made himself at home here. Well fed, well groomed. The happiest cat in the neighborhood. You think? Thanks. I feed him liver. I think he likes it. He always wants more. Yes, one donut, please. Even if I had any, I wouldn't recommend them. But I heard I was supposed to order a donut. Here. It's all right, Yannick. I know him. Trouble follows you wherever you go. Well, that makes two of us. Can we speak in private? If I must. Don't move a muscle. I've got déjà vu. Silence. Forgive our caution. Despite those delightful moments in the cell, I still don't trust you. The ones who get out so quickly have friends in high places. What about you, Shulski? Meet Miha, and tell us, what do you actually want? We parted in fairly unfavorable circumstances. Forgive me, Victor, but I have no desire to reveal all my secrets to you. Can we get to the point? I've missed you. Choose your words more carefully. I've missed you too, in a certain sense. Really? Come on, lower the gun. Can we get to the point? I promise I'll be nice. You can leave us. Come, Victor. Tell me what brings you here. So these are the famous suites. Underground combat. Are you from the PPS? The friendly neighborhood girl threw you off? I didn't fall for it for one second. You're a terrible liar. What brings you to this sweet place? Is Bergrubis' cafe frequented only by your sympathizers? No, but the name is known only by a select few. Why did the PPS choose this particular place? It's just one of many where we get together. The beer is drinkable here, and the boys are nice. How exactly are you going to serve the course? The PPS has extensive structures. Most members engage in demonstrations or meetings, underground lectures. I know a certain woman who's keenly interested in them. Bring her sometime. Maybe someday. We're part of the PPS combat organization. We use more radical methods. Do you shoot as well, or just carry ammo? Want to find out? You stole the Dutch pomade shipment. I read about it on the train from Vienna. We're famous. Yes, that's true. But I won't tell you where it is, nor what it will be used for. Actually, something else brings me here. What are you up to this evening? Is that an offer, or are you just nosy? It's an offer. Tonight, I am overthrowing the Patriarchy. Will you join me? With pleasure. Just us and the sounds of a crumbling tyranny would be the perfect date. It's hard for me to deny that, but seriously, I have plans. And that's all I'm willing to say on the topic. Is there anything else you wanted to ask? I'm looking for a particular man. He's a doctor and a thaumaturge. He treats people with rather radical views. Who do you mean? Us? Correct me if I'm wrong. 
Diplomatic. I'm sorry. We don't betray our comrades to anyone who asks. So you do know one another after all? Who knows? How about this? I won't ask for anything else, but please, pass something on to him from me. Are you praying to an onion? Hush. What should I pass on to this doctor? Not bad. Not bad at all. Adulthood is like an onion. The more you try to separate it out into its basic parts, the worse it stings and makes you want to cry. Done. What can he make out of that? Cough syrup? Just pass it on to him. He'll know. You're peculiar. Anything else? I'll be off now. If I get an answer from the doctor, I'll let you know. Look after yourself. Mr. Shulsky, there's a young lady to see you. I'll serve tea in the drawing room. I won't stay long. There's no need. Thank you, Grazinka. A nice house, a spot of tea, a housekeeper. When the revolution comes, everything here will go up in smoke. Did he say anything? You know what? He confirmed my belief that thaumaturges are freaks.
Thank you, Vanda. I'm glad I could help. I've got an appointment with Michal. Give my best to your fiancé. He hasn't proposed yet. Will the young lady be visiting us more often? How should I know? Well, tough. I'm out of here. Salamu alaikum. Praise be unto our Lord Jesus Christ. Contrary, like your father. I'm not used to getting such a welcome from others. Usually, they go charging straight into my head. That's not very polite in my view. One ought to introduce oneself first. Emir Bernokovich Falce. Are you alone? I've taken care of them. Good. Thank you for the onion. Thank you for the fork. It's impossible to ignore an invitation magically inscribed on an onion. How can I help you? I'm looking for the Black Grimoire. After my father died, it went missing. What do you need another spell book for? I want the knowledge you might have written in it. You're inexhaustible, like him. Get to the point. As you wish. Enough beating around the bush. In this place, we can talk openly and take all the time we need. But mind that lying may cost you dearly. Who told you I have the Black Grimoire? The person who drew you to my attention was Ivan Konyechkin. As I thought. The chief had been circling Stanislav for a long time and was interested in his associates. In us. The Grimoire. My patience is running short. Suffer is dead. You're the only one left. Give the Grimoire back. This is the last time I'm asking. Stanislav used to tell me you were really sick and nearly lost your mind. How did you manage to get through all that? Grigory Yefimovich Rasputin cured me. 
how? With a good word and a prayer. Do you trust him? It isn't easy to earn my trust. Is Rasputin a thaumaturge? I don't think so. I'd have noticed that. Do you know any other thaumaturges from Warsaw? Yes, I know two more. That's enough. I don't have the Black Grimoire, and I've never had it. You've got enormous potential, but you're not yet reaching it. Is speaking the truth not in such demand anymore? I'm not looking for an honest thaumaturge, just a powerful one. have underestimated you. Before we part, permit me to make a certain proposal. I want to rebuild the Coterie with your participation. Why do you want to resurrect it? I'll tell you why you want this. Because there are ways of strengthening the potential of one thaumaturge using the potential of many. You'll soon learn. I trust that now you're intrigued. It sounds tempting. I'll think it over. That's enough for me for the time being. But take my advice. When you leave here, go to the one who healed you. I sense he has many secrets. We all do, don't we? Yes, but his secrets might be dangerous and might thwart your plans. Be careful. Talkative gentleman. Sit down, please. Please, set my hair to rights. Yes, sir. I don't usually talk to clients. Do you like it? Yes, you're talented. Years of practice. My clients are always satisfied.
Nothing can be kept secret from me. What are you doing here? Vanitas vanitatum et omnia vanitas. Your father was a great man. He didn't answer my question. What are you doing here? We're on the boundary of two worlds. Amid human ashes, this is a wonderful place to contemplate the future. Your father considered himself Polish, your mother was Russian, and you grew up in France. Who are you, Victor? And what about you? Who are you, Grigory Efimovich Rasputin? Me? Above all, I am an acolyte of Christ himself, whose path I know and wish to follow. I'm not as lost as you. And what about the rest of the flock? The people around you, you've gathered them, us, intentionally. Everyone has a goal. We're only yet another stopover on someone's journey. And sometimes our paths lead in the same direction. Mine leads to the court of Nikolai Romanov. I need to save the Tsarevich because I believe that only then can we have a future. I can help him. Do you believe me? I'd like to believe you. I know that you're helping me, and I have a debt towards you, but I also have my doubts. How can I dispel them? It feels like you know things I haven't told. I can't be sure what you're telling me consciously, and which ones only during our sessions. It's hard to trust someone who goes into your head without you knowing what he does in there. That didn't bother you before. You invited me in yourself, remember? You yourself opened your mind to me. I told you I hadn't investigated my power myself. It's a gift. I usually help those who believe. Do you believe now? That's all. See, I think I've dispelled all your doubts. Think what we can achieve, Victor, if you just come with me. Think about how the Tsar will look upon all thaumaturges then, if one of them saves his heir. Do you see now? It all sounds lovely. But how would we achieve this ambitious goal? Together, Victor. Together. And all in good time. You'll just have to believe we can do it. Do you believe? I need time. You've hurt me, Victor. And after everything I've done for you so far. Come back when you're ready. Once you're on that path, there's no turning back. You know where to find me.
Am I a magician or what? Look, Dao Ping Thomas has returned. I'm sure he wants something. I've been thinking about what you said. You'll only show up when you want something from me. And when I ask for something minor, you refuse. How am I supposed to trust you? I came to make an agreement. I'm all ears. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have treated you that way. Words mean nothing. Actions matter, Victor. If your confession isn't sincere, atonement is impossible. Forgive me, please. On your knees. Confess your sins. Penance requires humility. My pride got the better of me. Forgive me. Forgive me, Grigori. What comes next? I shouldn't have refused, because you've never refused me. That's true. And? I trust you. Completely. All right. What else? You've gone astray, Victor. You don't know where the truth lies. But I am merciful. Never turn away from me again. And never renounce me. And now... Repent your sins. Can we go? The church is waiting. I'll leave you alone. I've got business to get back to. Go in health, friend.
Can we go? The church is waiting. Not yet. I came about something else. Yes? What do you need? This whole farce, the thank yous, what's it all for? What intentions do you have towards me? Intentions? That we become friends and help one another, and complement one another. I have skills that you don't, and vice versa. I'm not hiding anything from you, Victor. I'll leave you alone. I've got business to get back to. Go in health, friend. Can we go? The church is waiting. Not yet. I came about something else. Yes? What do you need? This place looked different. The Nadarinsk is the two. Everything is happening according to their will and with their blessing. Not all of them are as favorable to you as your hosts. The housekeeper quit. Well, Jesus had opponents too. And look how it worked out for him. You're aiming high. The highest. Anything else you want to share? All these people. You've gathered a colorful group. We all come from different environments. From different rungs on the ladder. And that's the most beautiful thing about this. What have you found out about them? Enough about these people. I'm at your service, Victor. Ask for what you want. I'll leave you alone. I've got business to get back to. Go in health, friend. I haven't seen you here before, young man. You look exhausted. What brings you here? I must have gotten lost. I don't know yet where my path is taking me. Are you a believer? 
I believe in a higher power. But during my travels, I learned that God appears under many guises. People dress God up in different forms, and all are true. There is no way of defining him. I sense you have doubts, questions, so ask. What is the Church's position on Thaumaturgy? That's a fairly difficult subject. There is hope for all, even for those who live in great sin. So, in your opinion, Father, being a Thaumaturge is a sin? It's not up to me to say what's a sin and what isn't. But there's hope for everyone, young man. You get some peculiar guests here, Father. There is room in God's house for everyone. It's no secret that Sarina Alexandra is particularly God-fearing. Do you know her well? As well as a confessor can. So, quite well. If you're looking for gossip about Her Imperial Majesty, you've come to the wrong place. There are plenty of people at Rozhitsky Bazaar eager for such chit-chat. Unless I can help you with something else. Do you know Grigory Rasputin, Father? He also visited this place not long ago. Rasputin? I haven't seen him here, but yes, I know him. And I remember him well. It's impossible to forget someone like that. How do you know one another? From back in Petersburg, he was looking for protection, posing as a great preacher. But I was suspicious of him. He was nothing more than an ordinary charlatan. Just talking about that man sullies the palate with sin. Why do you ask about him? No reason. I feel as though this is not an accidental meeting. I'll be off. I'm sure you have more urgent matters to attend to, Father. I'll be here if you want to talk. And remember, darkness does not exist without light. If your demons are real, then so is God who cursed them.
That wasn't too hard. Nothing can be kept secret from me. Am I a magician or what? and smile at me. We're dear friends, after all. I don't quite follow. I believe we haven't met yet. You really don't know who I am? You're so innocent. Take a look at me. Preferably my eyes. I'm sorry, madam, but I've no idea where I could have seen you. Truly exceptional. Olena Dąbzakrzewska. Nice to meet you. Viktor Miłożomb Szulski. Well, well. How do you find Rumian Seva Suarez? Olena, oh, my beauty. Someone would like to meet you. Please, let's go. I already have company. Go away. This isn't the theater, honey. No need to make a scene. Move it. The lady said she didn't want to. Is it a problem? Two. An unreliable, wealthy bitch and a fool trying to be a hero. Bore. Get lost, unless you want to solve it another way. I'll make it clear.
Thank you for standing up for me. Not everyone would dare to do that. I hope they didn't hurt you too much. Why does he pursue you like that? Does it happen often? Fame doesn't just come with splendor and acclaim. It also comes with unwanted attention. Some people think I belong to them because the entire town can watch me. Goodbye. Or perhaps see you later, dear Mr. Shulski. Aren't your legs getting sore? Stupid question. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. There we have it. That wasn't too hard. Let me rest. Let's wait until... 
So let's kill some time. What a day. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Let's wait. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. That wasn't too hard. Aren't your legs getting sore? Stupid question. Let's wait until... 
So let's kill some time. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. What a day. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Let's wait. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. That wasn't too hard. There's one staken. What? Bullshit, magician. Don't throw your weight around, or we'll take you to people who'd burn you at the stake. I heard they're gathering wood already. Take it back, and maybe i let you live. Look at him! That's what I'm talking about, harassing good people, Satan's spawn. Driver, stay here. This won't take long.
can and feel him. He moves with the bustle of the market and the rustle of sand grains around the stalls. It feels like the sun is standing at its zenith and burning mercilessly. It's a visitor from a harsh desert land. A djinn. I felt something. Where is it? Hello. Would you like to buy some flowers? They'll steal your heart. Have you perhaps noticed any unprecedented phenomena happening here? Here? Mister, there's a thousand and one of those happening every day. How about a flower? Maybe some other time. As you wish, sir. Good day. And it can be even better. I'll quickly find whatever it is you need, sir. Well, I have heard that he has a reputation. What are your wishes? I should just tell you what I wish for. Don't be bashful. We're all friends here. Just name it, and I'll handle the rest. I want to be an unequaled master of thaumaturgy. Mister, that's a wish you can grant on your own. 10,000 hours of solid practice, and you can be a master of anything you want. Next time, make your wishes a little more material for me. You grant wishes like a uh, gin? Gin? <laughs> Mister, I grant any number of wishes, not some measly three or so. I've got gins eating out of my hand. And you can grant any wish? Yeah, I heard he brought a real Persian cat for Maltsova. Now that's something. You know it. I have yet to have a customer come back dissatisfied. I was just browsing. Do come back now. Wishes won't grant themselves. up your mind, sir. Maybe some other time. As you wish, sir. Did you think of any new wishes? 
But I know that you failed to fulfill one task, one wish for a very important client. Well, that's interesting. Oh, that was a simple misunderstanding. Nothing to talk about, right? Will it dawn on you when I mention cigars? Roll in the thighs of Cuban girls? No, it will not dawn on me. Despite their uniqueness, these small pieces of handicraft from an exotic land have failed to impress. That's enough. So you brought others even more magnificent, resting in elegant cedar boxes. But they too were rejected. Well, I'll be. Picky, aren't we? The manager of this establishment, the shitty vizier, who else? What does he want? His caprices cost me a fortune, and still, there's no pleasing him. I'm finished. Are you pleased with yourself? I'm sorry, that's not... That's not what you wished for? And what of it? Get lost, both of you, get! The wishing stall is closed. Look what you did. And Meltsova hears about this. Have you made up your mind, sir? I'll have one. It will be perfect for a buttonhole. A desert daisy. It survives even in the harshest conditions. I didn't think you were such an expert on flowers. Rather on people. I can't help but feel that we've already met. Surely you're confusing me with someone else, sir. I know what I'm talking about. You left an identical flower on one of the stalls, and you were very happy about it. You got a beautiful porcelain plate in return. And earlier, you were looking at gold watches. Fearing the seller becoming suspicious, he gave up on one of them. Should I go on? Thaumaturge. I've heard a little something about you and your tricks. Want me to show you real magic? Help! Thief! Help! Stop. What are you up to, pickpocket? Stealing from flower girls? You scoundrel. You don't like breathing through a straight nose. Let's get this over with. Well-mannered scum. Fine. We'll teach you not to pick people's pockets.
Interesting. My thief was definitely here. Or could the djinn be deceiving me? The heat again. What tricks are these? Welcome to the watering hole, wanderer. Show the proper respect. Hello. My name's Victor. They call me Ali, and this is my well. Did you draw from it? I'm not looking for trouble. Then answer the question. I wish. It's unbearably hot. I'll let you, if you tell me what you're doing here. I was looking for someone here, but... I didn't find them. At the zenith, in the deserts, it's not hard to lose your way. Are you trying to lead me astray, like Jin? I meet desert spirits sometimes, but I don't walk in their paths. No mortal should. I'm just Ali. I'm following the trail of a particular thief, but so far she... ...has eluded me. I know she passed this way. It sounds like she's one of the djinns. You weren't far off. Have you seen her? I've not only seen her, I also know her. And since you showed me respect at the watering hole, I'll tell you where to find her. Go south and find washerwomen working. Your thief lives among them. Your oasis is within reach. I'm talking to you, man. What? I asked why you're staring at this pump. Did you see a man near the watering hole? Near the pump, someone's always loitering around there. What's strange about it? Do you know Ali? Because there's not enough Elise here in the Jewish quarters. I know at least five. No offense, but you look and sound like someone who's lost his marbles. You'd better go now. Be on your way.
Hello, sweet secret. Let's try. Open sesame. How did you know the password, Ganef? I know a thing or two about magic. If you don't behave, I'll turn you into a toad. As long as you don't turn me into a Ganef. Back off, Charl. Do you even know what it means, you little shit? I won't have no foreigner teach me Warsaw speak. It's clear you're not from around here. I can spot a wise guy from a mile off. I'll get my guys if I need to. Don't get in my way, understand? There's nothing for you here, posh boy. Damn it. Arnold everything yet, Claude? Then get lost. Should I scrub your tongue out with soap? Who taught you such foul language? We can't afford soap, you bourgeois bastard. I'll find a way to get to you. Just you wait. Boo hoo, I'm so scared.
That wasn't too hard. Find your legs getting sore? Stupid question. Let's wait until... The things people come up with. Well, well. That wasn't too hard.
secrets. Not on my watch. Yes, sir. Well, well. That wasn't too hard.
You want to quote me? Then start writing. Here goes a poem. If I want poetry, I'll read some Konopnitska. In Śródmieście, the bastards went on strike. And that's something I don't like. So I grab an axe in my hand. This is a serious story. Workers deserve some respect. Shut the fuck up and write. I grab an axe in my hand and... Victor, give me a rhyme. I will try not to get the clap in my rear end. Good one. And who are you? A rhyming genius and a disgrace to his family, Viktor Shulsky. Viktor, meet Mr. Fagin. Viktor Shulsky returned to Warsaw, fell in with the underworld, and went missing. That's not the kind of story I would like to write. Watch who you consort with, W.S. What was that about? Don't worry. It's just a shitty situation. Do you want to come by for a drink? I can tell you all about it then. Sure, lead the way. Well, speak. What? No vodka? As you wish. The sewers in the neighborhood were commissioned by Neumayer, but the workers just dug it all up, and now they're on strike or wandering around. And when I send my shivs after them, more flood in. Do something before I kill them all. Wasn't for you. I didn't catch that. It was going to be so great. With the sewers, people would stop pissing on my door, but they just keep digging. So who is that Neumeyer? He came from Germany. Decent fellow. They say he's got some experience in that sort of enterprise. Since when do you regard decent people? Since the sounds of construction keep banging in my ears. The guy has an office on Poznańska Street. You'll see a sign. Why are the workers on strike? Neumeyer, their employer, fired a few of them, so the guys got pissed and started a riot. Maybe I could talk to them. Be my guest. Those that were fired are hanging out in my bar and drinking. And those who still have jobs, uh, you can find them in the southern part of the district. Follow those trenches they dug. You won't miss them. I'll see what I can do. Good. Whatever makes them go back to work, whether you do some hocus pocus or send a demon after one of them, I don't mind. See you later. I love you, man. Hey, Wooer, stop making faces and buy another round. We need to drink to Neumeyer breaking his stupid face. And where do I get the dough? Besides, I ain't a wooer. Wow, wooer. Easy there, or you're going to pop a vein. Let's get some shots to warm us up. Although you've got your lady love for that, right? Go fuck yourself. What do you want? Oi, Janusz, we've got company. Is he buying or just making a fuss? Sure, no fuss. But I've got a question. What's the deal with that strike? What the fuck do you care? It is what it is. No need to have a elaborate lab. Fuck, help me out, man. If you're not buying, fuck off.
me rest. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. What is it? There! It's Shulski! Our mighty good chum! Victor! Good to see you! These two shivs claim you know each other. Is that true? It depends on what they did. Well, just a stroke of rotten luck. I asked you a simple question. Yes or no? Yes, I know these noble gentlemen. Well then, I guess we'll take in three instead of two. Go on! Magician, good thing we kidnapped you back then. You're not the schmuck you pretend to be. You're welcome.
That wasn't too hard. What a day. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Let's wait. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Aren't your legs getting sore? Stupid question. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time.
secrets. Not on my watch. Hello, sweet secret. Mr. Shulsky, come in. What's new? I've got some fresh ideas for you. Promising. But you can't keep wearing the same attire. Please, come back to me if you find more inspiration. Meanwhile, I shall attend to my work. Please, excuse me. I won't bother you. All right.
Hello, sweet secret. Mr. Shulsky, come in. What's new? I've got some fresh ideas for you. I see what it is you are getting at, but the collection still seems to have some missing pieces. Please, keep looking. We need bold concepts, unusual combinations. I'm counting on you. Meanwhile, I shall attend to my work. Please, excuse me. I won't bother you. All right. Well, this is negotiation, so let's negotiate. You won't finish the job without us. That's the truth. Mr. Neumeyer? Nicht jetzt. How many times do I have to tell you? This can't be done. It doesn't work like that. That's not how you do Geschäfte. Listen, sir, we won't give up. Either you can take back the men you fired, or you can say goodbye to the workers you've got left. You can build these sewers yourself. You lousy capitalist asshole. Rude! This is just gutter talk, not negotiations.
No wonder people get edgy. You can't change everything overnight and expect everyone to fall in line. Ich kann das sehr wohl. I can. This is called power. We will show you power. Lads, the strike's still on. We're not touching the work. It's knockoff time until further notice. Maybe now you can spare me a moment? Not here. Follow me, please. I bet you regret those layoffs now, don't you? Better here. I deal with that kind of aggression every day. I got used to it. Scientist Geld, what brings you here? Why did the workers go on strike? Sir, I fired those who drank at work and everyone suddenly went mad. You Polen, I don't understand you. It's time to bring this country into the 20th century. In Germany, it's unthinkable to drink vodka at work. So, what's the story with those layoffs? I don't like inaction. So when I set new rules and people kept drinking, I gave them an ultimatum. And how much time did you give them to adapt to the new rules? What do you mean? There's action and there's reaction. I set the new rules on Monday, and on Wednesday, I let them go. You're right. Alcohol and work are a recipe for tragedy. Natürlich. Do you know how many accidents at work are caused by drinking? But the workers claim that without vodka, their hands are shaking. There's no point talking to these people. You have to force them. What do you mean by aggression? I'm talking about that troglodyte, that rude guy. Diesen Mistkerl. What did he do? He smeared my office windows with shit. Scheiße. I know it was him. I know it. I have no proof, but I know it. Can you imagine that gestank? That stink? I'll get going. I had my reasons, mostly concerning work ethics, but there are always many factors involved. This is kompliziert. You know what it's like. So Neumeyer never tried to find a solution? German Ordnung stifles the proletariat, you might say? That's what it looks like. And that's what we're saying. I can see I'm not the only one who wants to talk to you. I don't like crowds. I'll come back to you later. Do you have another joke to tell? Not this time. I wanted to talk. Go ahead, ask. I don't have anything to do anyway. I wanted to know the story behind those layoffs, from your point of view. The story. The story. Sir, this is all bullshit. That's the whole story. You know that Neumeyer banned drinking at work. He mentioned it. But he suggested it wasn't the only reason. Well, there you go. He said it himself. The cat's out of the bag. The drinking wasn't why he fired those people. Then what was it? I don't care. People end up in the streets, families get deprived of their livelihoods, and that bastard plays the angel. I won't have it. None of us will work until all the boys are back. Are you friends with Mr. Fagin? No, but at least he's trying to cover the issue fairly. What the censorship will do with it is another story, though. Do you know anything more about him? Even if I knew, I wouldn't say. I won't bother you anymore.
The things people come up with. I'll do some exploring. The telephone. Hello? This thing doesn't work. Hello? Hello? What the hell with this fucking technology? Mr. Neumeyer? Yeah. Deep in your heart you know what's important, and what the right thing to do is. It's the man that counts, not the horse. Yeah, you're right. Meine Herren, listen to me, please. I know some bad words have been said, but I have found a solution. Your Freunde will go back to work. Really? Yeah. I've understood what really matters. You are the most important. Now, everyone can get back to work. Ich verspreche es. Has he lost his mind or what? Gentlemen, it worked. We'll start a union. Done. The wheels are in motion. I am accepting compliments. I could kiss your forehead. How did you manage to do that? It turned out Neumeyer had a purebred horse. It was worth enough to re-employ all the people he had fired. So he decided to sell it. How generous. And voluntarily, of course. Of course. Well done, Victor. That was a shitty story, I must say. So, all squared up? Well, that is yet to be seen, my friend. Until next time.
Well, there we have it. Hello, sweet secret. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Fagin? W.S., it's good that you're here. Did you get my message? Indeed. I need your help. Did someone get upset that you were following him, sniffing after a scandal? No, I've gotten used to that already. This is something bigger. What is it? 
Have you heard what happened at Vienna Station? No. There was an attack, bloody and brazen, several dead, all of them civilians, it seems. A new group of fanatics have taken credit for the assassination. They call themselves Lechites. The Russians have put Zhukov himself on the case. I want to write about it, the truth, but I need help. What did I do to earn such trust? I was very impressed with how you resolved the issue of that strike. Strikebreaker took on a whole new meaning for me. There is no one in Warsaw more suitable for what I am about to propose to you. You flatter me. Enough to get you interested in this case? I've never written an article. How can I help? I'll handle the writing. You focus on finding these Lachites. I want to eliminate the possibility of this being a Russian provocation. I'll interview them. What do you make of this? Zukov, is he that famous investigator? They say he's amazing and very effective. If the Ruskies have got him on this case, it must be the top priority. Anything else? I wouldn't be so sure the censors would allow you to print something like this. I don't write exclusively for state-run newspapers. Have you ever heard anything about Kimichits? I haven't. I only know the character from the book by Shinkiewicz. It's nothing special. This is my pseudonym for a certain underground publication. I'll admit that I am rather well known in patriotic circles as Kimichits. Congratulations. Keep asking. Who are those Lehites? Nobody knows. They've shown up in Warsaw only recently. This is the first attack they've taken credit for. That's why I want to reach out and talk to them. Anything else? Who died in this attack? That's what's suspicious. Nobody knows. The list of victims has been classified, but I know that they're most likely civilians, random people, Poles. The Lachites fancy themselves patriots, and look what we have here. That's enough for me to start with. So you agree? Yes, maybe I'll reach out to Uncle. Good idea, because you need a pass to access the attack site. They won't just let anyone in. No offense. Do you ever see Vonda? Perhaps I should speak to her. Wonderful. Fine. And when you happen to stumble across a Lahite, don't forget to call me. It's a Shrud Mistia number, 3490. I'm also leaving you their manifesto. I just want to talk to them and write an honest article about them, in Polish. Might I take a moment of your time? Detective Zukov, right? I'm not an idiot. I didn't call you an idiot. I'm trying to stay ahead of the facts. I want to save us both time, which is why I decided to warn you. I'm listening. I think I could... Help with finding the attackers, I know. Yes, for the love of God. Just don't ask me how I figured it out. I requested a thaumaturge myself. 
But it will be at least a week before he arrives in Warsaw. So, you're stuck with me. Let's get to the point then. I trust you will share your knowledge with me when you manage to locate the Lechites. Be so kind as to come back to me. Of course. Please tell me, why does this matter concern you? My interest in this is of a private nature. As a thaumaturge, I try to prove to myself and others how effective I can be. I understand your point of view perfectly. Is there anything else? Seeing as we're working together, perhaps you'd like to make things easier for me and be so kind as to issue me some sort of a pass? Nonsense. I would never sign such a thing. I told you, I'm not an idiot. Our cooperation is extremely unofficial. You were never here, and I never gave you any answers. Have you learned the identities of the victims from Vienna Station? The station is virtually impossible to examine during such a short period of time. At least for Warsaw investigators, anyway. And it looks like all the victims were random people. Perhaps some things will clear up once we're allowed to talk to the injured witnesses. I'm waiting for a call regarding this matter. So, there are survivors. I've already said too much. Meeting you was a most interesting experience. Let's do this again when you find the Lekites. Your timing couldn't be worse. I'm swamped with work. This attack at the railway station has the highest priority now. That's what I've come to talk to you about. First of all, keep your voice down. Secondly, I won't tell you anything because I'm not allowed to say anything. And third, are you involved with this in any way? An acquaintance of mine, who cares about uncovering the truth behind this incident, asked me to help track down the culprits. Tell him to leave it alone, or find new friends. If neither you nor Ligia is involved with this, then I won't tell you anything. You're not involved, right? All you have to do is issue me a pass, and I'm gone. Gat has clearly abandoned you. I want to help. I can help. You've helped enough already. You've helped me, Pietia, and the Krajewskis. All I can do now is make a dramatic exit and leave you alone here. With all these papers, passes, and official stamps. I'm in a hurry, lad. I'd rather you not be here when I return. Judge Voronin is not in. I know. I'm his nephew. I'll wait here. As you wish, sir. It would be a sin not to make use of it. Oh, a Hammond machine. Good brand. Everything all right there, Mr... Yes, sure. Stamp looks worn out. To be expected, Uncle is rather heavy-handed.
detective. I'll admit I didn't expect you back so soon. Meeting you was a most interesting experience. Let's do this again when you find the Lekites. Have you met your doctor yet? He's one of a kind. What's new? So this cause of yours... What do you want to know? You stole the Dutch pomade shipment. I read about it on the train from Vienna. We're famous. Yes, that's true. But I won't tell you where it is, nor what it will be used for. How exactly are you going to serve the cause? The PPS has extensive structures. Most members engage in demonstrations or meetings, underground lectures. I know a certain woman who's keenly interested in them. Bring her sometime. Maybe someday. We're part of the PPS combat organization. We use more radical methods. Do you shoot as well, or just carry ammo? Want to find out? Is Bergrodbis' cafe frequented only by your sympathizers? No, but the name is known only by a select few. Why did the PPS choose this particular place? It's just one of many where we get together. The beer is drinkable here, and the boys are nice. Actually, something else brings me here. So, what are you up to this evening? Victor, let's be friends. That sentence pains me like a burn every time I hear it. Don't be melodramatic. Is there anything else you wanted to ask? What do you know about the Lehites, the new stars of the revolution? You're asking me because you thought that was your best bet? Yes. Only your insolence saves you now. What do you think about their manifesto? They only did it for recognition. Pathetic, amateurish methods of getting attention. I despise them all. But maybe you can help the lady. Do you know where to find them? Sadly, no. I'm trying to figure it out. Just don't forget to come and tell me. I'll gladly sort them out myself. I'll be off now. Too bad. Stay out of trouble, wizard. Excuse me. Look at this, Frank. Where do you think you're going, know it all? Out. We're running a business here. It's you. What do you know? Please, please help me. I only ask these kind gentlemen for directions. To Albuquerque, is that right? Are you done? Look at them goddamn bigwigs. 
You're not gonna make fools out of us, you clown. There is no such thing as Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Shut your mouth. We can forget the whole thing if you drop your wallet. You can chip in too since you popped up. On second thoughts, I decided not to get involved. So get the fuck out of here. And the other wise guy, he comes with us. Sir, please. I hope you'll get to your destination eventually. Goodbye. You with the book! Tell them they can't keep us here against our will! Go back to the ward! I'm telling you for the last time, the examination's not over. Man, this is a prison state! Even quacks will lock you up! You better stay out of this. Take it from me. Is it all because patients won't get examined anymore? My friend felt under the weather, so we came. But look at him now. Sound as a bell. You came. They brought you on a cart, half dead. Probably after some kind of subversion. This is slander. It's better if they stay longer. For examination. You understand? These gentlemen had a moment of weakness, but I can see they're better now. Let them leave. Did you hear the man? We'll go then. What kind of underground solidarity is that? We'll put you all in solitary. such companions in our ship. Thanks. Where did you get savage like that? Why are you so curious? Give him a break. We owe him that much. We were outnumbered by the Ruskies. That's all you need to know. Let's go before you tell him the story of your life.
Excuse me. Could I interrupt you for a moment? I'm with a patient. What do you want? I'm investigating the attack, and I need to ask you a few questions. What agency are you with? Please, believe me when I say my intentions are good, and consider the fact that I'm a thaumaturge. As a wizard, you should know at least one magic spell. Lady, please, I'm begging you. I'll only take a moment of your time. Yes, sir. What do you think she was doing at the station? I can surmise that she and her mother had either just arrived or were about to depart. Stefania Lipnitska. All I know is that she died in the attack. How's the impatient doing? She finally fell asleep and is a lot calmer now. But unfortunately, we couldn't save her eyesight. For a while after the operation, she would cry out for her mother and her teddy bear. The last thing she saw was her mother's death. What else would you like to know? Maybe I'll return later. Hello. What is it this time, and where are my things? Give me back my clothes already so I can get out of here. Unless you want to shove a thermometer up my ass again, let's have it then, because I'm drowsy. And morphine. I'm in pain. Are you even a doctor? You could say I'm a doctor of souls. Like a priest. Is there something you wish to confess? You're no doctor. What the fuck do you want? Can you tell me anything about the attack? Do you remember what happened then? I don't remember, and I won't say, even if it costs me my life. Well then, how are you feeling? Sleepy. You're boring me. I'll leave you alone, for now. What now? An enema? I'll leave you alone. For now.
I beg your pardon. Is this the way to the platform? Yet. No entry. Tishto. Nice we show what happened here. My mind, no. What happened? There was an attack. Dead bodies. For the net. What attack are you talking about? The Lahites terrorists. They planted a bomb. Dead bodies went flying all over the station. For the net in your budget. Congratulations, soldier. Exemplary attitude. But I really have to look around here, so if you'll just let me... If the judge himself issued it. Thank you. I will report to him about your stellar performance. But if you were to ask about me, I was never here. Konieśna. Spasiba. Let's take a look around. What a day. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Good day, Mrs. Yagoda. Have you worked up an appetite for a cookie? I have a receipt for order number 149. 
This must be Mr. Vishnievsky's. Oh, what a delightful name that is. He orders eclairs every week for his wife. But last time, he didn't pick them up. How about I deliver them? I need to talk to Mrs. Vishnevska. You're a saint, child. They live nearby, just past the church. One Plebinska Street. I didn't see you come in. Excuse me, I didn't mean to startle you. This is not the best time for a visit, Mr... I know, please forgive me. I wanted to give you my sincerest condolences. I brought a class. Your husband wasn't able to pick up the order. Thank you. Ignatza. He remembered. As always. Are you from the patisserie? Kmichits sent me. I don't really understand. Haven't you heard about Kmichits? I only read about him in a book by Shenkevich. Who are you? I'm investigating your husband's death and those of the other victims from the station. I'm a thaumaturge. I can help find the perpetrators of this tragedy. Well... I would always share these eclairs with my husband. It would be a shame for them to go to waste. Ignatza was very fond of thaumaturges. He met one during his time in the army, the Polish army. I'm not afraid to say it anymore. Do you mind if I look around here a little? Come in. I'll make tea. Have you learned anything? Is there anything else I can help you with? If it's not too painful, I'd like you to tell me some things about your husband. Well, we met right after the fall of the January uprising. Ignatza was hiding on my parents' estate near Warsaw. He was supposed to escape to America, but he changed his mind. And now? Well... Why was he still holding onto this four-cornered cap over 40 years after the uprising fell? One visit from the Ochrana and both of you would be doing time. He kept it hidden. I brought it here yesterday. I also have his saber and two bayonets. Ignatza never stopped fighting for Poland. He corresponded with Piłsudski. These plans have fallen through already. Were both of you believers? Ignatza more than me. After what happened, I... I don't know. His last thought remained where he had died. I managed to, to read it. Tell me, please. I'm sure it was about putting Poland back on the map of Europe, right? No. I don't know where the boat he'd been thinking of was, but he mentioned a summer afternoon 
by a peaceful lake and a wreath of marigolds. God. And she was there, beautiful, magnificent, the only one. Thank you. Thank you. I'll let you be. No. Thank you. What now? An enema? I know the station is your doing, Lehight. I don't know what you're talking about. How about that morphine, then? Well then, how are you feeling? Sleepy. You're boring me. I'll leave you alone. For now. I'm glad I caught you. I see you feeling better. Well, it seems I'm a lucky guy. What is it? Why won't you open up to me? After all, you want to send a message to the entire world. You want everyone to hear about you, to admire you. Do you know who Kmichitz is? He's eager to write about you. In Polish, for a Polish underground newspaper. About the heroes of the self-proclaimed struggle against the occupiers. What are you on about? Do you know Kamichitz personally? Yes, he can't wait. Is that so? Well, I might be able to tell it to some people, and some people will give you our answer. Where and when can we meet? Calm down, magician. We'll reach out to you.
You arrived just in time, young master. I was about to lock the door because the lecture's starting. What lecture? Mistress Ligia, she's so ambitious, is active in this floating school. She doesn't want anyone flying away from her lecture. Ask her, master. Mr. Shulsky. Welcome. Your sister agreed to make your home the venue for this meeting of the Flying University. Will you stay for the lecture? I would never expect to see such crowds in this house. That's true. A nice change. What is this lecture? It's the next lecture in the series dedicated to the economic aspect of the women's question. You could benefit from hearing it. Who are the students of such an illegal university? I believe they are the future. These days, we also get applications from gentlemen, although originally, the initiative was focused on education for women. Ligia is one of our priceless speakers. Ah, oh, Samuel, please. Maybe you'd like to experience yourself what it is we do. Wouldn't you like to host our lecture today? Me? A lecture? On what? Perhaps you can enlighten us on the topic that is best known to you, but to the rest of the world still remains a terra incognita. You mean thermatology? I know there are those among our students who would sell their souls to hear you speak. Well, would you be willing to take up this task, then? It's not a challenge for him to talk about himself, right? Agreed. I'll do it. I'll be much obliged. Can we begin? I need another moment. I still have some preparations to do. What do you need? I should make use of some props to better illustrate the theory with examples. I'll see if there are any curiosities in the study that I could use. You'll see. My brother won't disappoint you. We are waiting. Impatiently. If I come in disguise, someone may begin to, well, uh, suspect something. I thought as much. Let us now look for some things I could talk to the students about. I have a few skeletons in my closet. Mr. Victor, I'm sorry, I couldn't not look in here. I am in awe of this entire house. And what have you found to be most to your liking here, miss? I don't think I could pick just one thing. I think what fascinates me the most is that every mundane object can have a second highly magical purpose concealed just beneath the surface. That's true. I wanted to discuss it during the lecture. I can hardly wait. Your interest flatters me, miss. That's because I am a great admirer of taumaturgy, of course. Of course. Of course. 
Have you been to other rooms as well, miss? What do you mean? Someone snooped around my bedroom. Are you up to something with a mysterious partner again? Mr. Shulsky, I resent that. I didn't come into anyone's bedroom. Who do you think I am? I'll wait downstairs. I don't want anyone to misconstrue this situation as inappropriate. Yes, sir. Regarding the lecture... Can we start? I think we can begin. I'm certain that this will be an exceptional meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a unique opportunity to broaden not only the spectrum of our academic knowledge, but also to delve into the knowledge that goes beyond that spectrum. Today, our host will reveal to us the secrets of his power from the borderline between science and magic. Viktor Sulski, if you would. My name is Viktor Sulski, as the president has already said. We know, we know. I will start by warning you that I'm doing this for the first time in my life. I could have stayed at home today. I would like to tell you more about the purpose of the items I have prepared for today. I think we all know what a comb is used for. I think we should start with what you think thaumaturgy is. Here, we have three apparently ordinary items. However, there's more to each of them than you might think. This mask was made more than a thousand years ago. My father brought it from Africa in 89. However, you can see that the deity it depicts has many similarities to the Slavic salutar, Veles. Are you saying that people can see salutars? Supposedly, people who are very sensitive, spiritual, or well inebriated can experience the presence of a salutar, as long as one is around. Well, the lecture is over. Let's go to the London bar and summon some demons. Where do salutars come from? No one knows. This particular question remains unanswered. How convenient. We know that these beings have always been with us, just like the people who were granted the power. We coexist, but we do not know what rules govern this coexistence. Let us move on to the other items. This book was written in 1666. It was published solely to provoke a fear of thaumaturges. In the Middle Ages, people like me were burned at the stake and condemned for heresy. Judging from the new governor general, history is about to repeat itself. The things that Scowon is saying, they're becoming scary. 
Fear never helps with anything. If worse comes to worst, you will have to oppose it. Sure. Can't you use the power to make someone change their mind? Their way of thinking? With the help of the Salitors, I can bend people to my will. But the effect never lasts long, and not every one of these people has potential. Let us move on. I would like to remind you that time is... Can we see a practical demonstration? That's enough theory. But... other items? Let's move on to the practical part now. Can you help me with a small experiment, miss? With pleasure. Miss, can you give me a coin? I promise to give it back. Excellent. Let us focus on you then, Miss Cecilia. Please go ahead. The small metal disc revealed to me that you find the experiment very exciting. Or perhaps it's the nerves? Oh. Calm down. There was nothing to be afraid of. What I've just presented to you is the thaumaturgy skill of perception, which means reading that which is hidden. However, in order for perception to be useful, something must first be inscribed in the item. Right. And if someone doesn't have the power, but focuses on the message, will they be able to inscribe what they want? Well, it doesn't hurt to keep trying, right? Fascinating. Thank you for this truly enlightening lesson. At the same time, it pains me to say that it's time to end it. Do you have to end it now? I have to be mindful of safety, not only of the students, but also of our hosts. Return safely and uh, forget that you are here. Can I have a word with you, Mr. Shulsky? Please indulge me. Thank you, and congratulations on an amazing lecture. The pleasure is all mine. I think you've caused me to discover a new talent in myself. Thank you. I will not endanger you any longer. Until our next meeting, I hope. Certainly. Have a good night, Samuel. Be careful. Have a good night, Samuel. Be serious. What's the noise? Things people come up with. Please connect me with Fagin, the editor. Shurdmishje, 3490. Yes, I'll hold. Thank you. Hello? It's me, WS. Have you learned anything? They reached out to me. I'm keeping the brick, but someone should compensate me for the window pane. I'll install it myself. My father was a glazier. Do you know where our bloodthirsty patriots are hiding? We're supposed to meet in Pavishla near the market. They'll have a carriage waiting. I'm on my way. And I'll think about whether I should notify somebody else.
What's new? So this cause of yours... What do you want to know? Actually, something else brings me here. The Lehites. What about them? Have you found out what den they're staying in? They seek a meeting, but on their own terms. They said they would send a coach for me to Bovishle. A pathetic ploy. Don't worry, I'll be there. I'll keep an eye on you. I'll be off now. Too bad. Stay out of trouble, wizard. Have you been waiting long? I'm a journalist. I can be patient when I know I'll be rewarded for it. I see that the carriage hasn't arrived yet. I'm sure they're watching us. Patience. Tell me what you have for me before they get here. I have information for you that may prove useful during the interview. Let's start with how you convinced the Lahites to reach out. It wasn't difficult. I tracked down the attacker. Christian Krull survived the explosion of his own bomb. He was lying in a Praga hospital and is fanatically devoted to the cause. Not bad. And the culprit was right under Zukov's nose all this time. Is there anything else? A veteran of the January uprising was also killed by this bomb. A Polish patriot dedicated to the cause. A Catholic. That's not bad, but... Let's be honest, given his age, how long did he have left? Is that all? You're doing fine. What else? I renewed my contact with the socialists. Well, well. How often do you see Vonda? They want to be as far away from the Lehites as possible, and even go so far as to treat them with hostility. I like this dichotomy. A common goal, and yet, a moral challenge. I would very much like to hear the other side's version. You're doing fine. What else? Isabella Lipnicka, Stefania's little daughter, is at Praga Hospital. She lost her eyesight due to the attack. And you probably want to suggest that I not mention her in the article. The little girl lost her eyesight and her mother. And now she'll be branded as a traitor's daughter. The child has nothing to do with this. Viktor Shulsky, knight in shining armor. Unfortunately, every truth carries a price. This is everything I've been able to find. Incredible. We must work together more often. Does your conscience bother you sometimes because of the things you write? Never, if what I write is the truth. A lot when I write to please the censors in the courier. What exactly do you intend to write about the Lehites? I told you the truth. I want to know if they're Polish patriots who made a mistake, or if they're Russian provocateurs who want to destroy the socialists. Or if they're just a bunch of lunatics. I think that's for us. Fine, let's not keep them waiting. Finally. Huh. So, this is the famous Kimichits, the herald of the revolution. We have a lot in common. That remains to be seen. And this must be Mr. Shulsky. 
Strange company for a socialist. We didn't meet here to point out class differences. You will be the first to bring the testimony of the Lahites to the Poles. You will be famous. What did you want to achieve with this attack? To sow fear in imperialistic hearts. To show what fate awaits those who betray Poland. Innocent bystanders died there, not traitors. They had families. They were on a journey from which they would never return. W.S. And what about Ignacy Vishnevsky, a veteran of the January Uprising? He also died in this attack. Mr. Vishnevsky would gladly give his life for the motherland. Agreed. Grand ideas require grand sacrifices. From what I hear, we understand each other. Your victims were all Poles. Doesn't that conflict with your postulations? Please, don't twist our intentions. What are the biggest differences between you and the socialists? Because a trusted source tells me that they have a decidedly negative view of your organization. Socialism is our biggest difference, sir. I wonder who it is. What's going on here? This interview's over. The police! No, we didn't come here to arrest you. This will be an execution. I don't think you know who you're dealing with, miss. But I know that they'll be fishing your body from the Vistula tomorrow. You'll serve as an example to others. What took you so long? You set us up, you son of a Ruski bitch!
all, but why didn't you bother telling me you intended to bring the socialists here? There was no time in all of this journalistic rush. Can we speak outside? I can't stay long. The police and the military will be here soon. Thank you for dropping by at the right moment. Remember that. What do you intend to do about those fanatics? This particular Hydra needs to have only one of its heads cut off. The rest will either kill or betray each other, or hide in fear. We'll see. Miss Vonda, how about a brief comment for the press? The Polish press. I promise to give you something to write about, Fagin. Tell me, W.S., in what words would you like to be described? How about W.S.? Who knows? Maybe it's the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I don't think so. You seem happy. What's going on? Saturday. That's what's going on. I'm pretty sure today's not Saturday. Live your life like every day was Saturday. Listen, we've got a job coming our way, just like in the good old days. You, me, and beating up some thugs. Interested? I know you are. Tell me, what kind of action have you got coming up? There's this guy, Kafar, from Ruzitz. The bastard thinks he can mess with the left bank. He and his people seized one of mine, Max. Said he owed them. He got away, but there's still bad blood. I thought I might explain a thing or two to Kafar. So, shall we go there? Why don't the shivs deal with it? You offer an adventure to strengthen the bond in good faith, and this is how he treats you. I love my boys, and don't tell them that, but you've got to be nifty here, and know some magic. Come to Ruzitz with me. You have my grimoire. Yes, that's what I like to hear. Come on, let's show Kafar we mean business. I won't have anyone going after my people for some imaginary debts. Look how beautiful it is. The babble of fishwives, the cursing of longshoremen, and there, marshmallows are being cut on the chopping block. Oh, and there my dad used to have a stall. Well, never mind. Where do we find that wise guy? There, in a shack in the southeast. His people usually stand by the entrance. Let's go then. But you go with the ships and lock Ruzitz so that Kafar knows this is serious. And so that none of those bastards get away. I can't let you stick your neck out for me, boss. Not just me. It won't be the first time we beat on some knaves with Victor. What exactly did that Kafar do to you? He's threatening to send his people to hurt my daughter if I don't give him back his money. I won the money fair and square, in a game of cards. But Kafar claims he was drunk, and I took advantage of that. Don't worry. We'll sort him out for good. Go on, close the gates. On it, boss. Today, 
my dear Victor, we will embark on a sentimental journey. A long, long time ago in the Mermaid City lived a brute, the leader of 40 thieves, grafters, keeping order at Ruzitz. Let me guess, we are the righteous warriors who will teach him a lesson, right? You know it. We are some helpful bastards, aren't we? You seem to be in awfully good mood. Well, sure. It's just like the old days, isn't it? You and me against the world. Old pals pledge their loyalty, their voices like a sling projectile. Besides, the Ruzitz lads are really fun to smack around. Oh, wait, speak of the devil. Here they are. Let the fun begin. What do you think you're doing? Closing the gates, kicking up a shindy? You shouldn't show up here, Nijits. Yes, I know. You're intimidated by the sight of an intellectual. Or it's time to write the first chapter of today's tale on these ruddy mugs. Oh, Victor, that was truly exquisite. Can you smell the aroma of Madeleine wafting through the air? When he smacked the tallest one, I almost shed a tear. And this is just chapter one. Time for chapter two? Sure thing. And we can do anything we want in it. It just has to end with us paying Kafar a visit. After all, I'm on official business here. This is our time, Victor. And time is like a little partridge, running fast as fuck. We need to take advantage of that. Follow me. One scum queen awaits in a tower. Lead the way. Hold on, scumbags! I'm talking to you! What did we do to deserve that kind of treatment from the authorities? Authorities? What authority? He's just the corrupt copper. You must have a death wish, you lice-ridden mongrel! Lovely. Another one to be made into mincemeat. Let's go, Victor. Although, upon careful consideration, the process won't help much in this case. Oi! 
Let me just... Get out of here, bastards! Abaurizzi, do you remember how we used to make fun of the constables to make them chase us? I sure do. Hey, ugly. It's in your pocket and it's gonna muck it. What? Shit's a lot. I'm gonna tear you apart. This one lacks a sense of humor. Let's begin chapter two. Something odd nearby. What are you joshing for? Nijits, this ain't your turf. Why the hell did you come here raising a stink? Get out of our way, plebeian. Wait, about it. Take a look at it. Doesn't he look like... Samson the Thug! The same beady eyes are straying in search of reason. What did you say? You look like a hothead from way back who stood in our way. Shall we do the same as we did with the other one? Take a good look at me. I'm a thaumaturge and the right-hand man of Abaurit the Lord of Śródmieście. 
We came to see Kafar. Better let us through before anyone gets hurt. Don't listen to him. Come on, let's beat the shit out of each other. All right, get in. Just don't try anything. I'll keep an eye on you. Kafar, you fucker. Njedjits, you snitch. You always drop in unannounced. Did you hear that? A lone shark calls me a snitch? The scumbag. Next time, I'll send you a note. I want you to stay the fuck away from my people, especially Max. And what are you going to do? I've got a reputation here. You'd best shut your trap and bark up a different tree. He's going to get his trap smacked. Let's get him. Listen, maybe this time we can use our heads. As it happens, Kafar has a small intoxicating secret. What do you mean? We're not going to shoot the scumbag. Then our sentimental journey won't be complete, and I will have to rewrite the final chapter. Kafar is afraid that his sugar smuggling will be exposed. He does it behind the manager's back. You've really impressed me now, Victor. Well, magic bitch. You're not so tough now, are you? And who's going to believe you, fancy boy? Get out of here. So how about we fuck him up? Let me show you one more trick. Chapter three. You can see yourself in an expensive frock coat, surrounded by stallkeepers who show you favor and respect. They stare at you like dogs. How delusive it is. One word about your sugar, and it all bursts like a bubble. You've got nothing. Humiliated, defeated, you rot in oblivion. It's all lost. No! So many years of effort. Kissing the manager's ass, squabbling with those bastards from Rojitz. I can't make it in jail. Unless... All right, all right, Mr. Njejitz. Whatever you want. I've already forgotten about Max. All squared up? I think we can work it out. Well, this is what I call a happy ending. We beat up a few thugs, and we taught them a lesson. Well, if that was an evil deed, then the Tsarist government would have arranged war so differently. The Lone Shark is defeated, and justice prevails eventually. Although I hope we would shoot him. But the magic tricks are fine, too. I wish I had been able to do all that magic stuff 15 years ago. Do you think that if you had charmed Tsetsemin back then, Satan Yusuf wouldn't have sent you away? I'm sure Father would have plagued me in a thousand different ways. But maybe he wouldn't have sent me away. But if you hadn't gone, you wouldn't be the thaumaturge you are now. Damn it, Victor. I wouldn't be myself either. Y you better tell me why it was my dad who swung for it, not us. Honestly. We came back, Satanyiswav took you into his office for questioning, and then what? I can't remember. I was too scared. Father first yelled at me and then told me to pack. Do you think your old man was right to expel you? Now I understand that he mostly wanted to protect me and Nigia. There was nothing I could do about the choice he made. Fuck. He made a choice for me and my dad, too. Do you think your father would rather have had you go to jail? 
No, no. I can see what you mean. Even a bastard like Satanisov would protect his children at any cost. Never mind. Each of us had his share of suffering. And now, we're here drinking vodka as winners. Kings of life, lords of death. I have to admit that this is some quality vodka. Agreed. It burns the throat like the urge to sing sonnets. It hits the head like inspiration. Where did you get it? Tastes like Ruzitska. You know, the booze from the butcher's shop. I know, so it's kosher. Victor, what do you think about me? Really? Why do you ask all of a sudden? Stop hedging, you're pissing me off. I think you're my friend. What? You still trust me even after I had you kidnapped? Are you an idiot? I'm kidding. I'd follow you into a fire, brother. But don't tell it to my lads or they'll get jealous. But enough talking for now. Let's drink. To friendship, Victor. To being squared up. Got a permit? What permit? The river belongs to everyone, doesn't it? 
And who do you think stocks it, huh? You think five kilograms of bream just fell into the river? Pay the five ruble fine while I'm still in a good mood. You won't fool me. There have always been fish in the river, and there always will be. Anyone can fish. Fucking poacher, butchering our fish. We will show you what it means to use the river responsibly. Lads, we got a poacher here. Get him!
Morano. Hello. Let's see what brought you here. I felt something. Where is it? Move a little to the left, will you? You are blocking my view. What are you doing here? Drawing an illustration for a newspaper? For myself, as a local artist. I'm Cayetan. Do you specialize in still lives? Yes. You might say that. Here in Povichle, nothing interesting's ever happened. But there you go. Murders with an artistic twist. Very inspiring material. Povichle doesn't seem like a pleasant place to live. Is life itself pleasant? I don't think so. Even those mutilated bodies. They have no eyes. As if the murderer tried to say there's nothing to see here. So you're saying that nothing matters? Exactly. Once, misfortune brought me to this river. I wanted to end my life. But the river wouldn't have me and threw me back on the bank. I decided to stay around. What exactly do you paint? Dead bodies. Someone might say the dead deserve respect. I'm saying that both life and death are meaningless. You are blocking my view. I'll go now. Please, step back. This is a crime scene. I can see that. Am I wrong? Or does the deceased have no eyes? Yeah, no eyes, all right. And why would there be? He's the fisherman's sixth victim. Hey, Rogulski, cut the chitta. And you, three steps back. Go on. Take it easy, Commissioner. I just wanted to know the details of the investigation. Well, you're lucky I'm up to my neck in work, you fucking prankster. Because otherwise, I'd put you straight in jail. I beg your pardon? The Ochrana are staying as far away from this as they can. Give that to me and get the fuck out of here. Before I get serious with you. Easy, I'm going now. I don't want to bother you. Just what I need. A fucking throng of onlookers. Can I help you? I'll go now. What now? Take it easy, Commissioner. I just wanted to know the details of the investigation. Well, you're lucky I'm up to my neck in work, you fucking prankster. Because otherwise, I'd put you straight in jail. I beg your pardon? 
the Ochrana are staying as far away from this as they can. Give that to me and get the fuck out of here, before I get serious with you. Easy, I'm going now. I don't want to bother you. Just what I need. A fucking throng of onlookers. Nice rocks. They smell like downtown. What are you sniffing around here for, Outlander? Easy, gentlemen. I'm a friend of Abauritsinejits. Hey, Buster. You're trying to intimidate me with the shaves? Me? Impovishle? Any fish biting? It doesn't matter. What do you want? My name is Victor. I only wanted to ask what was going on here. 
With those damn police? They are trying to catch the fisherman. And the fisherman is doing his bit. Is it bad that they're doing the job? And what for? Did anybody call them? Anybody complain? What do you think? Murder doesn't bother anyone? Like there are never any murders in Povishna. Big deal. The river giveth and the river taketh away. We'll do fine. We don't need the police here. Who's the fisherman? The one who left the body on the beach. Stark naked, with pebbles in place of eyes, and a hook stuck in the roof of the mouth. Like a fish. That's what he always does. The police call him a serial killer. A dozen people he snuffed out like that already. The son of a gun. You sound like it doesn't bother you too much. And what should it bother me for? If he kills, he kills. We are not to judge if that's good or bad. The river giveth, and the river taketh away. Yep. And they can't catch the fisherman even though he continues to kill. Is that right? He's smart, shrewd, not like those police fools. And everyone knows who he is. How so? Because. You see that guy on the beach who set up his easels in the sand and is painting? He's the fisherman. He paints all those bodies. He's always around the new ones. They even raided that hovel of his. Right, Edek? Yep. It does look suspicious. Everyone says it's him. He's a weirdo, living like a hermit in that hovel. Nothing holds any value for him. So maybe he takes people's lives just for the hell of it. Yep. And where is that hovel? Go along the river and behind the workshop. Am I right, Eric? Yep. Thank you, gentlemen. Happy fishing. Yeah, right. Hey, you can't be here. Uh, Kayetan doesn't allow it. I don't like you, Sonny. He's got nice shoes, though. What if I pay you for the tour? Kayetan pays regularly. Where does he get the money for painting and your services? What do we care? He just does. The point is, he shares. I think we can accept a donation. But I still like your shoes. <sighs> Ah! Uh. Oh.
Is the painting finished? Nope. The police took the body before I could finish. But I'm sure something new will appear soon. Can I ask you a question? Whatever. Aren't you afraid you might be arrested? You're always the first one out of the body. You paint it. To me, you look like a murderer. Me? Why? The bodies appear on their own. Besides, let the police worry about that. If they catch the murderer, there will be no more dead bodies to... pose. Right. I hadn't thought about that. I think painting those bodies has become something very important to you. I hadn't thought about it that way. It seems it has given your life a new... meaning. Do you... really think so? I... don't understand! It seems that while contemplating the lack of sense in life, you did find something you care about. Right. But that doesn't make sense. Why is it that, in trying to go with the flow, I end up paddling harder? Where did I go wrong? Beautiful. I wonder if you developed it when you tried to kill yourself, or if you had it before. It is your doubt, your resignation, your nihilism. It's time to free you from it. Can you hear me? Take a step back from him. What? What are you doing? They're arresting me, that's what. What are you arresting him for? Having strange interests? Have you got any proof? We are arresting the prime suspect. Do not obstruct us. Tell them what you told me. You are not the killer. 
What difference does it make? Pelevin, you know he's not the one. What can I do? This case is taking too long anyway. How are you going to sleep after this? I'm going to buzz it up till I fall asleep. Preferably in moonshine. And now it starts to rain. Yellow belly. <laughs> Shut up! Hey, you! What do you want here? What, what is that you're playing with? It's a hook from a real dead man. A dead man's hook. Quiet, you dogs! This hook is from the fisherman's victim, isn't it? So what if it is? What's it to you? They've already caught the murderer. What if I tell you that they didn't? That they caught the wrong man? The fuck they did! Get lost! Unless... we trade for it. Got anything interesting to barter with? And what would you like for the hook? Ah, uh, A cannon. A saber! Well, you heard him. If you bring us a cannon, or a saber, we'll give you the dead man's hook. That should be doable. There were some old blonde sabers in Father's office. Go away now. You're boring. Salut. Salut. Have you heard this fancy pants? You have the makings of a good detective. I could use the help of someone as smart as you in my investigation. I... I'd like to help. That's commendable. Then the first step would be to give me back the hook. Don't give it back. Don't be a sucker. Shut it! I want to help the police with their investigation. Got it? If you got a problem with that, you can fuck right off. Here. So what now? Now I'll examine the hook and keep looking for other clues. Piotrek's a lick spittle for the coppers. Shut your mouth! Or you lose even more teeth. I'll help you. Come find me near Antiaja's brothel. We can resume the investigation there. All right, enough of this. Let's leave this place. Who was the last victim? You must know their name. I do, but you don't have anything to convince me. Is there anything else? I got the hook from the victim's body. Local kids had stolen it. I already have a few of these. 
Because of it, I know, let's call it, the scent of the murderer. A thermotet could be useful in a case like this. But the case is closed. That's enough. When I get sober, I put you in jail, I swear. Now leave me alone. We'll see about that. I'll find out why you're so reluctant to run this investigation. And then we'll resume it together. What? You're going to cast a spell on me, magician? Who knows? Don't go anywhere. I felt something. Where is it? Joins in Povishla, you walk into this one again. You won't give up that easy. Deep down, you're not that kind of man. Tilting at windmills has dimmed your investigator's instinct, but you won't give them the satisfaction. I don't have the strength. I do. Let's bring this case to a close. Let's find the real fisherman. You're right. The dubber is innocent. I'm not going to fall in with a heartless system where all that matters is the quarterly performance. Come, I'll show you the body. It's still in the ice room, unless the pallbearer took it. I'll tell you the rest of the story there. See, I'm not that bad at spellcasting. Viktor Szulski, Thaumaturge. Antoni Nigorevich Pielewin. Lead the way. I hope I don't regret it, Thaumaturge. There he is. Tadeusz Pielecha, a Powiśle man. Childless, 46 years old. He was a fisherman. No, Tomaturk. Zadzela. He has multiple wounds and bruises. Yeah, he was tortured before he died. But the immediate cause of death was a strong hit to the back of the head. Stunned like a fish. It's a joke. I presume it's his trademark. Yes. He always puts pebbles in place of gouged out eyes. Ordinary river pebbles, probably collected at the local wharf. Any personal items? Something could have been imprinted on them. His emotions, thoughts, anything. All he had was his wedding ring. 
But we gave it back to the widow because she was crying that she wanted to have a memento of her husband. We should ask her to show this wedding ring to us. Where can I find the widow? She lives in a house on the corner, between the marketplace and the Ajas brothel. Piroha wasn't the fisherman's first victim. What about the others? There was another fisher, a porter, a traveling saleswoman, but this is our best clue. Were other victims from around here as well? Some spent all their lives in Povishla. Others were passing through, and they were just unlucky. Then it's certain the fisherman lives in the area and knows it well, which means he probably also keeps his victims somewhere around here. And then just drops them on the bank? Hmm. Did he have a family? We only know about the wife. They didn't seem to get along. All right, the autopsy is over. When did Pileja's wife report he was missing? She admitted she was worried her husband had been gone for three days. She did take her time. Maybe she was the one who killed him. Why don't you talk to her? If you need me, I'll be at the moonshine. Good evening. Are you a night owl too? I can't sleep with this downpour. What are you selling? My late husband's junk. I don't need to look at all of this if I can't look at him. I'm sorry for your loss. No point brooding over it. The river giveth and the river taketh away. Do you have any valuables to sell? Like jewelry? What jewelry? Look at me. I had Pieleha's ring, but I sold it to a pawn shop. Money don't stink, you know. They didn't want anything else anyway. And where is this pawn shop? At Brovarno Street. But it's probably closed at this time. I have to go now. Goodbye. Let's wait. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Aren't your legs getting sore? Stupid question. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. What now? Do you remember Mieszko Setsemin? He was a lone shark around here. And you're asking me because? No reason. Setsemin died a long time ago. They say someone attacked and shot him. Terrible tragedy. Terrible. Even talking about him might bring bad luck. And so, life goes on here in Powiśle. I'd like to see your jewelry. Gems, bangles, spangles. Wedding rings, golden. Uh-huh, congratulations. Preferably from a stiff. I know you've got one here. 
What does a magician need a ring like that for? I've already told you, I'm getting married. I do have one, but it's not for sale. It brings me luck. Can I just take a look at it? No looking. I'm not going to play any games with you. Show me the ring. Well, this is a game I'm not going to play. Zihu, Rishi, come here. It's time for some fisticuffs. Please, stop! Give me the wedding ring. All right, already. Here. Nothing can be kept secret from me. So then I tell him, stick that rubble up your ass. I've got my honor. You sure are a canny lad. 
Hello. I'm on my break. Come back later. I sent him, Auntie Clara. We're doing an investigation together. You're always up to something, Fyotrush. What investigation? What are we doing here? What do you mean? The aunties are the key to the world of information. They know and hear more than anyone else in Povishle. Are you his actual aunt? You really are a tourist. Of course they're not. But I prefer them to the real ones. They always help me somehow when I'm in trouble. They'll dress a wound, give me an apple, or a beer. Piotrus, Piotrus, nothing gets by you. You remember that lady's gloves? I said I liked them once, and he brought them to me the next day. Well, just say the word. What do you know about the fisherman? All I know is he's in jail. Finally. This cursed place can breathe a little. He's not in jail, though. We're looking for the real one. And do you know Tadeusz Pielecha? Not really. Is he the killer? Piotrusz, is that the investigation you're playing? What do you mean, playing? We are both dead serious and committed, Auntie. You better watch out. You'll get in trouble. I needn't have come here. It's not over yet. Now, we split. You go grill the other aunties, and I'll see you later. After dark, some of them work here, and others in the streets. Remember to tell them I sent you. Piotrek Justa, that is. And ask better questions this time. Watch him. If anything happens to him, it's your fault. Is the gent looking to forget his worries for a while? Discretion guaranteed. I haven't had an angry wife come here yet. Are you the owner of this establishment? Of course, precious. Welcome to Auntie Yaja's body house. Who usually plays the piano here? Would that it were only one. We get no shortage of has-been artists here, or them that try to bamboozle the girls into giving them a better price, especially if they're drunk. One of the girls saw it in a pawn shop. It wasn't cheap. Your employees play too? I can find you someone that can tickle the ivories. But that's not what I pay them for. Tell me about this place. All right, precious. Ask away. Are all the girls local? I know places like this offer lodgings to those arriving in the city in exchange for their services. If you're implying something, precious, I can assure you that all the ladies here work of their own free will. Imagine. Coming here to be a cleaner or teach children, and then the only thing anyone really wants to pay you for is your ass. I'm the reason they can make a living. No offense, precious, but you have no idea what it's like. Does Piotr Kusta live here too? That one always finds his way around. He's a nitwit. 
the girls like him and he likes them, as long as he knows his place, he can hang out here. Where are his parents? Who knows? He's a foundling. Let's change the subject. Finally. Shall I find you a companion? Thank you. Maybe I'll return later. You're blushing, precious. Well, goodbye then. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Good evening. Good evening, what do you want? I bet he's a customer. Do you want to put him off? How do I know if he's a customer or not? Bad things happen in this weather. You're right. What brings you here? What do you know about the fisherman? What an odd question. Unless... God, it's him. He came to kill us. But they just got him. That freak who painted corpses was the fisherman. He created inspiration for himself. Right? Take it easy. I was sent here by Piotr Justa. Somehow I don't believe you. Maybe you got him too, fisherman. Piotr introduced me to Auntie Clara too. I assure you they are both alive. I just want to talk to you. Well, if you hang around with Piotr, you can be the fisherman. Especially if you are that handsome. This is Auntie Clementina, and you can call me Auntie Anastasia, like the Tsar's daughter. But we don't know anything about the fisherman, and we'd rather not talk about him. And do you know Tadeusz Pielecha? Poor guy. He was the one the fisherman got this time. You shouldn't say bad things about the dead. But? Pielecha came to visit us our Bodhi house, the day before he died. He wouldn't pay, so... And Yaja, the madam, had him thrown out. Thank you. I will talk to her. I've had it. Let's get out of here. I'm not going to stay here any longer, getting wet and tempting fate. Let's go. Yaja will get over it. Good evening. Cloud behind the corner, five copies. Naked in a bed, fifteen. A blow will cost you three. Unless you just want to watch something, then it's two. If it's something else you're after, you can fuck off. Or I'll call for help. Does it often rain here? It seems like a cloud bursts just over Povishle as if on purpose. I guess the weather reflects the way we all feel here. Stop talking to me, the panda is getting angry. Who's a panda? Well, a whoremonger. Piotr Kjusta sent me. He's a nice kid. Piotr sent you? Well, why didn't you say so? I'll give you a discount though. No, that's not why I'm here. I just want to talk. 
Well, fire away before someone is on to us. The fisherman. Have you heard anything about him? Only the things everyone's been prattling on about. But if it's information you want, buy yourself a newspaper. Two kopejkas. Any other questions? Or should we get to the point? What about Tadeusz Pielecha? Do you know anything about him? What a miserable chap. No one could ever cheer him up. It must be really hard for his wife now. A friend of a friend saw him in a moonshine often. A local joint. I know where it is. Anything else? Thank you for being willing to talk to me. Goodbye. Give my best to Piotrus. Hey, what are you up to? Bothering the lady? Nothing comes for free. I was only asking the lady a few questions. I'll take my leave. Over my dead body. Forget it. This is nothing, really. Just either chit chat, that's all. I'm supposed to step in if any fisherman or other scum bother you. So I am. Unless you want to be left alone. And you? Come here. Losing a few teeth will teach you not to waste a hooker's time. You're not from around here, I can see. Hello. Is this a bad time? It is a bad place, fancy boy. It is for the locals. Is it the weather that has this effect on you? One more word, and we will take you out. I'm a friend of Piotr Kiusta. Hey, do you hear the kind of names being tossed around here? You better find some friends your own age. Pervert. Get that fancy pants. Oh, right. But Vishle is not for beginners.
Anybody else got a problem with me? I thought so. Just no brawling, please. What can I get you? It's nice in here. I like the decor. Why the moonshine? It sells best. We've just run out. Have anything else to say? I know Tadeusz Pielecha liked to come here. Wouldn't you rather have a drink? I... I don't feel like talking about Tadek. You miss him, so do the others. You've known him for ages, and now the mere mention of his name tears a hole in your heart. Help me, and I will do him justice. Yeah, it's a damn shame. If he went back to his wife that night rather than here, I guess he'd be still alive. That means he spent his last night here? Yeah, when he left, that was the last we ever saw him. It was pissing down that night, too. And a few days later, he was lying sprawled out on the river bank like a dead fish. Did you talk to him? Tadek did more drinking than talking. He only complained that Yaja had him removed from the brothel. He didn't avail himself of it, and he wouldn't pay for nothing. Other than that, no. He was a man of few words. I suppose you don't have many customers on rainy nights like that. Hmm? Can you remember who else was here? Just regulars. Same as today, some hookers come by at times. Today we've got one copper and one intrusive posh boy, which is unusual. I mean you. Did Pielecha leave alone? Yenek, the steel worker, left with him, but he came back shortly after and passed out in the corner. Then a hooker went out, probably to work. Do you remember which one? Clara. She's the caring one. She jumps around with that little shit Eusta. I'll be off now. Good riddance. Anything new? I think I know who the fisherman is, but I need to be certain. I'll get back to you. Anything new? Have you seen my little sassy Povisle boy? No. Is he a part of the investigation? Yes, you could say so. He was supposed to find me. I think I know who the fisherman is, but I need to be certain. I'll get back to you.
Have you looked around? Any special requests? Tell me about this place. Yes. I've heard Tadeusz Pielecha came here the day before he died. You're not from around here, precious, are you? What are you snooping around for? I'm ashamed to say. Precious, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Tell Auntie what's on your mind. Nothing excites me more than touching things that have been touched by dead people. We make our customers' dreams come true, but this will cost you. I can pay you. How much? Twenty rubles. After all, it is an uncommon whim. Fine. In fact, the establishments of Śródmieście aren't as expensive as my sister told me. Go on. Upstairs with you. Just don't scare my girls. Can you feel it? It's the smell of mystery. Auntie Clara, what did you do to the boy? Piotrusz's older friend. I expected this to be only a matter of time. I warned you he would get hurt. Why is he lying still? What did you do to him? For now, he's only sleeping. The little angel. Like the others. Move away from him. None of this is his fault. True. He was bright. He connected the dots quickly and found this place. And this is why you want to kill him now? I don't want to, but I must. Because of you, you're to blame for the boy wanting to play detective. And now his blood will be on your hands. Piotrek is a bright lad, and he's got his entire life ahead of him. He trusted you. Yes. He was the only one who never looked down on me. It's all your fault. 
Everything would have worked out if it wasn't for this pesky kid. Why are you even doing this? Why wouldn't I be doing this? Why wouldn't I slaughter those stinking sods? My only regret is that I didn't start sooner. Your brother. What is it that he's done to you? Brother? Daft prick is more like it. He raised me after our parents died. Raised me with a heavy hand. I hated him. But I also only had him. You killed him too? I dreamed about it every day. Until he finally died on his own in a stupid accident. Blithering idiot. He managed to take even that from me. The satisfaction of his death. It's not even about my brother this time. It's about this cursed city. You're not from here. Warsaw wasn't kind to you, was it? Kind? Warsaw devoured me. It chewed me up and shut me out. I came here with the hope of leaving everything behind me. I was a good girl. I wanted to find a job and start a new life. I didn't have any prospects. Whoring turned out to be the only option. It wasn't until I finally got the courage to kill my first river stinking customer that I felt that there must be some sense in all this. No, not sense. There is no sense. Pleasure. It's not Warsaw's fault that you do what you do. That's it. I'm done talking. Wait. You won't hurt him the same way you were hurt because you don't hate him. I have seen and felt how carefree you become in his presence. As if he gave you back moments of childhood that you never had. I'm sorry, Piotrush. Now, we'll leave together. No, magician. Piotrush has all the time in the universe. I don't. Stop! What the fuck is this place? Who's this woman? Is she... She's your fisherman. She's the one behind them. Fucking hell. I knew I would regret it. Don't tell me the kid is dead too. Well... He's alive. Then wake him up and let's get out of here. It really stinks of fish. Everything okay? You all right? All right. Yeah, I'm all right. You're lucky the kid's in one piece. How could you be so irresponsible and act alone? There was no time to think. I had to act fast. And I think you followed your pride, Mr. Great Talmathurd. Would you ever think she's the murderess? No, this is where my intuition failed. I also didn't anticipate that she'd take her life like this. I'm sorry for dragging you into this, lad. Nah, forget about it. The risk comes with the job, but I guess you'll have to conduct your next investigation without me. How did you end up on this table? I found this dive, and as I was going to get you, Auntie Clara showed up. Then, I don't remember. Hmm, I understand. What will happen to Cayetana now? The perpetrator is deceased, so now I have to tie all the murders to her corpse. It'll take a while without a testimony. Seeing as you've bungled everything here, I'm tempted to hold your painter until he croaks. Just tell me when you release him. I will call you. I'm sorry I didn't notify you before. 
Apologizing won't change the fact that the murderer... The murderer is dead. I'll be waiting for your call regarding Kayatan's case, Commissioner. Sure. Goodbye. Take care, partner. We did good. Let's go. I'll show you the police station. Theodosia Majewska's bathhouse. Victorius speaking. Trotsky, this is Pilevin. I was waiting for your call, Commissioner. Go on. They released Kayetan in the morning. I thought you'd want to know. I cleared him of all the charges, but he doesn't really care. How did the fisherman's, I mean, Clara's case end? That's covered with investigative secrecy. I see. And what about... Hello? It's you. I see you're not interested in small talk. So let's pick up where we left off last time. Where are you hiding, my beautiful Kelpie? You rescued him when he wanted to end things, but you took advantage of his condition to feed on his floor. I think it's time for him to be rid of you. The river giveth and the river taketh away.
Was that? What happened? The river giveth and the river taketh away. But never again. The river no longer flows through you. What? What do you mean? I rid you of the salutar that was tormenting your mind. I didn't ask you to. Is this why you were so bent on getting me out of jail? You could say that, sure. I fought as much. There's always some business to be done, eh? And now what? Something flipped in my head? What should I do? Whatever you like. It's all up to you now. Okay. Now I would like to clean up. I need to air the place because it reeks. Worse than the cell. You appear to be waiting for me. Indeed, Mr. Shulski. Do you remember me? Czesław, I attended your lecture. Can I take a moment of your time? It's urgent. What's the matter? Is something bothering you? More than one thing, actually. I can't sleep. I'm afraid to walk alone in the city. I feel that I'm being watched. Maybe you should consult a doctor about this before turning to a thaumaturge. 
It's them. They're here. Do you think they'll keep us here long? Do you at least know where we are? No. I've got a splitting headache. They took the grimoire from me. Do you believe me now? Who are these people? I don't know. I fear they're with the Okrana. I told you, they've been following me. Ever since I came back, I've been finding myself in situations like this quite often. It can't be good for my head. Your head has more serious concerns right now. I'm afraid they won't let us go so easily, if at all. Now is a good time for you to explain this situation to me. I think they're after the Flying University and Dickstein. It was probably them that arrested Valdemar. And now, they've been following me as well. I'll take a look around here. You will be mine, secret. You seem pleased. Have you managed to feel something out? Nothing new. You don't trust me. I understand. Such are the times we live in. How about the smoke? They didn't take them from you? Luckily, no. They're important. Th the good stuff. They have a distinct, courtly taste of the bourgeois. A convict's last meal. Want one? What is it that you want from the Flying University? Being a diligent student is not my thing. I simply heard that is where fancy girls go. You understand, right? Cigarette. I don't smoke. I don't think we'll have time anyway. Mr. Shulski has come to already? Good. We want to ask you some questions, and we're not in any kind of rush. But first, this one. How about it, Chaseoff? Where should we start? Feet, nails, or knees? Gentlemen, I beg you. I don't know anything. This is some sort of mistake. Chaseoff, Chaseoff, we know about Dick Stein and the students. We even know about the Shulsky family home. We're catching you one by one as we speak. Do you prefer the hammer or the pliers? I don't know anything. I swear. Mr. Shulsky? Where's my grimoire? We happen to be reading it. Why? Your lies are as bad as your acting, you worthless ham. Putting words together is clearly too hard for you. Maybe you go first. Hammer or pliers. Wonderful. Let's leave this place. But I'll have my book. Now. Don't get cocky. He can't do anything without his grimoire, right? Let me tell you how this is going to end. You'll give me my grimoire back, and then let me out of here. And if you don't, I'll make you tear off each other's faces. So you can get out and warn your buddies? No chance. We'll take the risk. Cheswav, you can stop pretending now. We'll settle this in a more subtle way. I thought it wouldn't come out till the end. This is the end. You handle him then. 
I'm off to tell our guys to hurry up with these arrests. Polina? Not now. Vyashek is about to draw for a straight. Is that bad? How do you know? Ah, fuck it. Give me two. It's urgent, and I don't want to explain it in front of everyone. Please, let's go. I'm gonna need a better argument. You do know that these four are not the same color, and that this is a jack, not a queen? I could have won this, pig. You scrotum-faced scabby fuck. How could you? Vyeshu, the young miss is leaving with me. Don't call him Vyeshu. Only my mom can call me that. I'll be going now, to read some old books by Green Square.
Another one. What's going on here? Why is there no passage? Man, on one side, there are the Ruskies that want to come in and batter people. And on the other side, there's me not wanting to let them in. And seeing as there are more of us this time, it won't be so easy for them. I repeat, get out of the way and no one will be harmed. Take your bark and somewhere else, lion dogs. Haven't you had enough this year? Do you intend to drag people out of their homes and beat them in the streets again? Or shoot them? And which side of the barricade are you gonna be on? Is there perhaps a chance that you will help me pass in such a way as not to draw the Ruski's attention? And who are you supposed to be? A provocateur, probably? And with a magical book, no less? Forget about it. I don't have time. Whoever wants to join in, let them. Gentlemen, I think the Jews have found themselves an ally. What I'd like to give them is a beating. Come on, Mr. Magician. Victor, it's so good that you're here. Is everything all right? I was about to leave. We must alert the rest. Are you sure that no one followed you? Calm down. Tell Victor what you told me. Soldiers came for me today. I managed to escape and came straight here. 
Arrests have started, and I'm certain they want to close the Flying University. I have to warn whoever I can, Diegstein above all. We must hold a meeting at the Antiquarian Bookshop. I know about everything already from the Ochrana. Cheswaf turned out to be their snitch. But the arrests don't stop. We have to do something. I'll reach out to Dickstein. Excellent. And Paulina? I've already talked to her. She'll be at the Antiquarian Bookshop. Let's not waste time. I'll run to Lucrezia first. The two of us will notify the rest. We are counting on you, Victor. Too much to do. Can we go? The church is waiting. Not yet. I came about something else. Yes? What do you need? I need your help. Again. And I won't turn you down again. sadness. Heartbreakingly cold. How can we tame her? Stop fighting her. What? There's no need to resist. Go to her.
Let me soothe this melancholy. Let it engulf you. Can we go? The church is waiting. Fine, let's go. Finally. Victor, it's about to start. Don't stare off to the side or you'll lose sight of the target. What? Since you're indisposed, permit me to lay out to you once again what I said on the way here. As you well know, we're in the Orthodox Church of St. Mary Magdalene in Praga. In a moment, a certain ritual will take place here. Quiet there. You're not in a barn. The Patriarch Kiru will soon begin an exorcism on a certain boy. I know that you and Kiru have a past. Why are we here, of all places? Not in the least. Remember, revenge is foreign to me, Victor. It's not about Kirill. Though if by chance he trips up today, that would make me immeasurably happy. Unlike Kirill, I really do want to heal a boy who is suffering. The people must understand that I am the truth. And what then? Then, all that's needed is for what happens here to reach the right ears. Off to the market with you! Don't bother folks here! Now I would like you to look around and determine how to prepare the miracle of healing. Go now. What's my role in all this? The church is a divine stage. The sort I need to perform on to produce the right impression. People will see me today as a miracle worker. What's your role in this? You're a thaumaturge. Help me do it. I'll go take a look around. Go, but don't waste time. I felt something. Where is it? Yushka, can we please start? Patience, daughter, and humility. Keep praying. <laughs> You're back after all. You'll soon see the power of God. Hey, you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Why did you harm Cartafel? He said it really hurts now. I didn't mean to. I didn't. I was angry. Papa didn't come back from the war. I know you destroyed a holy image. Do you want to go to hell? N no. I got scared. Mama? Is he your son? Why did you bring him here? What business is it of yours? The devil needs to give him my son back. He's got me scared to sleep under my own roof. Why? He won't shut up about phantoms, and he lies and makes stuff up. And he holds and holds. But Yushka, faster, have mercy. Hey, you. <laughs> I've heard you are a liar. No, I don't lie. That's not true. And that you scare your mama making things up. Not true. I want to go home. Don't get close to him. It's the devil speaking through him. He'll tell you anything to save himself. Maybe it's what's making him upset. If I took it away... But Kiro told me to move away before it opened completely. Don't dwell on it. It's good news. Let's get closer to God. Especially since it's a little too loud here. Thanks be to God. They're going somewhere else to talk. Princeps Miliete Kelias des Defende Nos in Proelio. Down with the evil spirit. I drive you out in the name of Christ. Priest! Leave that child alone! You stand in defense of Satan. He's not a child, he's a devil. Mama! You're causing a child unnecessary suffering. He needs a different kind of help. True help. My help. Don't scream. I'm not going to do anything to you. Mama! Mama! Help! He sees you as I do. That only means one thing. Hey, don't cry, all right? How about we talk? Have you ever seen a ghost or a monster? One like him? Once. One was in the wardrobe, the other in the kitchen. I'm scared of them. Have you told anyone about this? My mama and the priest. Am I going to hell? Calm down. Everything's alright. No one's taking you to hell. I see ghosts, too. Sometimes they even help me. Why did God do this to us? Doesn't he like us? Sometimes I wonder about that myself. We don't know what God has planned for us. Will this take much longer? 
Kirill is about to declare me anathema. How can it be that he's crying here? He's a Tamatage. I didn't know that earlier. Do you see yourself in him? Do you want to help him because no one helped you? What will happen to me now? Well, Victor, we're running out of time. What will happen to him now? I decided not to remove this floor. Without it, his first senator will never find him. But maybe his life would have been easier without it. Now, we'll never know. I'll take you to her in a moment, but first, listen to me, all right? You can see things others can't see. That's normal. That will make you go to hell. Soon, a spirit will find you, one you mustn't be scared of. From then on, you'll never be alone and he'll help you. Do you understand? Yes. Come on. We probably won't see one another again. Good luck. It's all right now. Everything will be all right. Find peace inside yourself. Peace, yes. It's all right now. Be blessed, Shimon be healed. It's better now, isn't it? It's a miracle. Thank you. With all my heart. Shimon shares his name with the name of the greatest of Christ's apostles. And you wanted to drive Satan out of him. That's blasphemy. So say I, Grigory Yefimovich Rasputin. The man you betrayed, Judas. We have made the words of God into an instrument for our own gain. Made sacred temples into a vanity fair. Satan exists, and he is here today among us. But not in this small, defenseless boy I have just killed. It works through its earthly acolytes. It enters the minds of those unblemished by sin, and sows chaos there. It's time to stand against this. It's him, the wizard who wanted to hurt my son. Where are you going? Stop him! Evil takes root in each of us. We must be strong, because now we need a government of souls free from evil. In these dark times, we need a miracle of unity. Glory to Russia! Slava Rasi! Fuck you! He turned up with that wizard! Let us be strong in spirit. That is the only way we can defeat Satan. Down with traitors! with the book you damned magician I'm talking to you hang on now my cousin was recently telling me about a fellow like that who was in the lockup in Shudmieście Victor do you need help I won't say no looks like it'll be useful 
What was that you said, officer? a wizard scum. It's not a fair fight with them. Enough. You and you. Get them. But save your powers for later. They'll come in handy. Let's go. Miha, leave him alone, bastard! Geroy, you're coming with us too. Although they could have left me a coat. It's chilly here. They're going to kill us. We'll get out of this. I wonder how. Do you know anyone who's gotten out of the citadel? First, the Ochrana will grill us. Then it'll be out to the prison yard. Hey, kid. Look at me. Wanda will spring us from here. We just have to give her time. Have you learned to whistle yet? And remember, we were at mass. We don't know anything, got it? Unlike him. And now you're going to tell me exactly what happened inside the church. How is Vanda meant to help you? I'm sure Vanda and our folks have already got the Citadel under watch. We don't leave our own behind. Don't change the subject. What about the church? I did what I had to. The boy at the exorcism turned out to be a thaumaturge. And? Seems to me I was the first person to recognize his nature. I'd have given a lot for that kind of help once. And where did you end up, hero? I got the urge to pray, and I could have been having a beer at Berg's. Jan Bialek! No. Please, no. Here. That's me. You've got to get him out of here, you understand? He's not even 16. I'll give Vanda your best. You watch out. I'll be back yet. Bialek! You're coming with me. Tell her not to miss me. And you, practice that whistling.
you think he'll come back? Pankratz is going to be so happy when he sees you. Who's going to feed him now? Poor Pankratz, he'll starve to death. They're going to kill us here. Where are you from? From here. I live with my grandfather in Praga. He fought in the January uprising. He raised me after my father died. I wanted to make him proud. And that's why I joined. Our fault. My father is dead too. Is he? Mine died of whooping cough. He worked in a factory and everyone got sick there. We're going to die here too. A building fell on mine. What a bourgeois way to die. Yes, I was born into money. But money doesn't bring you happiness. The greatest lie that we tell poor people. Even so, believe me, my life wasn't as much of a fairy tale as you'd imagine. My best friend's father was in debt to a dishonest loan shark, and we wanted to help. I think we were younger than you. And what happened? We went to see him with my father's gun, the one I carry with me. And what? It went off. The lone shark died on the spot. My father handed me some suitcases and a ticket and said never to come back. So, he sorted it out. Sounds like a good father. Maybe you're right. A little. Shulsky! Your turn. See you. How touching. Move your ass. That was disappointing. Did you know him? deceived me, Chief. The book wasn't where you told me I'd find it. But I could have sworn. How extraordinary. Really? I can see you're still using it. I remember how it ended the story of a particular loan shark. And that sizable problem of yours, is it still following you? In a moment, it might be a problem for us both if I mess around here too long. Let's risk it. Tell me anything of value. Then, I'll be able to find a way to help you. I wouldn't want the dredges to pull you out of the Vistal afterward, like Svetlana Petrovna. Great question, but where's my father's grimoire? I'll tell you if you tell me about the church. What were you doing there? I have to ask you something. Where is my father's grimoire? I see we're unable to come to an agreement. All this is to get out my father's friends, isn't it? I'll ask one last time. No. We are done here. Leave us alone. What? No interrogation? Don't be silly. I don't need to introduce you to. Ready? 
I know everything that I could read from his objects. What are you expecting? Results. Find out what he did in the church and where his father's friends are. As you wish, sir. Let's not drag this out. Will you summon Corpse's spirit for us? It's nothing personal. <sighs> Greetings from inside your head. I intend to make myself at home here. Are you still mad at me about Velas? We're not thinking about me now. You won't trick me here, and you won't escape either. Save your energy. Think about the church and who you were there with. In the church, a young boy was undergoing an exorcism. But he wasn't possessed. He was like us. He was a thaumaturge. You helped him understand who he is. Well, I'll be damned. I thought you didn't know what sympathy was. Why didn't you show so much heart to Sophia Scowon? Father hired me. Scowon promised my past would be forgotten and my sins wiped away. So we both here for punishment. I foresaw the gallows for you. Have you forgotten? I don't intend to stay here that long. And you should neither. What are you thinking about? It's suicide. Konyechkin is a determined, vengeful bastard, and he has people everywhere. What about you? What do you have? Right. Think what we could do with knowledge like that. End up on the gallows. If we played badly. All right. All right. What? Let's get out of here. That's what you want, after all. I'll help you, but you're taking me with you. I'm not leaving here without my father's grimoire. I'm convinced Konyechkin has it. That's right. It's in his study. Two floors up. Just don't dawdle. Go. I'll hold Konyechkin here. But not for long, so hurry. Make it snappy. I can't hold him here long. What do you think of this, father? We need to go. The plan's moot. What happened? The guard peeked inside the cell and everything fell apart. Konyechkin was furious. 
It'll take him a little while before he regains his composure, so let's not waste time. I'll lead us out of the gate, but what then? My cellmates have confirmed their people are observing the Citadel. They'll pick us up. Sounds like a plan. Before we leave, I'd like to grab one of my cellmates. What? Have you lost it completely? I have to, because he doesn't know how to whistle. You'll get lost here. I'll go. You secure the passage to the gate for us. Just wait for me there. I'll be waiting.
You, what are you doing here? It's a long time since I was in Warsaw last. I wanted to explore a little. Show your pass, or you're under arrest. I wish you luck. You, what are you grinning at? Grab the rest of those fuckers in the barracks. So, have you mastered whistling? That's how you do it. Come on, folks. I'm so glad to see you. 
What about me, Hal? And her? Thanks to me, the rest got out. Move. Please, come in. No one should be alone at a time like this. Emir, they killed Miha. He is not altogether lost, remember. I'm going to see Burke. The rest should know. Come on, Yannick. The famous Madame Samira has honored my humble abode. Thank you for taking us in. You must be exhausted. Please, go ahead to your rooms upstairs. I'll join you in a moment. Are you coming? I'll be there in a moment. Please, make yourselves at home. The tea is brewing and it will do us all good. Madame must be the thaumaturge Victor told me about. Did I mention that? For the time being, I'll assume we all have good intentions. As for me, you have nothing to worry about, sir. I trust her. That's enough for me. Let's not waste time. Do not mistake this somber moment for one of peace. This isn't the calm before the storm. We're in the eye of the storm. Time is scarce, the risk is great, and the consequences will be irreversible. I trust you've got the Black Grimoire already? What do you think threatens us? You're a wanted fugitive, so detainment, interrogation, and probably the noose. And you, miss. The noose. They won't waste time interrogating me. Why don't we move on from doubts to solutions? The solution is to combine all of our individualities. Separately, we're all too weak. But if we form a pact, its consequences might reverberate throughout Russia. Possibly even all of Europe. Who knows, maybe that way we could save not only our own necks. What about Wanda? Aren't you afraid she'll seek revenge? 
Yes, and that revenge will push her to extreme measures. But what we're trying to build might save her from downfall. It's one of the reasons that time is of the essence. I got my father's grimoire back. It was where we both expected it to be. Have you studied it yet? Not yet. I haven't had the time. That's understandable. Can you tell me what we're talking about exactly? Before he died, Stanislaw Shulski created a hypothesis upon which he tried to use the full potential of Thaumaturge's mental bond. You mean peeking inside each other's heads? It is not arcane knowledge. Shulski believed that connected Thaumaturges could share their powers. It's still just a hypothesis. How can we verify it? Only through an experiment, I presume. Let's not waste any more time. What else do we need to form such a pact? First of all, a fourth member. The other one you mentioned. Who is that? The only one that comes to mind is Ariel Rofa. He crossed my mind, too. Do you think he could be useful with the reputation he has? He hasn't shown up at the Rujits much lately. Do you know him well? Not personally. People talk about him in the neighborhood. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Don't give it too much thought. Needless trouble. Do you know where I could find him, if not at the bazaar? I know he used to live somewhere in the heart of Mirov. Maybe there. The bizarre Thaumaturge. I'll bring him here. At least I'll try. There's also the question of that Rasputin. How do you think I should resolve this situation? It would be most imprudent to let such suspicious people inside your mind for too long. Any carelessness may cost all of us dearly. If you're still bound to him somehow, I'm afraid you'll have to end it. Yes. Tell him it's not him, it's you, and so on. Remember, this is no longer a question of only your noggin. Madame, the tea is ready. I have to go down now. Good luck, Victor. Come to check on me. Would that be wrong? Your resistance, girlfriend, won't mind. It's a rhetorical question. Who is Sara Rivkin? You saw my files at Konechkin's. Sara Rivkin is none of your business. I think you owe me one. As far as I remember, you were the one who put me in the hands of Yochrana. And then I got you out of them, alive. Do you want the long story or the short one? Long. I've got time. Quiet. So, a Jewish orphan, Sara Rivkin, was born in the Austro-Hungarian partition. When the street decides to end her, Fortune sends her help in the form of a popular psychic, Madame Samira. Samira adopts Sarah as her daughter, and they become inseparable. Madame Samira can see more than others. She's the one who made Sarah realize her thaumaturgist nature. But Madame also has enemies who can reach her in the safety of her house. Sara knows she has to disappear if she wants to stay alive. So you took her identity. I guess it wasn't too hard for a thaumaturge to act as a psychic. Indeed. Were you close with Madame? Wouldn't you be close with someone who raised you? Believe me, it's not so obvious to me. 
It was Madame who taught me how to live, not the streets. She was unique. By adopting her name, I believe I saved her in a way. This is the least I can do to repay her. Why did you decide to come here? With Madame's money, you could be anywhere. Anywhere is neither worse nor better than here. But the gaze of Samira's assassins won't reach here. Skywon's shackles do, however. How did you meet him? You'll know when you deserve to. Thank you for opening up to me. Look out. I might start to like you. Let me change the subject. Finally. How long can you pity yourself? What actually convinced you to run away with me? A woman without secrets becomes vulnerable. Let me guess. Surprise me. I think I was the perfect opportunity to get off Konyechkin's leash. I wouldn't call it a leash. Rather, an entanglement. Am I right? Perhaps. What are your impressions after meeting our host? Do you trust no one, or are you just being polite? I just wanted to know your opinion. If what we are planning here is going to work, you'll have to trust us at some point. I'm not sure if he's a good Felcher, but he seems to be an experienced thaumaturge. And it's not easy for me, but I think I would trust him. Not that I have any choice. I'll come back later. Sure. What's new, Mr. Shulski? I'll come back later. Sure. Intriguing. Did you manage to solve your healer's case? I'm working on it. I see. Tell me how a Jew, a Tata, and my father met. Who first? Choose. Tell me about my father. I met Stanislav during the January Uprising. He was still a bachelor then. We were in the same unit under Traugut. Were there many Thaumaturges fighting back then? We didn't flash it around. Besides, we all bleed red. I used to be a frequent visitor to your house. 
But as time went by, less and less so. Did something happen? Just life. Stanislav focused on his family, and I focused on my practice. What about Sofer? The old rabbi was introduced to me by Stanislav. He was the one who sought to acquaint us with one another. Sofer was a powerful Kabbalist and very respected in his community. He was the one who brought the golem into existence. I didn't get a chance to know him better, as he died shortly after casting that curse. Do you think that summoning the golem might have been the cause? No, no, it was the profusion of cookies he loved so much that killed him. You treated Sofer. I found a prescription he wrote. That's true. A hopeless case of an addiction to trivialities. Had we met sooner, he might still be alive. Tell me about Horowitz's case. How did it impact the coterie? He was actually the reason it started to fall apart. He was a socialist chemist who knew a lot. There was a risk he would be exposed. So my father killed him. Stanislav took the burden of that decision upon himself, reckoning with consequences. He knew the Jewish community would blame him, and Sofer couldn't defy the will of his people. That would compromise him and be the undoing of us all. Stanislav did us a favor. And to socialists as well, I guess. I have some other questions. You do? Tell me about yourself. I'm afraid your request is too broad. Ask me a more direct question. Do you come from here? You're asking if I was born in Warsaw? I only came here after the uprising. My family comes from Vilnius. But my heart beats the same as yours. Tell me more about the Tatars. My ancestors settled around Vilnius over 600 years ago. Since they were noblemen, we kept our own religion and traditions. Are you all Muslims? Are you all Catholics? Everyone lives by their heart. And that's the way it should be. Who do you consider yourself to be? A doctor. I meant, who do you feel like? A Tatar? A Pole, a servant of Allah. I am all of them. I like to believe that I'm a good man, too. I avoid labeling people, Victor. It leads nowhere. When we first met, you tested me. I had to know what kind of clay you're made of. Forgive the pun. I have a feeling I didn't come across well in your eyes. I failed. All is not lost. We are still talking, aren't we? And what did you think of me back then, if I may ask? I must say you impressed me. Especially considering the fact you look rather... Old? Experience comes with age. Remember that. Remember also that kindness and gentleness have nothing to do with weakness. And that they cost nothing. I have some other questions. Go ahead. I have to go now. May Allah guide you. Pardon? What don't you understand? Documents. Je ne parle pas Ruski. It's not enough that he's a magician. He's scum. You'll learn right quick once I give you a beating. Documents. I won't say it again. Raya de voice I'll take over. 
documents, or are you deaf? Show them to me, and you can be on your way. No. Mm. Yet? I'll teach you to respect the uniform. Socially, a little patience and I would have dealt with it. What am I to do with them now? It's your problem now, Captain Lazarev. Bliat, I don't know what Rasputin sees in you. This is not a good time for Thaumaturgis. Skawans put out a warrant on all of you. What are you doing here? You'd better tell me what you're doing here. I don't think your being here is a coincidence. There are no coincidences in Rasputin's plan. I was looking for you, and I found you. He needs you. Now. What are Rasputin's plans? What does he need me for? It's not for me to guess his intentions. You won't find him on Povonskovska anymore. Go to Povishle and find a brothel. There, among his lesser brothers and sisters, Rasputin puts his will into action.
the things people come up with. You made it, my friend. Wonderful. About what happened in the church. Did you get what you'd hoped for? Yes. Although bloodshed was not part of my plan. Apparently, such was God's will. But I'm sure that the news of that boy's miraculous recovery has reached the right ears. Time will tell, of course. Why didn't you help me when they locked me up in the Citadel? God is my witness. Did I not send Lazarev to find you? Did they ask you anything during your captivity? I didn't say anything against you, if that's what worries you. It's good to know I can still count on your loyalty. It's good that you're here. That God guided you to me again. What's the occasion? Do you want to thank me for something again? Not today. Today, all of you gathered at this table are equally important. I want to celebrate you with this humble supper. I hope you'll join us. Grigori, we have to talk. That sounded serious. And one should sit down before discussing serious matters. Perhaps during supper, uh, will you join me? Tell me more about this occasion. What do you want to know? The corner near the brothel. It was cozier at the Nadazhinsky's. But today, we wouldn't all fit. Look around and see how many believers we've gained. Are you saying that they were attracted by the miracle at the church? Of course, and the brothel is as good a place as any other. Better even. Here, lust trumps propriety and nakedness is a symbol of truth. We're celebrating truth here today. Truth in community. You went to a lot of trouble to prepare this supper. To what purpose? I wanted to meet, to talk, to show my gratitude to those of you who have persevered on the path of truth and stand with me, despite adversity. Bless you. Who can I expect to see at this supper? It's difficult to mention everyone. My flock keeps growing, but people are different. Strong, wise, weak, dumb. Some stumble and never get back up. They will be missed today. I pray for their souls. What's important is that you came back. That will do. So, will you join us now? Did you invite the press? My sermon must have made quite an impression on her. Good. I'll join you later. I'll be here.
Will you join me for supper, my friend? All right, I'll stay. And what do you plan to do after supper? God created the world and placed a beautiful garden within it in the east. Then, he placed a man there. The plan is for us to meet in paradise as well, because there we will get that which we deserve, my friend. No more, no less. Do you recall our conversation over your father's grave, when I asked who you feel you are? You did not know the answer then, but now you must make a decision. Soon, I'll be able to give you anything you want. That is enough for me. Can we talk now? Your serious matter, of course. I was approached by certain people. They want my help in reviving one of my father's concepts. What is it that you expect from me? Should I be afraid of something? This is goodbye for us, Grigori. We've had our moments, but now I want to go my own way. We have different visions for the future. I will work on accomplishing mine with other Thaumaturges. Thank you for your honesty. I have been very eager to eat this Passover meal with you before my suffering begins. Wait a minute, my friend. I will be with you shortly. I still want to show you something before you leave for good. And Victor, I am telling you now before it happens, so that when it does take place, you may believe that I am he. Is what death is like? An infinite void? Where? Where am I? Is this hell? Well, I could have seen it coming. I'm telling Ma, all your temper turges are crazy. Teacher said, Victor, is the right here in the classroom with us right now? <laughs> I almost pissed myself. Cozy. Slow down, you'll get your clothes all dirty. I'm the head of this family, and I deserve respect. Did you not hear what I said? This is the end. I was wondering why you'd bother me again. You needed me, so here I am. 
It is time for the trial. What trial? Is this some sort of court? Barbarit. Yes. A trial over the conscience of Viktor Shulsky. Of what do I stand accused? And what weighs on your conscience? Your twin sister. Despite not having your power, she was only ever kind to you in this cruel world. She was genuinely happy to have you come back to her. She was alone here, you know. That's very noble of you, but is there room for a caring sister in your plans for the future? I don't think so. Soon you will be left alone again, and in time, no one will remember you. Do you mean to say that you don't care? Supposedly, we only live as long as someone remembers us. After that, all traces of us disappear. Go on. I'm not finished. It's all right. We have all the time in the universe. A clay colossus. A beautiful, destructive force. The threat you visited upon us. Yes. And do you understand why? Good. So you understand that every victory requires sacrifice. And the end only justifies the means. Ultimately, the golem rests at your side. Correct. Enough. Starting now, we're doing things my way. Release me. You're in charge here, remember? If you wish to skip the trial, it will be so. Are you ready to hear the verdict? I want to hear the verdict. What do you think the trial has revealed? The fact that I can bend the rules of any game because I'm a thaumaturge. And you think that's the way it should be? Yes. I would be a fool if I didn't live up to my potential. It's what makes me special. The verdict is... guilty. Guilty of self-involvement, suppressing his conscience, and breaking others at will. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Do not end like this. And it won't end until you begin on one of the paths. This is the only way you can atone for your transgressions. Are you talking about Rasputin and the Coterie? There may be other paths available. Which one do you prefer? What do you want to tell me? That you can reach the world, following paths less trodden. Does it surprise you? After all, you can play against the rules. But now, focus on what's in front of you. So... 
Why the coterie? I believe that they are the answer to troubled times, and that they will be my rock. So, you accept everything that was meant for you, and you will use it as you see fit. Are you happy with events taking this course? Yes, I want this. So, remember what it is you're feeling now, when the time for the trial comes. And you, what would you do in my place? I died beneath that tenement house. What you see is an embodiment of your pride, conscious or doubts. Those are the things you're arguing with. You are your own worst enemy. Go now. Will I ever see you again? That's entirely up to you. You are in charge here. Let's meet in paradise, the garden near the fountain. Satan has asked to sift all of you as wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. I have an idea who the author is, but I don't know how it's possible. I have no idea where to look for this paradise in the garden. I don't remember how I ended up here. Is it possible that what happened near the brothel was just a dream? You're right. A dream wouldn't hurt like this. I'll think about this later.
Les gars Christ, don't sneak up on me like that. How do you feel? You took care of me. Thank you. Forget it. I wouldn't have managed it on my own. Grazenka helped me. Are you sure you don't want to rest some more? Where is Grazenka? She left to get some supplies. It's hard to buy anything now, but she left yesterday and still hasn't come back. Maybe she just had to hide somewhere and is waiting. Did someone come here when I was asleep? Did we have any visitors? Apart from myself, uncle and Grazenka, I didn't let anyone in. The streets are not safe. Why do you ask? I found an unusual letter on the nightstand about a garden of paradise. What letter? The only garden that's being talked about now is the one at Dolinka Schweizarska. The Tsar and his entourage are planning to have a garden party in a park there. Would you use the phrase garden in the east to describe Dolinka? In the east? Dolinka is south of here. The only eastern thing about it is its guests. What is this party at Dolinka Schweizarska? The Tsar is celebrating his son's birthday. Is everything all right? You look concerned. That's because I am. Whatever is happening on the streets right now, it scares me. Is that why you unearth Papa's musket? Does it still work? Just now I thought I would find out. Before you woke up, they shot a man on our street. He crawled away somewhere, but he was bleeding so badly. The entire city has gone insane. The Governor General has closed the borders and isn't letting anyone leave. People have barricaded themselves in their homes. Maybe the Russians are waiting for us to kill each other ourselves. And they may be right. Only madmen roam the streets now. I won't let you get hurt as long as I live. I promise. In that case, I wonder how long it will last. Did you intend to inform me that you escaped from the Citadel? I've just risen from the dead. Besides, I didn't want to bother you. At least until I came up with a solution. And how is that going? I'm considering a few options. Give me some time. I'm just worried about you. Besides, I guess I'm most worried about Grazenka right now. Do you know if anything happened to the store? I didn't even want to try to get in there to check. You shouldn't go there right now. This chaos in the city. How long has it been going on? Three days. Uncle brought you here half dead three days ago. Do you know what day it is? Hold on. The last day of summer. I'm sorry, I don't have anything for you. You have risen from the dead. That has to be enough for me. At least until Christmas. Grazenka. I thought I'd find you in worse health. I see you once again managed to avoid the consequences of your decisions. I'm afraid I must put a stop to this. You are under arrest for taking part in a conspiracy against the Tsar and engaging in terrorism. You'll also be held accountable for escaping from the Citadel and for your active support of the Socialists, the enemies of the Empire. Your brother didn't bother to mention that, Miss Lingia? You'll be coming with us, Mr. Shulsky. Try and force me, Chief. Why do you torment our family? What are you hoping to get out of it? 
And how the hell did you get the keys to our house? Dear Ligia, please try to understand that it was your brother who brought these dark clouds down upon your family. I'm just trying to disperse them without bloodshed. If you don't resist, I give you my word that no harm will come to your sister. Shall we? You are leaving. Straight to hell, you son of a bitch. If you think you'll take me away from my own home, you are mistaken. No, Chief. We'll finish this here. I didn't receive an invitation, so I decided to drop in on my own. After all, today is a Shulsky family holiday. Mr. Nyajit, Warsaw will get rid of two pests today. Wanna share any other fantasies? Don't worry about the broken window pane, Victor. I'll deduct it from the five rubles you still owe me.
I won't beg for mercy, if that's what you were hoping for. I loaded my piece today. Just say the word, and the balding prick will lose the other half of his face. Nyajits. Loyal to the end. Like a dog. Like his father. Are you going to let this mongrel deprive you of the pleasure? Will you leave my fresh corpse to your sister as a gift? Blood soaks into stone for many long years. A unique birthday gift. What are you waiting for? I'm not waiting. What now? Now yeah, we'll do some cleaning. I'll fetch a shovel. Why, you'll be the protagonist of my next poem. Done. It doesn't even show. Done. It doesn't even show. I could help you more. No, no, it's your birthday. feel did I scare you I know you had to do it otherwise you would have been in his position what's next what do you intend to do I'm still thinking do you want to know what I would do please do if it was so simple I would leave as far away from here as possible but I know that this city won't easily forget you and you about it. Thank you. Did I help? I think so. I'll let you know how it went. You've known me better than anyone for so many years. You were always with me, and you always will be. We have to talk about our future. Any ideas? I was thinking about our Thaumaturge friends, who will understand better than them, apart from you, of course. You're right, we both owe a lot to Rasputin. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't even be talking now. But his path, even if it does lead to the Romanov's court, is uncertain, and the price of following it is unknown. Do you think Rasputin could have survived? The letter, yes. But it doesn't decide anything. He could have sent it before visiting the brother. But if he's alive, can we trust him? He may take us to see the Tsar, but what will be the price? Tough choice, isn't it? Let's not waste any more time. Let's try to resurrect my father's cause. 
Let's return to our magical friends. Rasputin will have to return from the dead alone. I've thought of a good ending for our story. I want to finish what Father started. I'll rebuild the Thaumaturge coterie. I hope that will bring peace to him and to us. Papa would have been proud of you. I'm sure not living to see this was part of his plan. Victor. There was a man, and now the man is no more. See, Victor? If I put my mind to it, I can do a little magic myself. Did someone die again and needs to be buried? We've decided about our future. It's time to look my enemies in the eye and appreciate those who stand with me. I need to see certain things through to the end. Well, well, our Victor, all grown up. I'll come back for you once it's all over. Be careful. Good luck, brother. You can do it. I need a carriage. Is this one free? Sir, they want a bribe from me. Help. Look, Private. This one's even got a book. The brass will be happy. Tell these two about their rights. You have none. By virtue of the decree on the martial law, you have been classified as suspicious characters. We will escort you to the Citadel. Unless some sort of a gift convinces us you are innocent. So this is what soldiers of the Russian Empire look like. A bunch of pathetic bribe-takers with no honor and no sense of duty. Suit yourself, magician. We'll see just how much honor you have when you end up in the Citadel. Let's get him. Doesn't have to be in one piece.
to them, but today I will drive you for free. We just have to be careful. Some of the districts are cut off by the authorities. Still, today's rides are on me. Stop, I say! Why are you butting in, Feldman? Show a little respect! He's a rabbi, after all. Rabbi or no rabbi, if he keeps butting in, he'll get some too. Calm down. What are you doing in this crowd, Hyatt? You shouldn't be here. I'm leaving town, and so should you, before someone sees your book. This neighborhood has seen enough blood. I'm begging you. Hashem is watching you and can see you. That while that magician is still breathing. What's going on here? Who are they talking about? People read all the propaganda and got hot under the collar. They went after Arya Rofe, but Feldman stopped them. And I'm afraid to leave him alone. But you need to get out of here. They mean business. Where do you intend to go? As far away as I can. I have a cousin in Lviv, and then we'll see. The new start? Yes. I want to leave this town and hatred behind. I want to forget my mistakes. You should, too. I'm not going to run. Whatever comes, I'll meet it head on. Your father might have shared that view. I don't know. Warsaw isn't a good place for anyone. These people know you. I bet they respect you, too. Can't you talk them out of it? Once, I imposed my will upon others. And you can see how it ended. Hopefully, Feldman can handle this. But I don't know. You can stop looking for a magician. Here I am. What are you doing? They'll tear you apart. Look, he's asking to be taken to the stake. Get him!
Yes, I suppose you're right. Look after yourself. Thank you for your help. You be careful too, son of Stanislav. Hayat, come see me before you leave. Mr. Shulsky, I will pray for you. You saw how he crawled! Warsaw is ours! Oh, yeah, but maybe that's enough already. Sonny, it takes fire to fight devils. Well, if you say so. What's going on here? A crusade in the name of God, that's what. Is Rafa inside? Mother of God! Sonny, there's another one! Are you messing with my mother? I'll kill you, so help me God! Such a good son, virtuous. The hatred you carry in you, however, was planted by people who are using you like a puppet. Stop the bloodshed. I know you don't want it. What is he saying to you, Tajik? He's right, Ma. What do we know about these magicians? Only what they wrote in the leaflets. But is it true? And we won't bring that one back to life. I'm going home. I won't spill blood. Tajo. The things people come up with. Come here to gloat, Sholsky. Don't speak. You're losing a lot of blood. What do you want? I came to offer you a deal. What do you know? You need me. Then. I'll die happier knowing 
I'm thwarting your plans. Lean over. Lean over me, posh boy. Let me tell you something. Fuck off. <sighs> See you on the other side of the dream. Damn it. I knew that if you were alive, you would show up. If not death, then what stood in your way? A certain bearded friend of mine has kicked up a storm in this city. The town has gone crazy. I saw people furious at Thaumaturges. I never thought it was so easy to get pitchforks and torches in Warsaw. Skawan seized the opportunity, and he's bringing in a new order. That's why we waited so long. Without you... Warsaw is no longer a city for Thaumaturges. What were you doing for those three days? I was wondering how we could leave Warsaw in case you never came back. I had a few wounded to treat, and I prayed that the next one wouldn't be you. What are we waiting for? I'm afraid the three of us will have to suffice. What happened?
When I got to him, he was dying, wounded in a fight with an angry mob. Anti-thaumaturge lynchings are spreading across the city. There will be time for remorse and grief when this is all over. Let's get on with it. Even though we have different motivations, I trust that the pact is our destiny. Follow my lead. I, Emir Bernakovich Falje, worshipper of Allah, yearning for the free Republic of Poland, declare willingness to form the pact and make the ultimate sacrifice for its cause. I, Sarah Rivkin, follower of Moses, am willing to form our pact, hoping it will grant me freedom. Your turn. My name is Viktor Shulski. I'm the son of Stanisław Szulski, Thaumaturge, author of the hypothesis underlying our pact. I want to continue his work where he fell short, to succeed where he failed. For that, I am willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. Is that it? I can't feel anything. According to Stanisław's hypothesis, in order to conclude forming a pact, we need to read the instructions from the Black Grimoire together. Victor, focus on each of our dimensions now, and we'll help you read whatever Stanislav hid in the book. Focus on your heart first. My heart reveals the first inscription before me. From now on, we have one heart that beats with one rhythm. I felt it. I felt relieved. I can feel something too. I know that golden tail. Very impressive. Now, the other dimensions. Word. I cannot read this inscription. Maybe you got distracted. Focus. No, nothing. Perhaps without the fourth one, we won't be able to reveal the full potential. Keep trying. This inscription is resisting. Let me act. From now on, all of our deeds are devoted to one common cause. I feel a tingling in my fingers. Don't get distracted. Mind. This inscription evades me. It won't let me grasp it. From now on, our mind will keep no secrets from itself. That's easy. Hmm. I think I felt your thoughts. But we'll get back to that. That's it. I think we're done. I think so. I know your favorite colors and... Many other things I didn't want to know. Thank you, Victor. I felt a kind of thought, a feeling, yours. You didn't say you'd known my mother so well. I wonder if Victor's father knew. Let's focus on the present. Do we know what to do? Other than what has already been said, do you feel anything else? I have a different question. Were you going to mention you shot half of Konyechkin's face off? Since we have no more secrets, let's move on to the plan. I think we're all thinking the same thing. The Tsarevich will have an unforgettable birthday. Yes, this is our last chance at an audience with the Tsar before he leaves the city. We can't go in empty-handed. We need arguments that will push the Tsar to make the right decision. We can stop the madness that has spread across the city without bloodshed. If only we could get through to the Tsar's supporters at the party and... Sneak past the Tsar's guards and military. 
we'd be able to get inside the Tsar's noggin. Let's do it. Oh, you're actually pleasant to look at now. These... these people won't break in here, will they? Just smile and check the invitations, Parmishka. Are your grimoires well hidden? Then we just need to get through the gate. Suggestions? Please, I'm counting on you. Gentlemen, let me handle this. Just follow me. Your invitation? I am Madame Samira, and these are my assistants. Countess Lermontova expects that I give her a tarot reading. Countess Lermontova, of course. But your companions... Of course. Come in, please. I didn't think I would see you again. And yet, here you are. What are you doing here? I doubt you came for the party. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, death for death. Why are you here, really? What are you trying to do? That's none of your business. Leave me alone, or I'll call the guards. They'll be happy to see a wanted fugitive. This isn't over. Thaumaturgy never fails me. I didn't expect to see you here, Thaumaturge. You seem surprised to see me. I saw how the explosion swept you away and threw you like a ragdoll. I thought you were dead. Maybe I rose from the dead. Don't blaspheme. Only Grigori will experience this miracle. He will return. And with him, the hope for chasing away the darkness of an uncertain future. For his grace will be with us. Do you understand? What do you remember from this explosion? Chaos. Blood. It's hard for me to talk about it. Do you believe someone wanted to kill Rasputin? Of course! The first Christians were also thrown to the lions. Satan laid his hand on Grigori and tried to break him. But he will not bend. He will defeat death and return. What about Aniela and Lucian? They are no longer with us. They are already enjoying the afterlife, awaiting salvation. Do you think they deserved such a fate? Each of us has a different fate in store for them. Aniela was chosen. She died at Grigori's side. And Lucian just disappeared one day. I think he might have left because his fate wasn't strong enough. I don't want to talk about them anymore. I need to have clarity in my heart. I'll let you work. It's a mission. Preaching the truth. For I tell you, having faith in yourself is treacherous, but having faith in him is the right way.
These spirits tell me you can't go any further. I can see a certain old hag there. Would it be Countess Lermontova? Indeed. She and her family are thick with the Romanovs. So she must know a lot. I would talk to her, but I'm afraid she'll recognize me and call the guards. You want me to do it, I reckon. <laughs> I think the Countess is waiting for her tarot reading. You remembered. Keep her busy, and I'll see what I can learn from reading her belongings. That's what I'm thinking. I suggest you start with Donut. Donut? Her dog. The Countess's thoughts cling to him like a barnacle. Go. I'll meet you here when you're done. Good boy. Nothing can be kept secret from me. How was your chat with the Countess? Better tell me what you have found. Wait, wait, don't say it. Just focus on it. Let's not mix duty and personal life, all right? Just checking if it works. Sure, sure. So the Lermontovs are pauperized nobility. Unable to afford new palaces, they want to claim other people's properties. Preferably those who draw so much hostility these days. Exactly. The Countess pitched me a lovely story about how the confiscated goods would be used to help the needy. We both know she's lying, and her decree is already on the Tsar's desk, ready to be signed. I like these new abilities more and more. And now try to read what I think about it. You want to get back at her? I never thought revenge was in your nature. Let's say your anger rubbed off on me. So, I'll take care of everything. Thank you for trying to help me. I really appreciate it. I might not have been born into a fortune like you, but I know what real loneliness is. And now that we've formed a pact, I finally have somewhere I belong. And I won't have anyone mess with my people. Fine, let's do it. Watch and listen carefully. There is one more thing I would like to ask you. I feel confused about the plan to confiscate properties. Could you explain how it's really going to work and to whose advantage? But of course, as soon as the Tsar puts his signature on it, the Lermonts will take over the Taumaturge's properties for a contribution to the fight against those parasites. Mother, keep it down. Don't be ashamed, son. You did agree to this. It would be a pity if that money was wasted. And this way, we can build you a beautiful mansion so that you can finally move out. But what good would the money do to the poor? They would just throw it away. Mother, we should go now. Madame, please excuse us. A familiar face. Good evening. 
Good evening, Mr. Shulsky. Your presence at this party implies something extraordinary is bound to happen. Please allow me. My fiance, Sofia Georgievna Skawan. Congratulations. I think I can take the credit for your happiness. After all, it was due to my actions at that memorable soiree that you finally found each other. Mr. Shulsky. Still unscrupulous, I see. Let me make an observation. It is quite daring of you to show up in a place like this. Sergei, is that a threat? I would say it's a friendly warning. Thaumaturgists shouldn't feel too safe these days. How did you get into His Royal Highness's birthday party? The last time I saw you, you were accompanied by two gentlemen. What happened to them? That's true, but above all, my dear Sergei is celebrating his success. Well, tell Victor. I am here to offer counsel to Nikolai Romanov. Recently, I've been included in his advisory body. I've been appointed a member of the city council. I must ask. Was it because of your engagement that you got the job? No. My fiancé simply deserved it. Let's go get some champagne, dear. This is getting annoying. Sofia, there is no reason to get upset. Mr. Shulsky was leaving anyway, weren't you? Sergei, miss? I was looking for you, Shulsky. Do you know how much trouble it was for me to keep that brawl you provoked with my men quiet? Behave, Captain. We're at a party. No one will notice one missing waiter. Prepare to die. Will you finally act? Or will you keep barking until you're ordered otherwise? I've already received my orders. Rasputin will never forgive you, and when he returns, he will reward me for bringing you to justice, for I am his hammer that smites the witches.
I can't eat anymore. Pass. Well, maybe just a piece of... Uh... Maria? What? Is it a crime to eat now? Don't pester a pregnant woman, please. Don't you recognize me? Oh, it's you. I've been so distracted lately. You know, being with child and all. Do you believe that Rasputin survived the explosion? He who believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. He who believes in me shall live forever. But it's a shame about Aniela. Silly woman, she could have been here with us. Oh well. I have to think about someone else now. Congratulations. Who's the lucky father? For behold, from henceforth, all generations shall call me blessed, for he that is mighty have done to me great things. Pretty, isn't it? I'll be giving birth to a savior. Grigory loves me more than all of you. I see you found some new company. Who are they? These are my friends. Unlike Rasputin, they're real. You betrayed him. He gave you everything, and you abandoned him. You'll find out about this. You will see. I hope so. I'll be on my way. It's best that you do. I'll stop wasting my energy on you. I have to take care of myself.
I can see you've picked the spot right in the thick of things. Are you having a good time? Not too bad. I just had a chat with a certain young lady in waiting. But we'll get back to that. I bet parties like this are nothing new for you. I hate it here. Parties like this are the threshold of hell. In fact, my sister says I turned savage while in exile. What about the lady in waiting? She told me that the Tsar is in one of the chambers on the upper floor. The stairs are guarded by Skawan soldiers. And the Governor General himself is keeping an eye on the entire hall. We must make him look away. I'll try to approach Skawan somehow. Be careful. Is there anything else? Vanda is here. I was afraid she might show up. Have you talked to her? We've wasted enough time. You're not afraid, are you? Find her, and do whatever you need to stop her. Otherwise, an unaddressed problem will grow to inconceivable proportions. And... I've heard some news about certain decrees waiting to be signed on the Tsar's desk. What's in them? I've learned that one of the ideas to combat Thaumaturges will be the forfeiture of our properties. How do you feel about it as an heir to a fortune? To be honest, my sister should be more concerned. I only got an old book. Still, I can't believe that brings you peace. There's something else that bothers me. Tell me. I'll try to help. I'll come back later. Good luck. Good evening. Who are you? I've got a feeling I've seen you before. I came here with my friends, and I'm hoping to introduce them to you. Soon. If they were truly important, I'd know them already. Have you got a cigarette? Sadly, no. That's too bad. Anything else I can help you with? I can still hear gunshots from the city. As a concerned subject, can I ask if we're safe here? I understand, and I tell you the same thing I'm telling others. The situation is under control. My best men are keeping you safe. Not even a mouse could squeeze by. What about thaumaturges? What if any of them managed to sneak in? If they did, I would know about it. I can only tell you that this problem will soon be solved. Meaning? Thaumaturges are dangerous. Riots, explosions, that Rasputin character's cult terrorists, a complete decay of authority. Their plotting affects everyone, even those dear to us. Do you think that bearded cultist, Rasputin, is a Thaumaturge too? Most likely. How else would he deceive so many people? 
Even Tsarina Alexandra looks kindly upon him. Luckily, he was killed by a bomb in a brothel. Don't forget the cholera epidemics that keep plaguing the town. Is the thaumaturge is doing too. I see we understand each other. I heard one of those magicians escaped from the citadel. Was it Shulsky? Yes, but soon enough we will see him dangling from a rope. Is that Shulsky guy dangerous? Shulsky is the epitome of depravity. He had everything, but his cursed blood made him go off the rails. Such a morally unstable temper monster is capable of anything. But as I've already said, we are safe from him here. How would one know they're dealing with Shulsky? I know their tricks. Don't worry. Besides, the chance he shows up here is close to zero. What a relief. Thank you, Governor General. Anything else? Thank you. I feel better now. My mission is to protect the Tsar's subjects. Has the Thaumaturge ever hurt anyone close to you? Their magic hurt my daughter, but not only her. Let's leave it. I see. Let's change the subject. Good idea. How do you find His Royal Highness's birthday party? As the one in charge of Warsaw, I have my duties regarding the royal couple, so I am not paying much attention to the banquet. You must excuse me. The pile of presents for the Tsarevich looks impressive and continues to grow. Yes, indeed. Let's change the subject. Good idea. I met your daughter Sofia in the gardens. Are you suggesting something? The lovers did not want to wait. Let's change the subject. Good idea. I won't take any more of your time. Enjoy yourself. And... I talked to the Governor General. So, how does it feel to come face to face with the Butcher of Warsaw and exchange pleasantries about refreshments? Up close, he doesn't seem so scary. Right. Have you learned anything that might help? The governor carries the floor, and I want to take advantage of it. Are you going to rid him of it? Surely it may affect his well-being. And I hope we can get rid of him that way. Wait. Before we start, you should make sure we're ready to talk to the Tsar. There will be no turning back. You're right. I should have prepared better. I'll come back later. Good luck. Vanda? I told you to leave me alone. I know you have a gun and you want to kill Skawan. I was going to start with Konyechkin, but that coward got rubbed out by some random Genef. So it's Skawan's turn now. I'll kill him and anyone who gets in my way. I'm that Genef. I killed Konyechkin. Then you're one of us now. Help me with Skawan. I've got my own plans for the night, and you might upset my apple cart. I'm here with someone you know and respect. We are making a significant effort to fight for the cause without spilling blood. Emir is here? Yes, and if he means anything to you, put off your revenge and let us do what we need to. Swear. 
I swear. But now go home and let me act. And... I've heard some news about certain decrees waiting to be signed on the Tsar's desk. What's in them? I've learned that one of the ideas to combat Thaumaturges will be the forfeiture of our properties. How do you feel about it as an heir to a fortune? To be honest, my sister should be more concerned. I only got an old book. Still, I can't believe that brings you peace. There's something else that bothers me. Tell me. I'll try to help. Georgi Skawon. What about him? Let's go see Skawon. Are you sure you know everything you need to convince the Tsar? I believe I've gotten everything I could. Fine. Skawan's flaw. It might work. Just promise me one thing. You'll be extremely cautious with him. I know what I'm doing. I was the one who found the Black Grimoire. I was the one who started the pact, and it won't be my first time seizing a flaw. Hopefully not the last either. Shall we? We wanted to talk to you, my friends and I. Where am I? Governor General? Welcome to inside your head, Skawon. We've got you now. Wait a second. Something's wrong. Shouldn't he be unconscious? Unless he has his own powers, his conscious state could be an effect of the pact. Sarah Rifkin? And you? What's going on here? Who are you? My name is Viktor Shulsky. Shulsky. I will have you executed on the spot, all of you! So, shall we get down to it? Go on. I can't wait. What does it feel like to be at the mercy of Thaumaturges? Terrifying. What is this? You've just found out that we're not capable of lying in this place. Intriguing, isn't it? 
I'll deal with him. We've got a score to settle. Of course. Your worst nightmare is coming true. A thaumaturge will remind you of what true fear means. You're scared of her, even though she's been dead for many years. She repaid you for the way you oppressed her because she had powers and you didn't. What happened to you? She sent a demon after me. My own sister. She brought down nightmares upon me. I held my bed for years. That's why your fear turned into anger and anger into hate. You pathetic creature. And now we all suffer because you're an oppressor by nature. Say what you did to her and what you're planning for us. I smashed her skull with a brick and threw her body down a well. Once the Tsar signs our decrees, we will seize all of you and mangle your brains. I will kill all of you one by one. The floor is ready. Remove it and we can go. Remove it? You want to give him relief? He doesn't deserve peace. Besides, he's seen our faces. There's a chance you'll be a different man without it. I will free you from the fear that has triggered this destructive hatred within you. What a disappointing ending for someone like that. Good job. Let's go. I had a feeling it was going too easy. You! Who are you? Rukivier! I'm afraid I've got other plans.
Couldn't you have handled it some other way? What was I supposed to do? Have a duel of arguments with him? Stop it. We've got things to do here. Stop! Who are you? Skawon! The Governor General is a little indisposed right now, and I don't think he will get better soon. Don't come any closer! Better put it down before anyone gets hurt. You will lay down your weapon. You don't need it. Is that better? What is going on? How? How is that possible? You must be thaumaturges. Is that a revolution? Are you here to kill me? My name is Viktor Shulski. This is Emir Burnakovich and Madame Samira. I appreciate the change in tone. Viktor Shulski, do you want my demise? That depends on whether we meet resistance. Not like that. You will hang for this, Taumaturgy. Will you let me speak? No. As you wish. We have to stop dying at the hands of soldiers and vigilantes. Give them an order. Stop murdering us. I don't know what you did to Skawan, but you only made your situation worse. Tell me why would I agree to anything? We stand before your majesty not as some motley crew, but as a group of thaumaturges united by a pact. We've done the impossible to get here today. And from that position, we seek to start a dialogue. We believe it will bring mutual benefits. Do you have a name for it? You can call us the Coterie. Go on. Who knows, we might reach an agreement after all. We know there are some decrees on the Tsar's desk, awaiting your signature. And what do you think is in them? Let's talk about Georgi Skawan. The Governor hates Thaumaturges, because that's what his ignorance and fear dictate to him. We know the decrees stipulate creating special adjustment clinics, and Thaumaturges won't be the only patients there. Your subjects, so diverse in terms of ethnicity and religion, will surely recognize the threat, and their fear will turn into hatred. The Empire will fall. The Crown has enough enemies outside without having to deal with internal ones. Still not enough to convince me, Taumaturgi. The Coterie could become a powerful ally of your Imperial Majesty, here, in Warsaw, and in Poland. What we have presented so far testifies in our favor. We have no trouble learning the secrets of people's hearts and minds. And we are willing to share them. I've heard enough. I understand you want something in exchange. Let me hear it. We want a convenient agreement. More freedom in exchange for our cooperation as Thaumaturges. We want more freedom in the political and social domain for everyone. The people of Warsaw, one of the most important municipalities in Russia, will remember your gesture. Is that all? Make the Ochrana forget about Sararivkin and let her files disappear from their archives forever. You want power. Just admit it already. The sooner you admit it, the better. 
Power can be won or bestowed. Today, you did both. We will meet your demands and expect allegiance and loyalty in the return. So help me God. If that's all, Taumaturgi, I trust we have reached an agreement. Do I hear applause? What's going on there? Time's running out, and my guests are waiting. Let's keep it short. Is that it? Can I finally get some champagne? Stanislav can finally rest in peace, son. You should be proud. We all owe you a lot. We couldn't fail. After all, I was here with you. You're too generous, sir. Friends! Today, on the birthday of my son and successor, my father's words show the direction of my thoughts. The voice of God orders us courageously to undertake, in deference to divine intention, the task of ruling, with faith in the strength and rightness of autocratic power. The riots in Warsaw fill our hearts with much sadness, and the nation's grief is also the grief of the Emperor of Russia. We have closed our eyes to the suffering of our people, to the suffering of Taumaturgi, who were granted their powers by God. Which is why I consider it our moral duty to stop all kinds of violence against them, effective immediately. That is our wish. However, may those who take my grace for weakness know that the Russian Empire is strong and ruthless against its enemies. So help me God. I'm glad to find you in good health. You didn't look like you were going to recover. I suppose you couldn't see very well from where you were standing. New company? Friends. What now? First of all, if it wasn't for me, you would still be treating joint pains in exchange for hens, goats, and groats with fat. And if it wasn't for me, you'd be dead. Enjoy this moment of bliss. It might not last long. That sounded like a threat. Victor, is everything all right? Is this that Rasputin of yours? I expected something more. Assalamu alaikum. Would you tell me how you are able to talk with us here? This must be your new daddy, Victor. Aren't you going to introduce me? And this must be the famous Madame Samira, the identity thief. Wait, I think someone is missing. Oh, right. You were so selfish that you didn't keep your word. And you didn't give him the gold. And he died. Keep bothering you. Yes, but I will deal with it myself. As you wish. Look after yourself. There's no winning against me. You should have learned that by now.
Did you explain it all to him? Is everything all right? I think so. I must admit, he is remarkable. Rasputin? Shtosvami? It's nothing. Know your place. I can't stand the cold of the snow. There's no use for it. And the glasses constantly fog up when you come into a warm room. Then why do you wear them? After the explosion, I'm having problems with my eyesight. Now that you wear them, you really are the spitting image of Stanislav. Some tea to warm up? I won't say no to that. I had a new rumor a propos Scaon. Once we made him aware of a few things, he disappeared, and now they're saying he shot himself. The Butcher of Warsaw deserved such a fate. Mercy doesn't cost anything. The other news is rather grim. There's a new political power on the rise in the city. Besides being resentful of Jews, they also want to get rid of thaumaturges and homosexuals. What about the Tatars? Let's ask. They're getting together at a bar in Vola. Who are they exactly? Forgive me, I didn't ask. But it would be good to make sure they don't grow any larger. Let's go. Let's listen to what they have to say at these drinking bouts of theirs. Is today that special day when you're not preoccupied with your little revolutionary? Maybe yes, maybe no. They won't protect you. Every debt will be repaid, one way or another. Victor, what are you waiting for? Doesn't matter. Let's go. They say your choices define your value. What does that make me? I try to see Nigia often, but the sight of my sister in apathy breaks my heart. Without a flaw, she has become someone else. Someone I don't know. That is why I latch onto duties concerning the coterie. At least here, I can change something for the better. Uncle Sasha is enjoying his longed-for retirement. Sometimes I visit him for a game of chess. I'm yet to win. The circumstances of the Warsaw Ochrana chief's death have never been clarified, and hopefully it will stay that way. All right, Victor. Move on to what's really interesting. Which is? Aboritz and Victor remain friends, and together they spread terror throughout the bars of Warsaw. With my charisma and uh, your money. Fine, Aboritz. I think they got it. That's enough. But you will come for some booze later, right? Don't forget. I will, I will. Go now.
I'm worried about what's happening in the city. Warsaw is on fire. People finally dare to lift their weary heads while socialist militants carry out attacks on anyone who doesn't support the revolution. As for the flying university, the idea faded and died in the Ochrana cells where the rebellious students were locked up. But enough about that. It's time for a new adventure, my friend.